And we are live. Okay, guys. I hope you guys are excited. I'm pumped. Mm -hmm. We are still in 1983 in the shutter space things have hit up to a crazy climax um, so I'll just kick us all off <laughs> when our heroes last left off they were in the dark dimension known as shutter space. This parallel dimension, a plane that predicts a foreboding future where Yellum has won the war and the paradoxes have been missing for the better part of a decade. This is a dark prediction of what may come. And in it, you're looking for clues on how you might be able to make things go different in your time. While here, you evade the lingering presence of some foul entity, an it that has declared that you don't belong here reminding you in subtle hints of text on the spines of books or on street signs when you pass by, even in the little slips of dialogue from your closest friends. Innocuous, unnerving, ever-present. However, there are more tangible threats in this dimension. Things have culminated to a raucous revolution. Vox exists in this timeline as well, and they've laid siege to the Yellum occupied Hearthvine. Distant explosions setting off throughout the city, and the only clue as to what set it off being this day's upcoming anniversary to the death of the Queen of Avail. And a few strange remarks from one Arthur lookalike, though younger and a bit more sarcastic, it's clearly him and he recognizes it, knowing just as much about alternate dimensions and timelines as you all, perhaps even more, though he's not exactly the type of person who seems willing to share information, other than the little tidbit that his mentor, Barak the Thunderbolt, was responsible for the death of Pridwin Co. not offering much more an explanation and not having much time. You were set out fleeing from the garage and into the wintry streets of this city. Eyes closed, feet crutching through snow, you ran nearly blind into an ambush. Vox members had occupied the nearby mall, which you had set as your rendezvous point, waiting for the older Arthur to come back with a ride that would be able to get you across the city. As you reacted quickly to the sudden bursts of gunfire and the explosions of handheld grenades, you sought cover, you reacted, and within 30 seconds, one of their leadership was dead. A minute later, you had barricaded yourselves in one of the back rooms 
healing wounds, several of you having dropped and been brought back up again. You've patched yourselves up. You've blown a wall in one of the adjacent, into one of the adjacent stores. And those of you of a stealthy disposition have begun to scout, trying to get an eye as to what's happening. So just as you do, across an intercom echoing through this entire fi mall, you hear, just a second, refresh. Containment zone activated as a ominous red glow scatters throughout everything. There's the screeching of, ta of car tires as more vehicles circle in from each of the entrances. Car door slamming, several voices going, what? uh, what's that glowing thing? Should we be worried about that? And all the while, room tinted in red, the corpse of the Vox captain, Jack Roberts, continues to bleed into the fountain. You hear the sounds of footsteps, and then Fee heads up over beside you and looks at you, Zarman, and goes, I'm going to be right beside you. See? I'm not scared. Her legs practically shaking. And that'll be her turn as she makes her way to here and <coughs> and a little ambience music. All right, the abomination is still there, holding its position, I'm assuming? Yeah, he used it to hold position, but he'll heal. All right, give him back 10 HP. Um, Lib is going to hold an action um, to... move up. So she's going to hold the dash action to, to move up uh, once everybody else is cleared through. Um, and or if it looks like they have to bolt and run. If anybody enemies come in, she's going to use her dash action. Uh, Cac is up. Just a second. Okay, this thing crashed. Um, and anyways, I know what was planning. Um, Kek is how how tall is the barrier that Kelly put up? Uh, the barrier is about mm -hmm. uh, four feet high. Six or something. <laughs> um, Kek is gonna climb um above. He's gonna climb through the barrier and kind of like station himself, kind of. Yeah, it's right. just like moving through difficult terrain. Uh, yeah, since he's, he's going to be behind the barrier. Quickly. Alright. Um... <laughs> I will move him here to this corner. Mm. And then... Reposition. 
positioning. Babette, you are up. Um, on your turn, was there anything in particular, or were you still discussing tactics with uh, Zale? In which case, you could be holding I think... your action to be having a more detailed discussion about what you guys are about to do. Because you only get six seconds to say something. Yeah, she would. Yeah, she would be holding her action and just like to confirm what it is that, like what exactly it is that she's supposed to be doing right now in terms of those guys in the corner. Okay, that's perfect. Um, and then... Okay. Hold on just a second. I need to check a distance real quick. And and she still looks like Hawaiian shirt guy, right? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um. I need a deck save from Abomination, as a burst of random gunfire sprays in and through that darkness. You there, Michelle? Deck save. Um, can't hear you. Rip. Uh, I'll roll it for him. Since it's just a... Uh... Oh, dropped. <laughs> Deck save for Abe. Gotcha. I got it, I got it. Um, it's already there. Um, it got a... Here, this is terrible. He has a terrible deck, so um, yeah, two. Yeah. Um, and yep. so he's going to take uh, 12 points of piercing damage. All right, and that will end that guy's turn. He'll move back behind cover, and Kelly is just gonna be like. Well, Drat, I can't see anything through this. And hold her action uh, to fire at something the first time she sees something. And... And held action. Alright. Held action. Alright. action and held action okay you guys all of a sudden hear a uh, just a constant barrage of gunfire echoing out through this entire place. Um, I need to do a bunch of rolls real quick. Oh? Uh, one, two, three. Uh -oh. Four. Two, 
60. Yeah, not quite enough. Okay. Um, this loud just cacophony of gunfire just... And then there's a, just a brief pause of silence after it goes off for a moment. And then the sound of like clicking and reloading ammunition. And someone shouts, Again! And that'll be their turn. Maya is going to be... Does it seem to me like they are opening a lot of fire? Is that for us? And uh, looking a little confused. Uh, held action. Zarman, you are up. Okay. Someone will just move into the room with Ponder. Yeah, she's in the process of cornering it out, so I just drew a line there. So. Okay. Oh, by the way, the game is paused, Jansen. There we go. So, um, I'm sorry, what were you doing, Zarma, with your turn? Gonna have him uh, move into the room with Hanu and see what she's doing. Alright. They cannot take this action while the game's currently paused. It's not paused anymore, you'll have to refresh. Refresh again. Round two. <laughs> yeah, that's what you guys were refreshing too because it wasn't letting me let him change Abe's health so I was like why he needs to heal right, well. let's get down okay Uh, was Hanu actively doing something in here at the moment? Yeah, she's been moving the disc around, trying to find a good uh, configuration. Because uh, uh, so should she should come down to a survival still... check, by the way. Yeah. yeah that Sarman will assist with that. Okay. Okay. Uh, did you want to roll so it for you or action. have? Yeah, yeah. Sarman will specifically use his action to help Hanu do it. Okay. Because uh, we still don't have everybody in here yet. Um, yeah. Hanu, uh, in that case, you can go ahead and roll since you were doing this pretty much on your turn. So. Uh, okay. Uh, what up? This all happens at the same time within the same six yeah. seconds. So. 14. Um, all right. Uh, you start to be able to uh, move it over, um, but you are going to take one more round uh, before you could actually uh, do it. It will uh, fortify uh, somebody trying to break through that wall, uh, mm -hmm. and it would make it uh, 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 have more health, essentially. Yeah. But... Uh, Mm -hmm. That summons full movement in action. So that'll be his turn. And then with that, reset initiative. And That's in the range. And Liza's. Oh. And Toronto, so I'll give it. What's up? Okay, so everybody. Reroll initiative. Um, it's already on there, so you don't have to click anything. You just have to click the die next to you. Mm -hmm. Bad bet. <laughs> Man. Get the roll again. Oh, because I'm standing near you? Yes. Yep. Activated Thank God. Roll. You That's get advantage on extra. I need I need you to go further. You don't know, see it. It's taking a little bit. Is that better? At least it's yeah. not an eight. <laughs> it's, it's higher than a 10. Literally it's double. Than a 15, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. 
Uh, who also within range for Zale then? Eliza and Tirana. Uh, so Eliza can do it one more time if she can roll higher than 11. Yeah, 13's higher than 11. Yeah. Why am I rolling again though? Uh, you re get the re roll it again because of uh, Zale doing a particular thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks, Zale. <laughs> because Zale's a nerd. Yep. yep. <laughs> Nerdy shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll oh. NPCs. He's not liking me right now. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Did Toronto get a reroll? Um, Toronto? Let's see. Where... She's in range. She's at. Give me just a second. Yeah. Gotta find her. Uh... Maya hasn't changed her position. No. Toronto. Yep. She went up to a 24 from a 13. So. Uh, we just need Abe and Libby. Yeah, I get Abe in just a second. The Foundry's just like being stupid right now. Do me. It has all you guys hidden for some reason on here, so I'm. Um, not hidden, not hidden, not hidden, not hidden. Or am I hiding uh, when I do this? Actually? Everything's hiding now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never mind. Oh God. For some reason, I like how I you kept think... Jack on the initiative. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's bleeding out into the fountain every round. I don't. I, mm, I have I have suspicions right now. Just, I'm keeping those. Just a few, up. or. And so yeah, we get to start off. Um, uh, my still got that one in initiative, right? Uh, we're still missing a Libby and an Abe. Oh, yeah. I see it. And... <laughs> Abe got 19. Dipto. Hell yeah. Libby got a 5. <laughs> oh, no. And I'm guessing poor Maya rolled an <laughs> another nat 1 on initiative. Damn it. Tarana is uh, spending her turn to converse with you guys about what's going on um which we'll get to at the end of the turn um Sweet. Girl. held action and held action hano you're up all right she'll stop her singing as she finishes uh up uh, fortifying it, and then as a free action, she's just gonna take out her banner. It's not gonna be fully extended, but she'll just mo motion. Once we make the charge, we're gonna be dashing pretty fast, and she'll wave the banner around. Looking over to um to Kek and gotcha. Deli. So um. So this is right after she finished fortifying it, and then she starts making her way over with her the rest of her movement. All right. Not too far away, but enough to uh, be right here, looking at Libby, and we start communicating telepathically because we're BFFs. <laughs> That's how it works. All right. Anything else on your turn? Um. Uh, can I actually? Can I fully extend the banner? Or is uh, that an action? Uh, I believe it's an action check. It might be a okay. bonus action, in which case you could. Uh, bonus action for the charge, action to extend the banner. If yeah. I remember, okay, right? yeah, yeah. So she's she just has it out, uh, and then she's gonna, I guess, spend uh, just motion with Libby with the banner. We're just like, eh. that will be it for right now. She still has. She's still concentrating on beacon of hope. Okay. Um, 
Um, sure. What's the harm arms of Hadar thing? Uh, the self. It's on himself. Oh, so. okay. Yes. So but, we have to hit. Uh, Hunger of Hadar. Yeah. Hunger of Hadar. Yes. The one that's currently yeah. up over there. Pop the description um, up for me real quick. I'm still loading. Foundry's not letting me load in, so. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll grab it. Yeah. Because Foundry is like being such a dick right now to me. All right. Is magical darkness from remember is magical darkness. Anything that takes its turn in there takes um, PV4 like acid damage first, and then uh, take gold damage. I need the specifics on this. Give me a second. Um, okay, you open a gateway to the dark between the stars, a region infested with unknown horrors, and a 20 foot radius sphere of blackness and bitter cold. Okay, so, so it's only if range. you end or start. Uh, they don't. It mm. doesn't do anything. You can run through, okay. I believe. That is all I needed. No. Mm. Perfect. Um, Does it have to look a train or not? Uh, I'm looking. Uh, the area is difficult terrain, so you can run through it, but you know, difficult terrain if you know. Mm. Yep, the void creates a warp in the fabric of space, and the area is difficult terrain. Any creature that starts in its turn in there takes the damage, any creature that ends its turn takes damage. Zale, you're up. Uh, are you communicating, making a plan and stuff, and waiting for everybody? Yeah, and pretty much what Zale is saying at this point, because the end is, is distract the guards, we kill, <laughs> basically. Yeah, you'll, you'll, <laughs> get, you'll get a couple, you know, you'll get time to be able to actually discuss this with each other. We'll just get through, mm. like, a couple of these rounds. Everybody's kind of you can hear just the general sound of like uh, people reloading. There's some orders being given. You guys are kind of like gathering your stuff. You get Do this feeling that this is from? one of the uh, the orders. It's coming from like all over. It's just echoing through the halls. You can't really tell where from being inside of a room right now. Uh, all you know is it's coming from outside of this room. Um, and uh, and it's just a lot of general, lots of ammunition things dropped after that last sudden burst of a lot of gunfire went going off. And you can still hear that movement going. And you get the feeling that you got a second, a uh, couple of you know moments here, possibly like uh, uh, a couple, half a minute or a minute uh, to be able to figure out what you guys are doing. Uh, there are these occasional breaths that are taken in the middle of the battle. And as everybody's reloading and footsteps are running around out there, you know, this is y'all's time to plan. And the abomination, is it staying where it's at? Or... It can't go through that uh, door, so... Uh, it may need to start breaking the wall a little bit from yeah. the doorway, I would suggest. Because uh, Ace did want him to squeeze through eventually. Mm -hmm. So you need to work on that wall. <laughs> you could also try and get him to break through any of the other walls as well. Like yeah, I mean, he could just go through this way. Just... Uh... To make sure they're not following us. I mean, that just opens a shorter way for them to get to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... Mm. I think we're just going to move a just a little more back back core towards the door um and i'm gonna hold his action to attack someone if they come any closer so if someone comes in range of um to abe he's gonna attack them kind of blocking kind of the door a little bit to the side there okay so right here yeah all right and held action. Held action. Uh, 
of action. Um, okay, but movement and oh, I should delete that one. And that'll be their turn. Babette. Uh, still discussing things and waiting for the group to, uh, you know, rally yeah. up. Okay. Yeah, until she's given the go-ahead, that's going to be what she's doing, is just discussing, making sure. All right. Uh, and... All right. Held action... Eliza, I'm assuming you're joining in on this conversation, but because you can uh, use your bonus action to investigate, I'd like you to go ahead and give me an investigation roll. As you're kind of like also surveying your environment, trying to figure out why they wanted to be in this mall in the first place. What were they looking for employee files for? And uh, kind of like... Uh, Seeing as uh, the you've sussed that the gate and the way it works here, um, there are these chain link gates that can be pulled down, but they are powered by a motor somewhere. You can tell that it's some sort of uh, artificer type thing, but uh, like most things in this time period, technology is pretty advanced, and. Uh, there, you had seen a switch uh, that would allow you to be able to close and open the gate, and you suppose that there's probably one of those in every single one of these places, and now that you know what it looks like, you'll know how to do it in each of them. Uh, so you could turn and close the chain link gate at any point in time. But you hear the group is planning on rushing out here pretty soon, it seems to be making an attack plan, so it's not really a thing for the moment, but you key it away for the time being. Um, and joined in with this conversation. Uh, Can I hold an attack? Uh, yeah, if you don't want to be a part of the conversation, then you could hold an attack instead. Um, somebody, not everybody would be chatting on what's about to happen. Um, so that's I mean, totally possible. You could just be on guard. Yeah, I'm listening and I'm prepared to enact the plan, but I have nothing to say about it. Perfect. So I'll have an attack ready. All right, that's perfect. Um, then hell back. I'm sorry. What was that? that? Like, do I have to click something to hold my action? No, no, you don't. <laughs> no. When it comes, if it comes up, then uh, you'll make an attack roll. But until then, don't have to worry about it. Okay. We'll just need to remember it. Gotcha. <laughs> and Kelly is bonus action pulling up her uh, barrier uh, so that it, you know, clasps on like a little shield. And she is going to be like, that's our cue. Or, uh, well, that's our cue, I suppose. And make her way uh, to here. She's going to stop in there, look at y'all's little setup here, and be like, Oh, I think I could probably up this. Good idea. And Sunera um, is going to use her bonus action uh, to give Zarman some healing. Uh, Check that real quick. Is this, he just gets a 12 because he's in Beacon of Hope territory. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, still in Beacon of Hope territory too. So yeah, solid 12. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 
she will move out to here. You just feel this, like, sudden, soothing, almost cool, like, cool water flowing over your body, and your wounds close up as it kind of with this weird starlight effect within your wounds, and you feel like a brush of her cloak as she goes by you out the door, um, but she is still invisible. And... All right. Once more, you guys all hear a volley of gunfire going off. And I have to roll a lot again. some low rolls in here but you guys hear this once more again and and there's the sound of like sparking electricity and several of the um, lights across the hall flicker for a moment like they're about to go out but they don't um, and the uh, red glow disappears that's one way to do it <laughs> and um, <laughs> as it flickers out for like just a moment uh, there's like a couple of shouts of like ha and we'll get back to that <laughs> um, Cack. Um, Cack will move over with Kelly. Start kind of moving in that direction. Okay. No, you know he, he has to keep it six feet. So he'll keep. He just move back kind of in the room, but kind of keeping a look at a, but still kind of like hiding to like probably more to the left in the entrance. Just keep away. And I don't know what to do. Okay. Uh, Zarman. Yep, Zarman finished helping Hani with that. No. Uh, so okay. Cax coming. Uh, He's slowly moving that direction. Okay. Hmm. Oh, God. It, foundry. I ain't open Foundry this entire time. So, <laughs> I can't see. Probably a lot of assets. Less than there were the last time we were doing it. Yeah. I think Abe's too powerful. Like, you're not my. <laughs> you don't have the right gym badge. Yeah. Abe's... I, I've been. It's been I it's been black screen the entire time. Okay, he signs Maybe in but then it's not even moving. moving around. You're not his Pokemon trainer. And you know that. And <laughs> anything else? Yeah. Uh... Sorry. Oh wait, uh Who's that? <laughs> um they can't see into here because it's super dark in this room. Um, but it's uh one of the mini Hawaiian shirt Vox members. They seem to be like keeping an eye out into the thing. They're occasionally shouting things back to the people in the room. Um, they're not even looking in that direction as you happen to look. So in like this split six seconds, they're like looking off to the side, shouting something to their allies about how the light just went out. Uh, uh, Zarin will communicate to Toronto since she's right there. There's one across the hallway to the right, and there's two in the back corner behind the barrier. All right. Oh, yeah, that's what we're discussing. 
That's what we've been discussing. Yeah, and Zarman will join in with that. Yeah. <laughs> Zarman right. still seems a little shook, but you know, he's there. Perfect. Um. Cabal. Cow is going to. Be a smarmy little dick. Yep. Alright. <laughs> what an asshole. Uh, and Jack's corpse is going to continue to bleed out into the fountain. And Thea is going to move into here. And she's going to, like, be right behind this clothes stand next to you, Zarman. And just be, like, you know, very focused on, like, you know, her environment and everything, right? She's not even, like, she's not now less focused on you guys now that everybody seems to be a bit more patched up and back to being nervous mm -hmm. about oh my god we're still being shot at um and that'll be her turn lib uh is still doing the same thing holding an action in case anybody busts through um and okay there, and that'll get us to there. There. And that. Maya, uh, she's got a bit of a view out towards that direction. She says, uh, I'm gonna give her to roll a perception check. Uh, so, she goes, There are more cars out front. I see several of them getting ready to come in. Any moment now. And that will end her turn. Uh, wrapping up. And we are back to Tirana, who... Uh, nodding to you guys uh um you all have uh, a moment here to finalize what your plan is on what you're doing and if you guys are wanting to do this as a group thing you could theoretically just group hold your action to do this stuff with hanu's yeah. charge thing and everything um yeah that's what was kind of because we're gonna kind of too. charge into that kind of that side room. Take Babette's the... gonna distract, distract the guards to turn them around. To yeah, turn them send around. Send in Babette for the first round, and then after she's kind of got them all looking at her, that's when mm -hmm. you guys go in. Yeah, that's when I'm gonna burst in and S attack so the guy. This round, do my stuff. So this round, our <coughs> shape changing friend shall infiltrate their ranks, and then. At the very distracted. beginning, as they're distracted, in that brief second, we will go in in force. Mm-hmm. Pregnant strike. And before that fucking happens, I'll be right back, out of character. I'm gonna try to fix my internet thing so I can fucking play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, right and just back. to confirm, we're talking about the guys over here, right? Yes, yeah. in the, yes. In the um, top room. So, okay, yeah. I okay, was like 99% right sure, but I had to double check. <laughs> so you're going in there to help create an opening, and at the end of this round, which um, let's, um, on on this, this is where it's actually beneficial that you are lower in the initiative, because that means there are less enemies uh, that have actions while you're in there. Um, mm -hmm. If you had been with that even lower roll you would actually be even better off right now <laughs> um where, where are we? Yeah, i mean depending if they were holding their actions they're all going to be shooting anyway <laughs> yeah it just depends on what they're holding their actions for uh, to cry, uh, fetal position. 
Babette the is going to that? be playing the character Panic. of a Hawaiian yeah. shirt guy yeah. who was so doing that in the last their, bit. <laughs> their, their held actions are to fire at the first non-Vox member that comes running in there. She looks like a Vox member, so it won't proc their held actions. And <laughs> so whether she can hold that up for the rest of the round will depend on her deception check. But her disguise will, at the very least, get her through the door. And... <laughs> This is where it's really clutch being a shape changer. <laughs> I mean, if they all have to waste their action to investigate, it also yeah. is pretty good. She'll yes. also get that exactly. 2 4 from, from Zarman and mm -hmm. from Eliza, mm -hmm. so she's got a little extra boost. Yay. Uh, we will actually take this as an opportunity to take a break. Um, um, I know it's sweet. a little, it's a little bit early, food. but things are about to kick off really after all of this. Okay. Um, this yeah. will give me a chance to acquire some sustenance because I realized I have had like three spring rolls today. Yeah, I need to reheat some pizza because I've had uh, uh, coffee today. <laughs> Get a mood. So I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Weird. Uh, I will um, say on uh, on her round as she's approaching, what she would suggest and look to the group is uh, she can also create some unfavorable terrain for people by uh, shape uh, create water and shape uh, and freezing it. I like that plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Almost fell over. No. But, uh. <clears throat> Unfavorable terrain is a technique used by, uh, Babs and Liza Private Eye in the past. So I vouch. Yes, yes, yes. She's gonna sneak, sneak, sneak up. Be like, hey guys, guess what? I'll be right back. And back. And I'm in one of those moods where all food is gross, so it looks like I'm eating tortilla chips. Interesting. <laughs> It's really funny though to see like you know a string of the the hawaiian shirt vox gunners and then one of them is just labeled bebet yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Like that. It, i keep losing you in it i was trying to find your thing of <laughs> initiative forever i was like where is she <laughs> Heckin dang it you're right in the middle of it too like I'll group i know right of them. <laughs> like, pick me imagine out of if her name started with a v as well oh god that would suck if it's like Imagine massage, if like... but that <laughs> instead. <laughs>
Yeah, it's one of those things of if she was at the top of the initiative to do it, she would be mm-hmm. wasting all their crits if they all kept failing to beat her deception. Yeah. But, you know, it's also another thing oh. of uh, if she's low, she re- has less risk getting shot. <laughs> well, it's also just like if there's a limited amount of people that are in there. So she's at the end, she's only dealing with the people that are in there. But if she's higher, then it opens the opportunity for one of them to bring more people into it before the round ends. So like if she was up at the high end and she failed in her thing against the group of people that are in that room, one of them is going to run out and shout for other people. And then everybody else that's in that initiative nearby is going to, within those six seconds before the turn ends, run in there and start blasting. Um, wait, uh, is Kelly gonna be spending some time fortifying that, or is she also gonna be a part of the charge? As she said, she was spending time fully fortifying it more. Yeah. Maya's gonna stay behind as well on the side and cover you guys. Okay, uh, if that's the case, she's going to plant the war banner down, so then when they're ready to charge, she'll just say the command words so they can have a bonus action to move. Yeah, you and just then... need to say banner in a good spot. Yeah, so that's why, uh... Yeah, if that's the case, so then I can give them a little extra boost. She'll just stick it into the, uh, to the Ah, pile. so everyone gets the rogue thing with this banner. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll pop this up, but she's had enough practice, like, with her trident just jamming it into the ground. She can make a war banner just... I laugh at the idea you put the war banner into the uh, clothes rack. <laughs> no, just, there you go. <laughs> it's like a lot of <laughs> But she will, yeah. I'll let that play out. But she'll be like, "Please pick it up when you, when I say charge the second time." Okay. I kind of need that. Okay. Uh, he mentioned something about going to restart his internet. Yep. It's, yeah, right. we're gonna take like a good fifteen, ten minutes or something. You know, so we're. Yeah. Is getting, uh, is getting. Abe throughout here can also be part of that that second wave? Um, it depends on how you guys are wanting to do that. But Abe's not getting there in that turn. Like, so, yeah. Like, so. which is, you know, so far, if you guys wanted to do it this turn effectively as an entire group, it's probably not going to happen. Oh, no, so, I know that. So that's why she's leaving it. There will be like a rear the, unit, second. which is why half of them are fortifying right now. Yep. Um, so what I would suggest is Abe just breaks it down. He's strong enough to put up a bunch of bookcases to cover up the hole that he broke. So. Uh, I mean, I don't think you'll have the time. Is the problem? Yeah. Uh, okay. Abe, well, Abe, then, so we're, we're leaving Abe there. It's true. No, uh, Abe, Abe should have busted a door last turn instead of stood there for a while. Yeah. Well, now no. Well, he was holding his back. action, but yeah. Well, again, I was just fucking frustrated because now I'm finally back and now everything works and I can <laughs> see. So, honestly, probably a lot of things what I was doing was just, I can't see. I can't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was annoying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but no, I we have, like, three rooms between you where Abe is and where he needs to be. I'm cool with that if you want to have him yeah, bust just... down the thing. I'm going to try to bust down the thing. Um, yeah, just have him do an attack. Uh, there's two of them. Uh, yes. 22. Um, yep. Well, 18, 13, so 25 in total. Uh, that would bust through. Yeah, that's enough. So, he breaks down the part on the right here. Give me just a second. Um, and kill Abe because it's been really... it's been one round two rounds so far we are in round two uh, so it's been one okay so he said gotcha so he's back at yeah he's back at eight. okay eight. 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 Oh, yeah let me just pop up the war banner uh just because your turn is approaching you, the you have to use an action to extend it or stick it into the ground okay. same thing she already did that <laughs> she's already extended uh, so you're holding a 15 foot banner right now? Yeah, it's just it's like hmm. Hell yeah. Is it 15 foot or 10 foot? I never it's remember. It's foot, but it's a 15 okay. foot radius. Yeah, okay, that's, that's what it was. 
yeah. If that's broken down, probably. Hearing that oh, there's gonna pause. be two waves, she'll be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna plant this down, the next group up, they're gonna grab it after I give the second charge. Yeah, I believe the person who goes to do that has to use an action to do so. It can, I feel like it can this be banner in. it's gonna be great. <laughs> I feel like this banner is really uh, gonna solidify in the minds of the people we're fighting that we are old fashioned. Oh yeah, it, it's a really <laughs> yeah. They're like this is Stars and Seas circa 1930s. Wow. Hanu, you're up. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna we'll pop just go this through, up like, for everybody. A of these easy ones. Okay, so she's gonna have the war banner extended out fully, and then she'll. Nod to the group, hearing that there's going to be two splits. Well, what I can do is, as I'm running, I can create icy terrain. So if people are going to try to enter here or at least, you know, zone in on us, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So I'm not sure if you guys want that. Shoot. Yes, the game is That'd paused. That'd be a good idea for this room. Yeah, the game's paused, so can't move. There we go. Oh, she's, like, motioning more out towards here, if, like, any mooks. Maya said that there's people that are coming in here, so unless they're moving in, uh, she'll try- or unless, uh, the mooks are coming in this way. She's just saying, at- at some point I can do that. Just give me the word. Okay. She- uh, maneuvers. And... Goes a little bit more towards here. Um, second. Ah, oh, that's why. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad I can see you again. <laughs> okay, let me just pop up the war banner. So I don't know if that's gonna change um... any of the plans that you guys have. I mean, Bones actually dash, I'll take it. I need... Was it Sohanu's turn, or...? Uh, well, she was doing the discussion thing, which is, like, yeah. all doing this at the end of the round. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so she has the banner right prepped and ready. And... Why can't I, like, put it in chat? Oh. And for twenty seven damage, okay. Um, so on my turn, we initiate it. Uh, what's happening? Twenty seven damage. Jeez, attacking something. All right. Um. Uh, let's see. Who's within a certain range? Okay. So. You see as uh, Kelly and Lib both look back towards the direction you guys just came from um and uh kelly like uh not kelly maya briefly looks at um lib and then uh looks in that direction and uh you hear as There's a cheek 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 sound, all right? And all of a sudden, I need a couple of con saves. And I need a con save. And uh, another con save from Maya. Is Maya close enough to gain a benefit? Does anybody give benefits to con saves? Uh, Maya would have a plus three because okay. she's within ten foot of Zarman. Alright, that's what I thought. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, Libby's too far. Uh, and... Oof, 
fucking wait plus three that's just good enough for maya mm -hmm. all right oh god okay uh <laughs> uh you all hear this bing and then there's this and you watch as Maya and Liv both go to hold their ears, and they these three are uh, deafened, and uh, Kelly is also blinded. Um, just a second to mark them real quick. Man, this is gonna be funny because the Simon thinks this is gonna happen on Zell's turn on this same exact turn. <laughs> But we charge. This is hilarious. Well, isn't it happening on Bab? Because Babette has to get in there and distract We're holding the our turns to do a group effort, so if he doesn't move. If... Um, off of your charge, do they have to hear you say it? By the way, um, just out of curiosity. No, uh, it's just oh, charge the for banner? the banner. Yeah, I can't put the banner up for some reason in chat. Uh, um, don't just this it's edit in... equip and I will. Hold on, try. let me read it. Throw it up. Uh, yeah, you have to shout the command charge. If that's the case, well, uh, you have to shout it, but I don't know if they have to hear it. So um, they're too far away for the effect right now. But uh, if this is the case, she's gonna. She said that there's gonna be two waves. She'll just be a part of the second wave. If they're deafened over here, because she can aura of, of purity to help them get advantage to yes, shake that off. Standards up to 10 feet tall, the standard can be extended, you can retrieve the standard while the standard is extended, allies within 15 feet of the held or planted at the start of combat, they just gain it, they don't have to hear it. Um, and the standard has four yeah. charges, if you're within 15 feet you can expend one of its charges to shout its command word charge and take the dash action as a bonus action. When you do, other allies within 15 feet of the standard can take the dash action as a bonus action on their next turn. Um, so yeah, uh, they... Um, uh, they don't uh they don't have to hear you say it you just have to yeah. shout it they feel it in their soul <laughs> so mm -hmm. all right uh all right uh, i wanted to make sure on that so that will uh oh wait uh give me just a second i got to and okay. oh, i don't uh, need to get the rogues they already got that feature and then That'll end that. Uh, Zale. Uh, still Do we initiate continuing? my plan? On... Well, I thought we are done initiating no, the plan. No, yeah, so... no, Babette hasn't had a chance to no, get but, yeah. and talk to the guys yet. Until Babette. Okay, Babette so... When it comes to Babette's turn this turn, mm. she's dashing across. You guys are all already discussed. Pretty much holding la Yeah, the last turn you mm. guys discussed your plan which was you're holding your actions to charge after she goes in there uh, and enacts her plan. Um, and so mm. you guys, um, but the last person in your group, uh, Zarman, won't do it until initiative seven. So uh, even once she goes in there, it's still a couple of turns before your whole group is ready. So it won't happen until the start of the next round essentially and at the start of the next round you guys will all dash to do your shit that will happen because you're holding it it will happen before any uh battlefield complications take effect okay Which, a okay, battlefield complication is the fact that the vox are getting ready to charge in from outside because a bunch of reinforcements yeah. showed up Moose. okay so yeah that's what i wanted i wanted to enact it so it's a kind of almost a surprise in their surprise. And so <laughs> you guys are just holding your actions this round, unless you choose to do something otherwise with things that have happened. You did just hear a bang sound in the back there. Um, okay. But if you go to explore that, you're not holding your action to, you know. Uh, be I a mean, part of it. Exactly. That or you're well. going to be further away when you do it. Um, so if you have, you know, extra movement speed, you might be better Actually, where, oh, fuck. where is uh, the last time I've seen Kelly? Kelly, Kelly was still in she that was room. Still in the, uh, yeah, yeah, that room, setting up a barricade. Out of, she I... was fortifying the thing you guys already did. Yeah, because uh, she's really tempted to use Aura of 
purity. Uh, just be a part of the second wave. Because she just needs to say the, the word and you guys can charge. Yes. Uh, so. so she will up up. Uh, she'll uh, bamf up or a pu uh, uh, quick second. She'll bamf up or of purity. So then people in 30 feet, they have advantage on. Uh... Let me see. So she's dropping her beacon of hope. Which you don't have to do that until your turn anyway. Yes, exactly. your turn. It's going to be a long yeah. time until you're done. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get back so. around to that. Um, and held action. Uh, Abe. Uh, what's Abe doing? Abe. Hearing that. Probably There's still that a thing. bigger hole that they still haven't been able to get through to be able to get into that office. Mm -hmm. uh, How the hmm. fuck did that grenade get in there? I don't know. You heard a banging noise. A couple of hits broke through something, and then. Mm -hmm. Well, let's move. Start moving Abe down this way. Kind of moving in that direction. To bang down that place. All right. Uh, that was Probably all. Probably to... Movement to get to. That's there, his right? movement. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. then. Uh... Held action. Held action. All right. And then, uh, and held action. All right, Babette, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> she is going to, I guess with bonus action dash, get into here. Who's 60? You started my turn, you started your turn to my Oh right. shit, yeah. So you Sorry can get all the way up there. Yeah. You gotta pull a Willem, start screaming. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna like, yeah, well, she's basically kind of gonna run in here and, and just kind of like take a second, like look at this guy and then just kind of run in get like all the way here behind these guys i think that was hey, like i think she whoa. has enough movement for that what's going on what out the there i don't fucking know it's just it's so terrifying like i was just like sitting in a room and then there was another bang after everything had gone quiet and i just don't know what's happening this is all so scary i didn't think it would be like this when i signed up give me <laughs> a deception check <laughs> You have inspiration. Oh, oh, I do. Yeah, I'm absolutely using that. Yeah. <laughs> and oh yeah. god. <laughs> so roll another yeah. one or take the twenty-four. Um, roll another one. Roll another one. Oh, oh better. 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 Okay, and then two D four. D four. Thirty-one. All right. Nice. Oh, I was about to panic and cry as like a person. <laughs> They one got retration. <laughs> one of them, like, just, like, you know, like, seems yeah. a little shaken, looks out back the other direction. The other one uh, uh, is already back aimed with their held action. They hardly even turn to look in your direction. Um, it's only this one right yeah. here that's really turned okay. to look at you. And you can tell, yeah, like, they, they've got it. Uh, they, they've bought it. Uh, actually, Perfect. their turn is the one that's next, ironically. Yep. Um, um, if she can, uh, she's gonna, like, try and, like, make a big fuss and, like, start, like, not, t like, not pushing them, but, like, moving so that sh she's trying to force them to all look at her. Um, she's not trying to get, like, aggressive, but she's trying to, like, really make a scene of, like, I'm freaking out, you guys have to pay attention to me, kind of thing. Uh, give me a performance check. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Calm down. Goddamn fucking noobs. Duh, God, why are we hiring these fucking recruits? We don't have time for this. Don't you see what's going on out there? Yeah, and uh, yeah, there are now uh, looking in your direction. Uh, this guy's head is like fucking pointing back. Like, what the fuck? 
Uh, who the fuck just <laughs> ran in here? Why are they freaking out? I'm freaking out. And that'll be your turn. Yeah, she's inciting panic and also getting them to look at her. Uh, oh, that's great. <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. And that'll be their turn. Eliza, you're still a part of this whole plan. Held action in case somebody runs up. Uh, nothing's really changed in that regard. The fun stuff's getting ready to happen, though. Are we running in to take out the guys by that distracted? Yes, but, uh, not, next but next round, as an entire group. So everybody's holding their action so you can all go in at the same time. Um, um, yeah. And okay. do our shit together, so we're just like... <laughs> That way, nobody gets separated when if things go wrong. Um, okay. Do is there a switch that would close the door? I know that people are still coming through the way that we came through, but it is there one of those chain thingies? Um, there's a chain link fence on each of these sections that are like the, the storefront entrances. It's just like okay. an any mall where you see like that closing time, the chain gate that's pulled down uh, in front of them. Each of one of these has them, but they're all raised at the moment. So you think can hold an action to shut that behind once everyone's through? Well, Ooh, that's smart. That's I smart. Thinking, yeah, uh, we have some people delaying behind, so yeah, there's if you want to chill out. Yeah, there's going to be a second wave and a first wave, so if you wanted to close the gate, uh, you'd want to stay and wait till the second group goes. Um, um, I was going to see if I could just point that out and explain to everyone what it does, and then hope That's also that smart. You could give me a, um, a... I'd say an insight check, because it's more about your ability to, like, know what the quickest way of describing that is to a group of people in six seconds. Um... If you pull that switch, it'll activate this gate. No yeah. one can come. <laughs> but some people are just, yeah. And point to it. <laughs> there you go. Good. All right, perfect. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and that's since... a good D4 on top of it, too. So yeah. if you want to roll a D4. Also, uh, since Keck has telekinesis, he doesn't need to be by it. So he can activate it and try to get away. Yeah, no, it wasn't that difficult at the DC. Yeah. So you're you're fine. Yeah. Everybody everybody got it through. Um, do I still have my action held, though, to, like, attack um, if someone... No, because you had to turn to be able to describe this to everybody that took your action. Um, okay. So you're not holding your action to attack anybody this round. But you are... Um, uh, you are still able to uh, hold your action to run with the group um, Lincoln, during the please. second wave because you had to spend your action to talk to them during this one. Yeah, that'd be good to close that gate. Yeah, that'd be excellent, excellent to close that so gate. So you will escape. run with the group that Hanu runs out with, which will be uh, the last group. Um, okay. So does that mean I get double movement next time, or...? No, um... Uh, the bet got that because of sales haste, yes. but you'll be yeah. able to... bonus you're... action charge. Yeah, but you'd you can, be able to do she can do that already, already yeah. You're, yeah. You're, you're yeah. Rogue, like, so you can do it on yeah, your own, okay. yes. Yeah. Okay. You, just, you just won't get the double movement because that will be in the first wave, so you get, won't be in his field. Yeah, okay. But, uh, where exactly was the switch? It it's like right whatever. next to the door on the inside. Right next to the, the guy I mean, that's like, the guy that's on the other side is standing right in front of the one that closes that gate. Actually, I'd like Cat could just as he's running out just hit it with the with telekinesis. So yeah. Eliza could make the first run. Right. No, because she already used her action to explain it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. um, gotcha. Gotcha. And okay. Uh, this one is going to, I'm going to give him do Yeah, uh, 
they're wasting their time trying to uh, figure out what the hell is going on with you. Yeah, um, combat bed the fuck down. <laughs> yeah. And figure out what the fuck's up with this fucking recruit. Uh, Kelly is blind, uh, so she's just gonna like fucking feel her way through this stuff, being like, I'm not gonna stand where I was just blinded. Uh, stumbles out, just kind of still holding her ear. Uh, she's gonna move to here and uh, uh, give me a second I gotta have no wait a second it's it's just one round good all right so she's no oh. longer blinded um that's any dumb reason to use it order period if that's okay, the case. Then. that's what I thought it was gonna be too it's just one round thing well there's probably still deafened uh no oh. they're still fine uh, oh, they're still fine. Yep. Yeah, this whole beacon of hope then. <laughs> if you give a okay, lot more so she's like, out. okay, switching back to plan A. Okay. Yeah, you see her like stumbling out. She's blinking and stuff, and uh, she points back in there and says, uh, "I think they're trying to come through the back." And all right, that is it for Kelly. Sunera is going to use her bonus action to give uh, 12 points of healing to Hanu. Okay. And she's going to move to there. And then this one is held action. is up. Alright. Hmm, my boy. <laughs> okay. Cat needs to go. Yeah, I know. So, let us move him through here. So, 20. And then 30. And I do not want to be in that room, so I'm going to dash this cloning rack over there. Wall. So kind of over there. Set himself in there. Okay. Okay. So you'd be able to make it to here because it would have been difficult terrain to move through her. Gotcha. Um, and... That'll bring us to Zarman. Okay. Uh... Hmm. So people are talking about closing the gate and running across. And where is Hanu directly putting the banner? Uh, she'll probably plant it, uh, like, maybe right, right over here. Uh, I don't know if she's just needs to make the the word of it. So, uh, that be okay. Uh, the main thing is Zarman's just gonna stand over by where you're gonna plant the banner. Okay. Yeah, uh, she'll she'll just plant it right right here, so then she can just move. Okay. You said uh, that tower, right? Yeah, like, okay. yeah, like, right, yeah, more like in the middle, right there. Yeah. Okay. Zarman, first wave or second wave? Uh, well, uh, second Zarman wave? will probably be second. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay. Zarman's in the back. He's in the. He's not wearing armor, but <laughs> not in a great space. He's just following Hanu. Yeah. Also, knowing that there's, they're throwing stuff in there, he can at least help protect them. Right, and right here, uh, I get a bunch more people in the order of protection, so. Mm -hmm. And. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh... And Jack's corpse continues to bleed out into the fountain. Uh... 
B is going to move up to right here and get ready. She'll move to right there. Um, and Lib is going to Okay. All right. Now I'm going to make a Yeah, that'll, that'll be just enough for the purpose of the moment. Uh you guys uh, see it as <laughs> bullets spray through this wall over here. And none of them, um, the impact of the wall makes it to where they don't hit any of you. But that doesn't seem to be the point because uh, very quickly you see as a small baseball sized hole appears right there in the dry plaster. And something gets chucked right into the room and ching, 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 ching. Um, and I'm going to need, give me just a second. I think it's pretty much everybody in this room. Uh, come on. <sighs> yep. Um, everybody except for Sunera and uh, Eliza. Uh, in this room needs to give me a deck saving throw. Uh, Vance of 14. Uh, what's the distance of your field? 15. Okay. If they're within 10 feet of Zarman, they had a plus 3. If they're within 15 feet of Zale, they have advantage. Alright. Um, so the people that Kelly's don't have just advantage... Cac doesn't have advantage, Kelly doesn't have advantage, Maya doesn't have advantage, right? And, mm -hmm. and Kelly doesn't have either advantage or the plus 3. Um, so uh, neither does Kakamaya. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so Kelly's is a nat one, um, and did I get Maya? Cax is six. I didn't get Maya. Uh, twenty. She's fine. Um, Cax is a six. All right. Yep. Cax six. Kelly three. Just a second. It's not the one. And all right, that is sixteen points of piercing damage uh, to everybody that had less than a fifteen. Yep. Okay. Starman failed. Still then. So an eight for her, but it made it. Uh, I'm gonna need to make a con save. The concentration. Uh, how many points was it again? Sixteen. Sixteen. So okay. Eight. You're fine. I don't know why I have advanced oh, lights. Oh, because Zarma was helping me out with something. Okay. Hey, I mean you're fine. You still make this. Did you I mean, deduct you'd... for uh, Cax? Yeah, let me take it back for Cass. 16, right? Yes, 16. And... 
Not and uh, he would have to make concentration for uh, Hunger of Vodar. Maya, she has it halved. Um, so, eight. I think she... Would she have evasion? Checkmate or is that a level seven thing? That's a level seven Checkmate. thing. She's only gotcha. six. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Checkmate, so the Hunger Star is still up. Okay. And all right, Libby. Hmm. What did Libby get? She had a fifteen. She uh, met it. So, um, and half. plus the bonuses, so half. Uh, it's no longer death end. Save so sixty six. All right. Maya um, is going on the second wave. Um, so she is going to uh, use her action to uh, wait, let me check her stuff. I'm gonna make sure she's still got points for this. Yes, okay, cool. Um, so she's going to expend a hit die and two uh, and gain back. for 6 HP. Uh, Alright. Steals her resolve and her wounds begin to stop bleeding. And... Alright. Top of the next round, guys. Y'all are doing this? Those of y'all yeah, that are tough. heading in? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to start from the front here, just so that it's less chaotic looking. Um, mm. And... Okay. Uh, now, you're yelling charge at this moment, right? Yeah. Okay, and to clarify, this is giving them what benefit? Uh, they they'll be bonus able to dash. bonus action dash, so they can have their action to do whatever they want as they're moving into this room. You had a held action, which only would have gotten you guys partway across the hallway if you started at the beginning, right? Because um, you're only getting to go 30 feet. You can only hold uh, If they start within uh, 15 feet, they'll 60. have 60. Okay, so yeah. 60 ending up here, and they would have been able to bonus action uh, to uh, move further if they wanted. Get... And, yeah. And then use their action and to use attack. And use their action to use their attack. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know why. I'm not I going. Can't post I'm not going to there. have her do that because she's healing. Um, she is going to use her bonus action before she leaves um, to top off. Uh, who's looking the most injured after that? Um, Zale. You take twelve points of healing as you. She. Invisibly, you guys don't even see it happening. She just takes the cue and is already going off ahead of you guys. Um, and that brings us to. I don't know, I'm gonna hit pause here. Oh, wait, I can't because you guys have to be able to move. Alright, uh, that's fine. Alright, Sarah, you are next. You got 60 feet of movement uh, to be able to get across this hallway. And. Uh, and then you can start laying fire to whoever you want to in that room. Uh, can I use insightful fighting? Uh, you, yeah, do, yeah because you'll yeah. still have your bonus action because you don't have to use it to dash, so. Okay, so... But if, uh, if you're doing that, you will not be able to uh, attack this round because um, you're using your action uh to your held action to run across so you could use she has a haste action yeah 
Yeah, there is. Yeah, yes, that's right. Haste action. I take that back. Oh, that's why I plan. Yeah. Haste. Why I plan All right. So in that case, just <laughs> run in there and insightful on whichever target you want. Which one you're going for? Uh, is this guy right here is not with us, right? No, he is not. No. All right, let's go. You for see him. a bunch of Hawaiian shirt people, so. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. Give me a insight check. And Eliza's smart enough to know that the one causing a big fucking ruckus is probably that bad. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. We'll see. I what, like... <laughs> she has an insight. No, I mean, Eliza, yeah, Eliza yeah. specifically is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, her she insight, knows that bad enough. Her insight she... is specifically good enough that she'll be able to probably spot you out of it. But uh, six seconds isn't a lot of time to identify one Hawaiian shirt person from another. It'll still require a check. <laughs> thankfully, she's a very insightful person, and you guys know each other, so I'll give you advantage on that when it comes up. But uh, you did a 12? Oh, god. 17, because oh. she has... Okay. Right. It's an A, whenever you yeah. for the C. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, 17. Um, in that case, you then managed to get it. Otherwise, it wouldn't have... Um, and give me an attack roll with Vigilus. Oh, 12. What, what is the it fuck? with the 12? Uh, that does not hit. Uh, yeah, you go to pop, fire, and instead it, the bolt hits past them and embeds in the wall. They freak out for a moment. You see they're getting ready to try and line up a shot. Uh, they definitely know they're being attacked now. Uh, that'll be is it. You, I, it, okay. You've used your action, know. your movement, and your bonus action, and your haste action, so unfortunately okay. nothing else. Uh. That'll bring us to, um, I'll have, uh, no, Thee can't go on this one because she had to move up on the other. Uh, well, she could take advantage of your haste, in which case, mm. uh, but, and the charge, so that would give her the bonus mm -hmm. action. So yeah, she could get in through that door. All right. Um, she's gonna get in through that door. Uh, insight check. Um, uh, that is not enough to be able to tell your deception out from this. Uh, and <laughs> so she is going to go, I'm really sorry about this, but please stop hurting people. And splintering up out of the woods, you see as a bunch of vines crawl up through the woodwork and she is going to cast uh, Entangle. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, sorry about that, but that's perfect. <laughs> that, that knew what she was getting into. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna AOE, I was gonna AOE too, so I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's perfect, it's a restraint too. Excellent. And... Oh, and it's a strength save. Oh, Babette's fucked. At what point can Babette uh, change back? 20 foot square. She on can do turn. it as an action she on her turn. Yes. Okay. Oh, gosh. Come on. 20 foot square. Bye. It's good enough. Everybody. All right. And yep, right into that little spot right there. I need strength saves. Uh, so I need one from you, Babette. Oh. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's um supposed to be versus her spell save DC, which is 15. So you're all right. Um, wow. <laughs> it is difficult terrain in there still, but you are not restrained. Um, and this is a... <laughs> okay. Uh, and they all fail <laughs> miserably. None of them <laughs> even got to seven digits. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you see it's vines that literally sprout could up through the ground and it better. holds everybody other than you. And uh, 
you're just way too uh, sly for it. Um, and that will be it for what she's going to do. And that will bring us to Zale, you're next up. Perfect. Get in here. Oh, Hit slash right. this guy. Am I not gonna run across? Uh, we're going... You're in second yeah. wave, I thought. No, no, well, the, since the, the second team uh, got f was fine, she was going to just go... Oh, okay, the so time. then, yeah. then I mean, you're next. Uh, yeah. We're just doing it. We're going, yeah. we're going from front to back, because theoretically you're all running at the same time, so... Well, 24 okay. hit. Mm -hmm. um, 24 yes, that's good. Hit. For 14 damage. Uh, he... A splat across his back. He falls over across the panel. You gashed up across his spine. He is barely holding on, but he's using the wall to support at the moment. Alright. Because uh, this is a held action for us to move, right? Uh, yes, or it was, it was, it was, no, it was your held action for you to move, so that's your regular action. You would have a haste mm. action, um, which, I attacked. which you used to attack, and you would have a bonus action. Bonus no, action. you used the bonus. No, wait, you only used 60 feet to uh, of your haste movement to get here. So, yeah, you still have your bonus mm -hmm. action. You didn't use the charge. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Uh, then. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's gonna die. Um. Yeah, license right there. Yeah, I'm gonna move up to help Babette. Does Zale know which one is Babette? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I just know you're in there. I'm just gonna cut people to pieces. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, and move in. Alright. Okay. And oh, I need you to Babette. give me uh, an insight check. Sorry, Babette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess everyone will get the insight check just because. 23? Um, what was your deception again? 31? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally the, on, well. the only one who has a possibility of doing it in this split six <laughs> seconds is her childhood best friend with expertise and insight and advantage. And even then, <laughs> it's like a slim chance. Um, <laughs> six seconds of chaos, guys. Um, oh, boy. And anyways, uh, so you can't distinguish uh, friend or foe from that. Uh play accordingly. Alright, uh, then I'm just cutting these guys to pieces, whoever's in here. And then, Hanu, you are now up. Okay. Oh, I'm just it... gonna kick your ass if you end up <laughs> Actually, no, um, sorry. Um, in front of you is Tirana. Uh, so, uh, gotcha. move in here. Uh, I'm going to have her... In her mind, she's like, we should have just had that bet yell out a code word. Huh. <laughs> yes. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, actually, that's literally what I was rolling for. Tehran is actually more experienced with this stuff because Victor does this. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so her insight is just for her to know to do exactly that. And uh, yell, but bet, raise your hand. Free action. And Babette's gonna give a little like hello oh. kind of wave <laughs> and the rest of them are all restrained uh as she sees the one that's not uh uh restrained raise their hand she will then uh shoot at this one right here that'll hit and for ah oh, barely clinging to life this one <laughs> arrow through its neck. It's holding on to it, and it's lumped over the other side, and it's trying to like, lip, like very weakly lift its gun up, like like desperate fear in their eyes. Um, and that'll be it for her turn. Um, that was now Sapphire. You're up. All right, Tanu's gonna run right over. Uh... Ah, dang it. Which technically you would have the haste thing because oh, yeah, only yeah, her within Zell's range. Zell's yeah. Okay. 
So uh, yeah, she she gonna run, and then I, let me put it over here. Yeah, she's gonna. Oop, she's not gonna do that. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, she'll. Whoa. Okay, that's zoomed in here. She's going to as she le as she's going actually she's gonna veer off and go towards here first, uh, and then she's gonna try to hit with uh. I still have an action and a hasted action. Uh, you have your haste right? action. You have your haste action. Because yeah. yeah. the regular action with, was the was the running. Was the holding. Hold okay, yeah. so. So you hit with uh, a triton. Well, she was gonna also try. Well, these guys are all restrained, and yeah. they're and going you see to uh, them waving very seductively yeah. like Babette. <laughs> so mm. they're gonna fail. But if I remember correctly, they're gonna fail any dex checks, right? Uh, they have disadvantage. They have on disadvantage. disadvantage. Okay, because I'm like, you know. Uh, and this boy looks hurt. Yeah, uh, it, it would suck if I did a uh, sacred flame. So, I'm gonna uh, so thing, thing with thing with haste actions, you can't but, cast so a cantrip. So yeah. yeah, then I'm gonna just jump right over here and I'm gonna shank him with my trident. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that attack yeah, roll. Sick. Shake it. You gotta theory. take out your death guy so Bebek can get sneak yeah. on other guy. In theory, I, I'm gonna do this. Okay, and she'll That's use her inspiration dice from Libby if she needs to. All right, so you're. So, um, okay, weapons and trident. Uh, right here. What? Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna go do this and trident. Uh, I'm gonna add that inspiration dice with 1d8 okay. from Libby. There we go. Uh, 13. Uh, that does not hit. Damn it! Hack. Yeah. This guy's at 1 HP, yeah, man! It, actually, you know what? Uh, she might regret... No, she's not... She's... And these guys are going to have an attack, right? Most likely. They attack at she's... disadvantage, though, because they're, they're restrained. Well, this they're guy, made. though. This guy uh, will, yes. That guy will be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. She's gonna. She's gonna do her channel divinity and re-roll that again. Making short rest, so keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't know anything else is gonna happen though. So. Uh... And you still have inspiration, so this other. Um, no, these guys do enough damage where it's worth it. So. I'm you're, not gonna you're use my damn inspiration. I'll use my channel divinity. Mm -hmm. Ten. <laughs> Fucking worse. God damn. Okay, that'll be it. And then she'll just continues running, seeing that. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Okay. All right, she's she is out. That'll be it. And all right. Now, uh, Zarman, uh and the rest of you guys. When she yelled charge, you don't have enough movement off of that um, bonus action. You weren't near the haste. Or you, well, you were, so you would be able to yeah. get across. But the rest of the people won't get the haste, meaning they would they would end out in the hallway. Meaning, But they can, however, use the charge to get closer so that they'll be able to get across it next time. Um, but also closer to the gate if you want to close the gate down. Mm -hmm. Wait, Zarman will have to use his action anyway to pick up the banner, so all it's right. not like I can interact with it anyway. And so they're all going to move further up. Yes, yeah, so Zarman would pick up the banner at this point. Okay. So uh, one of Zarman's hands has a banner in it. And go ahead and give me an attack roll for the abomination as it's smashing through the wall in the back. Yeah, because that's what it takes to do. It's smashing through. Uh, 21. Damage. 9. And then Zed. 11? Uh, that, I hit, yeah. that means the wall. Yeah. yeah. Wall. For 10. So uh, 19. 19. Uh, it smashes through, but it's not enough for it to be able to get through. Uh, it'll need to do it again. Um, uh, gotcha. So it's working on that. And... It's a, it's at max health now. <laughs> okay, so that that ends that. You guys are prepped for the second wave when this comes back around again. Yep. Um, yeah. And in that case, this one action. Uh, so I would I would also 
Can can since Zarman was in the field, this is just a question. Can Zarman hold his haste action to deal with me no, me start coming hold, out? You can only hold okay. the one action you've got. Um, okay. Just making sure. So, um, Hanu, you're up. Oh dang! Oh, I thought Toronto. Right. Okay. Um, so I just have my normal actions, right? Hey, you're back to normal. Okay. Well, then uh, she's going to. But you're in haste. You have 15 feet, so you're okay. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. Tarana should have gone because that stuff that she did on that was actually from the held action yeah. thing. Yeah. Give me yeah. just a second. Um, <laughs> uh, Tarana's gonna shake the fool to the side of her. Um, so she help me out. She will look <laughs> over to Tarana. Oh. Yeah, now. she literally, with um, the arrow in her hand, uh, uh, shoves it right through his throat, and he collapses into Ooh. the ground, and she knocks another arrow, prepping for herself for uh, uh, a second shot. Um, <laughs> Seeing her little sister with it twice. <laughs> <Just lying. laughs> no. Little tiny Hanu goes, no. And, yep, yeah, she rips the arrow right back out of his throat after she stabs him through with it and knocks the same arrow to be able to get ready to fire on her next round. And that's okay. it her, for her turn. Um, All right. Hanu. Uh, she is going to... That guy's... That guy's... Okay. She's... Uh, so, which one is uh, Babette waving her hand? This one? Okay. Oh. She's gonna soften this this one. Actually, she's gonna soften this guy up and use a, um, a her, her normal action. She's gonna use the uh, 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 Sacred Flame, so dex check 15, uh, 16. The image. Against which one? Uh, the this one that's the, the furthest. Gotcha. It got a five. Alright. <laughs> so, two it's volleys. That's right. Yeah, two <laughs> huge volleys of arrows just start heading at him, like that one scene in Hero. <laughs> nice. So, oh, nice. That's how I imagine it going. Uh, okay, so let me just go get that. And then she's going to, with her hasted accent, throw the trident at the person who doesn't have a lot of health. So let me just. Where the heck is Sacred Flame? Where are you at? Shit. Okay, here we go. So that person eight. will take eight with uh, base and then with my divine strikes from that. Take oh, 16. Oh, yeah. They are just. Each one of them just pouts into them. And as it does, like, you see. Uh, it doesn't actually, like, because the intangible arrows pierce through the body, and the holes actually burn away with this white burning fire until his whole body is just these blistering spots of, like, tissue paper burning and connecting until he's incinerated right before your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, that mm -hmm. guy is far gone. Um, All right. And she's going to look over to this direction, and she's going to throw her trident their hasted action just chuck it all right you'll see what happens this time around action she's gonna pick it up and then throw oh no. nope. <laughs> god nope. damn it uh lands lands short hits like right here and beds itself into like the floorboard right in front of him it was hard to get through all the roots that are holding them actually actually mm -hmm. oh you have advantage on this attack so it's actually an 18 i forgot because oh, they're okay. uh um, restrained. Yeah. So that's actually a hit. Oh, yeah. Um, All right. So then I will do five damage to this, to this person. All right. That's all it took. That thing just, Heck like, yeah. right through his chest, and it pins him back into the root that was, like, holding him up and entangling him. And okay. Anything else on your turn? Um... I could also reinvigorate the charge for the people who, if they've, uh... uh got closer to Zarman. 
So. Yeah, they're all around. They're, they're all yeah. around. So, so she, the bonus action she'll give a second. Day. She'll make the second charge, uh, just so everybody else who wasn't there the, the, with the initial charge get it, and that okay. will be her turn. So two charges expended on the banner. All right. And that's her turn. Um. You got uh, Zarman. Uh, just as like you guys are all charging, you hear charge a second time shouted out from Hanu in the other room. Uh, you look in that direction in that split moment that it happens. You hear um, a set of pop pop gunshots, loud banging from behind you. Two of them right after each other. And I got. A first one's uh, a definite miss. The other one is a 24. That's a hit. Which, uh, keep in mind, uh, Sarman's AC is 10 right now. Oh, yeah, shit. Never mind. They both hit. Oh, my God. And this thing barely hit, too. Um, so. A you take uh, 27 points of piercing damage as suddenly from out the other side. This person slides into the room, and you only catch a brief sight of them. Bop, pop! Two heavy gunshots. And they just blast whole chunks out of your scales. And it's sli this person slides in the other room uh, behind this counter here. And, uh, and then they are going to... Uh, what is her range? <laughs> For me... Be uh, she uh, right further back, so 35. 30 still. All right, perfect. Uh, Someone <laughs> will use his reaction to hold his holy symbol. Nice. <laughs> uh, and we do some island. Uh, Someone would have done it on the first shot. So, yes. how much damage did the first shot do? Uh, the first shot did uh, 13 points. Yep, so she needs to make a wisdom saving there. DC 14. Okay. Uh, oof. Uh, seventeen. Uh, she takes half. All right. So in rate, as a silver line of, from the blood comes up off his arm and then just strikes her. <laughs> no fair. Blood magic's my thing. And she's here right now. Uh, you heard a shout come from across the other room, uh, but no, you don't hear it at all. You're currently in the middle of a melee. I'm talking so. for CAC. Uh, CAC, yes, but he doesn't see her. Um, uh, okay. And that would be down to, all right, HP set. And that'll be their turn. Uh, they hide, uh, so you can't see them anymore. Uh, but last you saw, they were behind that counter, um, taking cover. Yeah. And Zale, you are up on the other side. Your attacks have advantage. Ooh. So I'm attacking this freaking dude. Da, 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 da. That's a hit. 25. Looping with 16. Then decapitated instantly. And Zell would, because Zell has feet, get to move over here, kind of avoiding that guy, and move right there, because he has the movement. And attack that guy. Okay. 22. That's a hit. 15. And, oh, barely clinging to life. <laughs> it's me again! <laughs> Yeah, oh, these, these guys like staying down at 1 HP. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, all right. And that's it for your turn, right? Yes, that's my turn. And this will bring us to... Uh, okay. They're going...
Abe. Another hit. Yep. Get in there. 24. That'll 14 do it. damage. <sighs> Breaks through this wall. And they end up right in here. There is another door in front of them uh, that they can't fit through. Um, Smash again, second attack. Yep. Come on, Abe. And damage. Well, that's the bit. 11. Uh, smashes, but not enough to get it all the way through. Barely not enough. <laughs> gotcha, okay, gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Uh, he's fucking, know. he's coming for her. Whoever shot fucking Zarvid. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was coming for her. Okay, and... One, two, Abe is coming for you. <laughs> two, three, four, better lock your door. Wait, you can't see the smash open. That was not fair. I was shrinking water at that one moment. Five, six, <laughs> now it's six. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, I hope Luckily, that. I didn't cough it in. <laughs> yeah, that would have sucked. Dead, so uh, remove combatant. Um, give me just a second. All right, I need a deck save from Zarman and from. Uh, Kelly, plus three. Kelly would have this. She got a nat 20, so uh, she's nice. all good. And Zarman, uh, you're all good. Uh, as a couple of random bursts of gunfire go pop, 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 through this little hole in the wall over here. Um, and hold on the wall down this direction, firing off at you guys. Um, That'll end their turn. Babette, you are up. You have difficult terrain I'm a, inside of this area. I'm gonna go stab this boy. All right, go for it. Stab him. She has an advantage. <laughs> 17. 17 to hit. That was, that's that's a hit. little hit I mean, you know he's hasted. <laughs> and that'll do <laughs> it. Just. Yeah. Clean cut. Which you could have put it. Yeah, you could have put sneak for the insult, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, I had one HP um, left. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, I guess, would she be able to, as her haste action, drop the disguise? Um. Yeah, I'd say so. Or you know, or you could yeah, have been the okay. other or, way around. So or it doesn't matter. yeah. Just yeah. the FYI, you could, as a haste action, move to the door and close the gates if that's yeah, but, you're waiting. There's still but everyone else. To... There's still people who haven't gotten through. <laughs> Just like my FYI. Yeah. She's not going to do that until everyone's here. All right. So yeah, uh, Babette is now Babette again, not a Hawaiian shirt dude. Perfect. <laughs> uh... Oh, actually, am I? I'm And then with some of the extra movement that she has, she's kind of going to just go over and see what's in the rest of... I mean, you yeah. have a lot of movement. Yeah. Still your bones actually. The yeah, exactly. So yeah, she's... I did not count how much that was. She moved up here. I mean, moved here, that was 20 feet. Moved here, that's 30. You have still 30 feet to get here. It's a regular movement. And then you have yeah. your bonus action to dash. So, I mean, you can get all the way, get all the way in here if you wish. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, she's going to get into this and look at whatever this is. You she's going to have no idea what it is. <laughs> they have cracked into the floors in this back room and seem to have pipes that have gone down into it. They are currently not doing anything you can see liquid pouring out of it looks like blood um but it probably isn't doesn't you know it's very uh it's not the consistency of blood despite the color of it um spilling into this 
um, you have no idea what the fuck that's about. Yeah, um, so she's going to call out just the reaction. There's something fucking weird in here. <laughs> and that'll right. be her turn. Okay. Yeah. They're going to... And they're going to hold their action. Uh... Eliza, you're up. Everybody has been killed in this room, except for this one guy by the door. Oh, wait, no, he's dead. I was like, um, yeah, yeah, he's uh, dead. He <laughs> like, and so everybody in the room has been killed. You hear Babette shout out from in the back somewhere that there's something weird in the back. Um, okay. Well, I want to investigate first, I think. And then I'll probably move back towards where Babette is. But who's up here by the door? Um, right now you can see Tirana oh. and Fia. Um, and in front of you is Sanera. And then there's the dead corpse of one of the people that have been by the door. Um, are we wanting to shut the gate like when everybody gets in here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, it, like. Are they aware of that plan since they're by the door? Um, them? Uh, no, it hasn't really been discussed, so... Okay, well, I would probably just... They were there when I explained the swi switch. Yeah, you the explained that the switch is how they work, but not necessarily that we were planning on using them, so... Okay. So yeah, I would just say to them that, like, make sure somebody closes this gate when everybody's in here, and then I would investigate as I'm, like... Moving back towards right. where Babette is. Give me an investigation oh. check. Uh, looking around, this place looks to be completely empty. It looks like a storefront that had been, like, you know, under construction. You know, like they were moving a new store in. You can see, like, paint supplies. But other than that, it is extremely bare, other than this barricade they've set up and this long tubing that is winding its way all the way back towards the direction that uh, Babette just shouted from. Uh, you'd be uh, able to get to there, um, and that's it. Okay. Um. Because she would be able to move 60 feet, because she could either use action or bonus action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could use your action, because you're not attacking. Um, and you used your bonus action to investigate. So you could have another 60 feet you'd be able to move. Another 60. Another 30, sorry. My yeah, bad. okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yep. All right, yeah, that's part of my range. Um, this one held action. Uh, this one's got a held action. And this one is gone. Um. Remove combatant. Kelly is prepping to be able to run with you guys. Um, Sunera is going to use her bonus action to give 12 points of healing to Yuhana. <laughs> And move. And cack. Uh, I'm not sure how far away he can be from me. From to still control him. I don't know if there's a distance on that or anything. It's 15. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, no, to be able to control him, uh, it's 60 feet. Okay. Yep. So, uh, I can stay in this room for another turn. Can I use a turn? Uh. No. You could use your bonus guess. action, uh, to have him do this. Uh, but you have to, uh, mm. Yeah, you have to use your action to be part of the wave. Yep. Um, yeah, to be part of the wave. 
But should Cac would have the inkling that Summon's looking like he's not going to be a part of the wave. <laughs> not part of the wave? So he looks like he's going to stay? Uh, Summon's looking at something. Okay. Seeing you hurt and hearing this voice, Cac will join you. And so he's not, he's going to not hold his action. He's going to step forward. And he's got a psionic blast in a cone, this 30 feet cone right here. Okay. Saving throw, I'm assuming? Yep. Dexterity saving throw. Okay. Behind and hoping covers, to actually help Abe. So they get a bonus. Help them blow her cover, too. Psionic blast. Um. Uh... DC is 15. Ah, oh, they just Fifthly. fail. <laughs> uh, oh, so they oh, are. Wait, no, 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 no. Didn't read this feature. Um, so actually, they had advantage. Uh, so they they passed. Magic resistance. Right, so, man. <laughs> so take half damage. All right. And then. <laughs> Aim that a little better. Eight. Ten uh, nine damage, I think. Yeah. Nine. Okay. And is that cover blowing? Because <laughs> that was 19 mm. damage. I guess <sighs> that. No, it wasn't. The thing's like made out of like. What about heavy, the door? Uh, the door <laughs> on the back. The door. There is no door on there. That's not what you're trying to break through. So, and the thing would have. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna do damage to that. The saving throw. Okay. It's, it's not the saving yeah. throws. Um, I mean, technically they do, and but you know, a, that's a, another thing apparently. Yeah, it specifies creatures in the spell anyway. Exactly. Uh, a wall's okay. not a creature. Um, guess, guess. Yep. Yeah, it's not a book. <laughs> yeah, it's not a book. But yeah. All right. Kek would do that, and Kek is gonna stay with you, Zaman. All right, all right. Blast a bunch of things. You see some paper and, you know, bits of makeup and stuff just fly off of the stand. Um, you're not certain if you hit anything, uh, but possibly. Cax turn. Zarman. So I'm blasting to that corner. What are you doing? In the blast is gone, right? Yeah, it's not, yes. st it's not staying there. I just don't know how to take it off. Uh, right. You are still on the AoE target, right? No, there you go. I figured it out. Yeah. Which uh, Hanu said charge as it was happening. So they all already still have the charge. They can still do their bonus action and do all that. Uh -huh. so they're still good to do their wave thing and have yep. their bonus action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He charges uh, in the opposite direction. The, uh, which of the two things I'm thinking of right now. One of them could be particularly interesting. Uh... The uh, wisdom save for the other thing, chance. Uh, 22. I'd say that's still pretty good. Yeah. Okay, uh, Zorman's gonna use Thunder Wave in that corner. Okay. <laughs> so. What's the save? What's Victor Radius? Uh, DC four, it's a 15 foot cube in front of me. Oh, fuck, you bust down the fucking. That's what the bust down the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted to be with him, bud. Okay. Get uh, Abe in there. Not that. First level. It's a con save. save. Alright. Um, even with advantage, that didn't help them, because it was the same on both rolls. Uh, Alright, Thunder Wave. Does 8 points of thunder damage? In, in addition, I think it's an AoE smooth. or pushed and of course the boom goes out the 300 feet okay um what's the damage on that again uh eight thunder eight thunder i'd say because it would have hit on them would have hit against the wall would have hit against this wall and that wall so that's one two three three points for eight sixteen twenty one uh, ish. Yeah, you're over 20. Uh, so, alright. Um, 
you see as uh, pins and makeup go poosh, splattering in every direction as this thunderous boom echoes out through the room. And in that split second, the whole back wall behind that uh, counter is obliterated. And you watch as somebody that had been hidden a moment ago is sent flinging through the entire wall. Uh, and they go 10 feet back. Uh, give me just a second. I got to delete this wall. Delete. And... Into that room. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right. <laughs> <That's still working. laughs> uh, how it looked is uh, ice coalesced in Zarman's hands, and it just... And in a like a glacier cracking, boomed in front of him. Oh, Hell, Hell yeah! yeah. And uh, I may have just exposed us to the outside on this side. <laughs> oh. uh, I mean, she's locked in the room with the Ave Abomination. The, the outside wall is still <laughs> fine. It was just the okay. this right wall and here that got destroyed. Um, I didn't mean to delete whatever that outside wall was that got deleted. Now. Okay. Uh, and then as a bonus action, uh, you see, or uh, Kak would see, like, dark energy surging over Sarman as he uses Phantom Magic with his bonus action to get a first level spell slot back. Okay. Oh, oh. Kak, Kak. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Actor. Cal is going to, um, hearing that big explosion and hearing charge a couple of times, move out of uh stealth uh and give me just a moment as i'm going to have him Dang it, why did i break it again oh, this is... so this has a lot of fucking spell room what the fuck? damn <laughs> okay cool um so you guys are all here uh, what the fuck as a whole gatling gun sound just echoes out through the entire central chamber somebody's shooting at something out there um <laughs> with the gatling gun and Let me refresh. Got several rounds into this, or before I had to refresh. It's crazy. Uh, and uh, I know what happens on the next round. Uh, Jack's corpse continues <laughs> to lead out to the fountain. Still very sus about that, but okay. <laughs> uh, you're only sus because you know me. I oh, know. <laughs> and it tells me he's not bleeding out in the fountain anymore. Uh, cat. No, Jack is still bleeding out into the fountain. Uh, he's got a lot of blood in that body. Big old corpse, man. Uh, Just standing up on his two feet, though, it's still bleeding. I, mean, I do love only, that you rolled. A <laughs> I love that you rolled initiative. So that you could have a time to say that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she is going to go. Okay, I've got it. In response to Eliza saying that uh, someone needs to pull the gate, she's gonna, uh, she steps over the top of this body uh, and nervously waits holding her action to pull it when uh, the last of the group has gone through or when somebody says pull it now. Um, and... Uh, Libby's prepping, ready to do this stuff. Uh, they're gonna move forward. Uh, Okay. Does your man make it all the way in there? Yeah, I, I need... mean, with the bonus action, and action, they can spend 90 feet to pick a position in that room anyway. I need Cac to make a deck save. 
as more uh -oh. gunfire fires off through that hole in the wall down here. Uh oh. Oh, my boy! <laughs> uh, yeah, they no. both fail on this. Um, and take. Give me just a second. Eight points of piercing damage. Oh, uh, oh I'm, I'm gonna drop hungers off a darb. I'm not keep it. So I'll just I'll save it. Have you uh, also been adding Abe's health back? Yeah, no, he's Abe's at full health. Full. Yeah, he's, he's, he's at full. full. Yeah, he's, he's, he's back up again. Yeah. He, he okay yeah, he's, he's at full. Yeah. He's a fine boy right now. And then there's Maya uh, going. All right, it is now or never. You heard her. Charge! And that ends this round as you guys all move to charge across. Uh, as she sprints across, and we're going to do again this one at a time because some people down in this hallway have held actions now that they've seen some people rushing across and heard that to fire at anybody that runs across. Um, so that was... Uh, and Maya moved first, look like. Yep, Maya moved first, and it is uh, actual aimed shots with these ones, not uh, random sprays. They were waiting. Uh, give me a second. Since. Hmm. Uh, Zarma, are you staying? Because if Kaku will stay, he's not going to move. Uh, for three points of piercing damage against Maya. Uh, and then, uh, you're all technically running at the same time, uh, mm -hmm. so... Captain and Zarman used their action for something else, so they aren't actually a part of this right yes. anymore. Yeah. So yes. it's NPCs running across at this Yep, point. that's perfect. And that's what I wanted. there is, uh, them going across, another Big attack Kelly. roll, uh, machine gun, Kelly. uh, that is versus. Sorry, see, that's a hit. For 15 points of piercing damage against Lib, she takes a mean crack, shoots her right through the leg. She ends up limping into the other room. Um, let's see. Down to 51. Um, and then Kelly. Uh, oof. Oof. Okay. Uh, and that's a hit for 14 points of piercing damage. Hold up a second. Yeah, she is down, out, right in the middle of the hallway. I'm going to put her actually halfway of her movement. So I'd say she's right here before she got hit. And you guys see as she... Hits the ground, unconscious, a full of blood spilling out from her, and uh, that's it for the ones that were going with the charge. Um, Tirana is leading off our round. She sees that, and she is running out, and she is going to grab her, and she is going to take uh, gunfire while she does it. Um, That is not enough to hit Tirana. Um, Hell yeah. And she is going to drag her back this way. Um, and it's just not enough to get her in. She can bonus action dash. She oh, still has a charge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Charge. So get that fucker. Get her in here. <laughs> Wrong. She wasn't there. For oh the wait, yeah, no, she's too far away for the charge. The charge is of yeah, oh, right. the next to the banner by fifteen feet, so it's on the other side. Damn. Okay, um, gotcha. So yeah, she gets her just to the gate. Ah, uh, all right. Um, Can she actually dash? Or that was her action to pick her up? Yeah, that was her action, was action to grab her. Yep. Damn it. Okay. Um, okay. 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 And held action. Hanu. All right. You uh, see Kelly. You see Tirana dragging a bleeding Kelly in across the thing. All right. I'm going to 
run over there and I'll cast Healing Word eventually, but I'm gonna... I'll grab her and then use... Uh, so she'll use her movement and her action to grab Kelly and move out as much as possible, then bonus action Healing Word her. Max healing. So yeah, we'll get, we'll get I mean, you there. don't have to... Your action will allow you... You can't grab her and pull her. Um, and bonus action acts. Um, uh, dash. Or you can't action... No, no, I, I'm, I'm bonus anything. action healing word. Yes, I meant to say so that I'm, you can't action uh, dash because you're action pulling somebody. No, she's... she's uh, no, she's going to... As, as much as possible. So she's she's like 25 feet there. And then she's going to like grab her, I don't know, something over here. She can yeah, use her to yeah, have... Yeah, it takes your action to grab yeah, it takes your action so. to grab, and it's difficult terrain to move through those people. You would move yeah, your so. entire movement to get there. You would take your action to be able to move them, uh, to grab them. That does not leave you with the ability to okay. pull them after you grab them. All right, all right. Look. Wait, where's Sail? Where was I? Cause don't I have haste? Where the fuck was I? Too far for haste. Where were you? Yeah, oh, you're... Enough. I was because you're right here, so that was 15 feet. If you moved there, that was 25. That's... It would would have taken me 25 to get right here. Yeah, was what I was at. Yeah. yeah. So for you to get the haste, you had to start your turn within the range. So yeah. you're okay. not either. All right. I'm just gonna I'm gonna stabilize her. I'll healing uh healing word her. All right. And uh, so and I'll she's move. Max. She's she's in my uh, oh, radius, yeah, so she'll. Uh, it'll, I'll do this at second level, so it'll be 2d4 plus 5. So, 13. 13, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Alright, she is up. Alright. Uh, well, uh, I don't know if I should go over there to help out in any way, but that'll be I it. mean, she can drink in any way. Yeah, yeah. Also, don't want to clog the. Yeah, Actually, the entrance. wait a second. The more people that are there, the more difficult terrain it becomes to try and pull her out. So. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh... No, no, no. She, she still can't do anything right there. Yeah, yeah she, that'll be it. Uh, she's going to actually wander over here and be like, what the fuck is this? Um, looking and at it, be. it's. Uh, uh, looks like health supplies, medical supplies. You already saw one of these. Um, oh, yeah. Then um, she'll use her action to grab that. All right, there yeah, you go. Yeah, she's gonna use the bonus. And and all also, right. where's this ladder leading to? Is um, this just a random ladder here? I need a uh, yeah, it's just like a painting ladder. It doesn't lead anywhere. Yes, There's like a, a light being installed above it. Okay, um, that's it. <laughs> That'll be here. And I need right. a constitution saving throw from Zarman and Abomination. Constitution? You forgot to delete the AOE on it. Okay. Is it a poison effect? No. Okay. Aim. Oh. All right. And... Fuck me for rolling a three. And he's too far. You got Abe? Yeah, I got Abe. Go the third. Oh, wait, no, no. No, did, that's sorry. Didn't I roll it? Nope. 17. There 17. All right. Uh, Abe is fine. Uh, Zarman, uh, you are blinded and deafened as this sudden ringing comes out as this flash of light hits you. And. Uh, I'm gonna get the fuck out. All right. <laughs> fuck you. Pussy. <laughs> Did it want to fight Abe? Abe want to say hello. <laughs> yeah, the last thing you saw was this woman spring to her feet out of the rubble that she'd just been knocked through. And at the same time that she's kind of like coming up, she rolled forward. You got distracted by her springing up onto her feet and saw us that thing clink, 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 and then flash. And then this woman who you looking like she had like metal arms uh and they literally shined for a moment off the reflection of it and it blinds you and you look away and you can't see anything and you're holding your ears um and that was the last thing you saw zale you are up zale hmm 
let's let's help the game out a little bit. Come over here so everybody's in my field. So it makes it a little bit harder yeah. to hit. And I see across there so good. I just let's make it so I'm not like in people's way, so I won't get fee, but I'll get everybody else. Cool, that's what I wanted. So let's go here. So I'm out of the way. And um can someone make an investigation check in the room? Uh, yeah, you can make an investigation check. So, looking kind of around. 17. Uh, looking around, um, you can see that this pipe was led through. Looks like they were pretending to renovate this place. Um, uh, you can see that, you know, looks like there's some old lunch stuff stacked in the corner and everything, so, you know... Uh, I don't know, it just looks like somebody had been renovating in here for a long time, perhaps as a cover for the fact that they had this pipe going through here or something. Um, mm. You're uncertain. You don't even know what the pipe leads to. And right now you're just in a big empty lot with a tube going through it. Um, sure. yeah, so, so I'll just kind of just post up, make sure everybody's in his field so they could get the hell out of Dodge and get some extra AC. Okay, perfect. Um... Abe, go ahead and give them their 10 back. You didn't lose any. <laughs> you didn't oh, get yeah. hurt. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Okay, um, and then which case smash through that... Oh no, the whole wall is finally um, obliterated up here. Mm -hmm. uh, give me so just a Abe second. Abe move. Yeah. Forward. Uh, the you would move then the rest of the 20. So he's by Kek again. Kind of protecting him. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's gonna. He's gonna. Yeah, that's it. That's all he can do. Uh, really. Yeah, I'm just just counting where I need to go next. All right. Yeah, that's his. He's just gonna hold it action if anybody gets close to um Kek to beat them over the head. Here, uh, attack roll against Tirana. Um, that Too is easy. a miss, uh, and that'll be their turn. A couple of shots, pop, 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 hit, and they just kind of scatter across the stonework on the tiles before her, and. Um, I need a deck save from Abomination. Deck save! Hey! That's a, that's a pass, yeah. He kind of <laughs> around the, um, that whole clothing rack and the bullets instead just pop, 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 rip through clothes instead of him. Um, and surprisingly quicker than they were expecting. Uh, Babette, you are up. Okay. Uh, hearing the sound of gunshots and people being dragged, I assume she can probably hear that. She's uh, going to head yeah. back out in into the area. And uh, there's not really much that she can do. So she's just going to... Fuck it, she's gonna take the dodge action in case anybody just like shows up. Yeah. <laughs> she's just gonna get ready for a fight. <laughs> Cyber thinking. ninjas, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What are cyber ninjas? Um uh, machine gun. Uh that does not hit. Uh and a couple more pop 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 shots hit the tile right here as they try to shoot at Tirana, dragging this person away. Um, and... Okay. Okay. Eliza, you are up. Um, just a couple of seconds ago, um, Babette 
went into that back room, she was saying, there's something weird back here. And then there's a bunch of gunfire. Uh, several of your allies are dragging some bleeding allies in through that, uh, past that gate. And what are you doing? You see as Babette comes back out of that room just after having- Which uh, all the people in that other room would have heard the thunder wave. So. Yes, yeah, so you all heard a big loud explosion. You've heard, you heard a big thundering boom. You've heard Gatling gun shots and, explo and grenades going off. A lot has happened in the last six seconds. Um, but in front of you uh, is, uh, you know, a possible mystery. And there isn't really anything else you could do other than uh, take the dodge action as well. But you can investigate with a bonus action. Uh, so you can both dodge and investigate. If you would like to take a look in the other room. Yeah, that's the plan. Because, I mean, everybody's in here except Zarman and Kak. Mm -hmm. and, and Abe. And, yeah, Abe. Abe. <laughs> So yeah, I would probably not feel like I could be of use over there. Oh, uh, wait, that was 10. So I can go here? Yeah, you can go in there. Uh, and then I'll investigate. <laughs> That's uh, the other one. 16. Okay. <laughs> um, this, well, this D4. Is... Oh yeah, you can add oh, a D4 yeah. to it. Yeah, don't forget that. I will try. 18. <laughs> um, looking at it, there's something high tech going on here um you're not much of like you're familiar with some technology you fixed you know your gadgets and your crossbow and stuff before but you're no artificer um not like zale or some of these crazy people but this mm -hmm. uh um uh, but you can tell that whatever is down there is more advanced looking than what is here um so it doesn't you get the strange feeling there's something else underneath this mall other than what people think and it seems that they were here probably trying to figure uh because of whatever is underneath the mall not in the mall uh putting together the fact that they were looking for employee records means that maybe the mall itself was nothing more than a front for whatever's going on under there you can see that there's a um an access ladder that goes down but it goes into the liquid so it's uh, like it seems submerged after a few feet um but that's all you really pick up uh and see in that brief moment it's a couple of dots and six seconds um and you're on your guard wow. yeah do i have more movement at all you have a little bit more movement than yes uh, i think you had uh 15 more feet okay i'm gonna you can make it back into the doorway. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And uh, they're gonna make an attack roll. Uh. Oh wait, no, they're dead. I forgot. I didn't adjust their <laughs> HP. Um. And so dead i need to update this one as well because they're also dead um and this guy over here was nearly dead but not bound to okay um this one's fine because he was outside of the range this one was nearly dead uh All right, um, and since they're dead, I can remove them from the initiative. And oh, they're dead, so I can remove them from initiative. Uh, A lot of people, real quickly. <laughs> and Kelly is conscious. Uh, she's going to use half her movement to stand up and stumble her way into this room past Tarana, saying, ah, that was not very fun, I'm gonna be honest. And 
Tsunera is going to bonus action heal uh, Strike. she could get to here she's not within your range for it to be uh... yeah Kelly would have to be within 30 okay so I need 86 I believe is the number no, she's in range. She's 30. Is she within Kelly's range? Kelly's in range. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. 30 feet. Range, 30 feet. Then, then 12. Yeah. All right. She is back up to half HP. Hell oh, yeah. And... They're going to try and take cover. Um, and Good then thing. fire, and <laughs> that's not coming anywhere close to hitting Cal's AC, um, so that's their turn, um, CAC. So all the held action went off, Cal the gonna fire, he's gonna move, cause he has that, <laughs> wants to not waste that charge thing, so 30... Mm. Uh, that's charge already, was last turn. Yeah, I know, yeah, I'm gonna I dash. Don't... I'm gonna dash. Action so, dash. Action, action dash. dash. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, so I it. could, yeah. like, yell it out, like, a third time, knowing that, oh, god damn it, those two are uh, You had to use your bonus action when it was your turn yeah, to do that. So you had to use healing bird. Yeah, yeah, so oh, I thought it was Keck... reaction. Never mind. Gotcha. Yep. Keck is right there. Alright. I just can't make it all the way in yet. Zarman. Uh... I mean, it's blind and deaf for this turn, right? Uh, it is... yes. Still the same turn, so yes. Uh, so everyone's just going to feel around for wherever that hole is and uh, do something I can do that I don't need sight or hearing for. Uh, he's going to use a uh, dragon's breath. All right. <laughs> and just shoot oh, uh, the 30-foot cone into the hole. <laughs> All right, they have a uh, cover on this. Um, it's con safe. Yeah, yeah. It's a con safe, <laughs> yeah, so they, they do not get a bonus. The uh, cover doesn't do shit. It only works on deck saves. <laughs> this is cold temperature. And of course, I will double check uh, the AOE first. So that area, since Sarm is just randomly filling around. Might as well not do that too. Cover okay. only gives a... Well, you're literally uh, sticking your snout that. on it in order to be able to do it, to be able to do this, so I need you to... Uh, uh, how, how the fuck you actually make sure you can actually... Because it's like there's more wall here than there is a tiny baseball-sized hole in it. Your ability to actually not just breathe on a wall right now is... Uh, like athletics uh, to force it yeah. open. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's just because uh, he's blind, so it's just like about having been able to feel the wall appropriately in that period of time. Uh, investigation would be the best thing for this, because um, you have to use your hands to do it. Uh, for a 10, then I'd say that would do it. Yeah, I'd say that would do it. You know that it's probably about head height -ish, right, about, so. right, wherever the height was. The challenge was just finding the exact spot. Yeah. But, you know, you Zarman just went south, here. bumped into the plant, and that would have been, like, the extra 10 feet of movement. So Zarman would have found it eventually by Their just sliding sand across the entire wall. save came out to a 12. Uh, Zarman's con DC is actually uh, one point higher than my spell, I believe. Yeah, so they so failed. Nice. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, for so how much? Damage. <laughs> That's exactly their HP. Oh, man. On the other side, someone. You hear this creaking sound on the, the other side? Now. Yeah, you don't. You can't see this, but on the other side, um, there's the brief sound of what sounds like shattering glass. Um, oh, and... Thankfully, Zarman's also deaf. Yeah, so you can't even hear it. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. It did not hit anybody else. Um, 
I mean, that's one off the board. <laughs> Anything else on your turn? Uh, so I'm going to just continue to coast along while the last 10 feet of movement. Unless uh, we want to consider that 10 feet of movement also no. part of the investigation. No. No, you can okay. still do it. Clears up at the end of your turn. Yeah. Uh, like, so. Simon's not doing too good, so he's not making it across that hallway. Yeah, you're so. only investigating a five foot square rather than like a big area, right? Which is why it mm -hmm. wasn't a big DC and didn't take he's got the whole you, action buddy. to do. Um, All right. All right. Uh, Cal, um, since he used his held action to do that, it's just going to continue opening fire. Um, and so I'm just gonna get a couple saves and shit real quick. Uh, that one, that one, and that one. Well, that one's fucking somehow still alive, like a fucking asshole. Um, <laughs> um, okay, but this one went down. And. Mm -hmm. God, there are a lot of dead people out there. Um, okay. And that was his action. Um, and he's gonna use his movement. Get over here. And step of the wind his ass out. All right. And Jack's corpse will continue to bleed out into the fountain. B is going to be looking at Cac like, oh my god, come on, we're <laughs> almost there. <laughs> Mm. Lib is going to Move out of the way. That's what she's gonna do. And get uh, right here. And then this one is going to fire off. I need a deck save from you, Zarman. Oh, no. Heck yeah! Nice. Yeah. Yo, yeah, you're just falling across Yo. that wall and bullets are just like missing you and you're just like somehow like 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 by chance not making it through this thing. Like not getting hit. Like you were God. <laughs> this is so funny because Zarman doesn't even know that he was like in a way like almost divinely protected. <laughs> a bunch of bullets just missed him. He neither saw nor heard it. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, all right, Maya is going to pull Cac in, and with that, Fee is going to pull on the switch. What about Zarman, though? Oh, yeah, wait, Zarman, Dur. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, okay. the God. Quick, yeah, 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 yeah. Quick and yeah. obscure question, because this is what I'm planning to do, because I would go within my action. If I make, like, a, with, uh, with you know water uh create water and i freeze it could zarman do like a little billy slide over here for no, a it will not help heck no <laughs> um the more likely thing is that he will slip and fall and not make it across <laughs> tirana is going to take a step out two people are going to take some shots at her um, but she's taking their held actions, uh, and clearing the way with this, as she steps out with her arrow drawn already, uh, that Plus one's gonna, that one's gonna hit still, 
Um, oh, and, even plus two. Damn. And that's going to bring for ten points of damage. Uh, uh, so that brings her to that. And then another one for... Uh, uh, that one does not hit, uh, not even close. Um, uh, the other one even just barely made it, so, uh, with that, she is going to take a shot right at one of them. Uh, Eldritch Bow... That's a hit. And uh four. Okay. Mm, then she will use her movement to step back in again. And Drawing another arrow and ignoring her gunshot wounds. Okay, this one is going to lob a grenade in the direction that uh, Cal was just at. Um, Cal is not there, but it doesn't matter. I'm rolling the damage for this grenade because of the uh, Gatling gun that's there. Blow up his own Gatling gun. <laughs> 17 points of damage that breaches its malfunction threshold, so I will roll a d6. Oh, the Gatling gun's not an issue anymore. And it is out of commission for five rounds. Um, uh, Alright. That ends that turn. Uh, on round 20, the Gatling gun will be available again. Uh, unless somebody takes time to repair it. Um, mm -hmm. and the Vox Gunner, uh, that is over here, is going to, uh, actually have been in that blast range, so they would have taken, uh, so they're down to four, uh, they're still alive, they were chasing after where they saw, uh, Cal run off to, and they're going to make an attack roll a couple not even close and that will end their turn bringing us to hanu okay um maya did say that she was hearing that she was seeing people out here right yes um uh, from that direction you can see cars out there actually um they seem to uh, be on standby they're not actually running in for some reason um, they seem to be, like, cordoning off the street out there. There's, like, a whole blockade of cars now circling, uh, this outside of this building, from what you can tell from your angle. Okay. Uh, she's just gonna- oh, she doesn't even have sight on his arm. I'm gonna see where he's at. And how- f how far is, um, like, this ex- is, does this kind of go out into, like, a- like, a foyer -y area? Yeah, like kind that? of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um... Just for the sake of it, in case somebody does want to go in here, she is going to create water and freeze it. So right. there's a little difficult terrain, and they're gonna. <laughs> I can't wait nice, for 60 nice. people uh, to run in there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So 60 yeah. people make the collective deck check, and they're just like a <laughs> pile up. Yeah, no. Um, okay. Uh... The create water uh, is the equivalent of 37.5 uh, feet square uh, with the gallons that I have for level 2, so... Or wait, uh, no, no, it... Uh, wait a second, shit, no, I can I can freeze that much. Uh, yeah, you're, level what, 2 what is level 20 gallons. Oh. Sh this is racial, so it's uh, level 2, so I think that's 20 gallons of water. Got you. Perfect. Yeah, um... which uh, we'll just say that. Yeah, no, nice. I, I'm mostly just concerned about it for it's uh, that technically counts as having done something for a complication, um, mm -hmm. so that so will come into effect a... at some point. All right, this person yeah, so. is booking it, um, 
fuck, they're so fast. Yeah. Jesus. Uh. Let's see where Zarmin's at, but that'll be it. And... Zael, you're up. So Zael would move here. She has the healing kit with Poke her. Out. And he would shoot at this guy first, with his gauntlet. Fuck that guy. 21? Uh, 21, that'll hit. Sorry, give damage. me just a second. Um... Oh, yeah, that's cool. Alright. Uh, yeah, where's their fucking thing? Okay, sorry, I need to pop the sheet up for a second for a held action. Oh, damn. Oh. For 46 points of piercing oh. damage. Who was okay. that on? Zale. That was me. Oh. And, uh, yeah, you take a serious chunk of damage. It comes from outside, actually. Um, you felt it hit you right through your right side. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. They seem to have moved to outside of the building. To get to, so... Okay, so he's outside now. That's fucking good to know! What? I am that... still up. That guy took 8 damage, though, by the way, down there. Oh, yes. Um, which one? The guy who was injured already. Oh, oh perfect. Uh, then he is out. Yeah, you get and, that shot off, and then immediately afterwards, blast through your right side. Yep. And Zell's connected. You stay connected to fucking do that and be like, nope, I'm going back inside. Because fuck that guy. <laughs> and Zell, just... says, Zell is fucking hurt. And well, fuck it, you gotta take the dodge action because Zell has his fucking thing. She has the healing kit open. She's like looking down. I wonder who I can use this on, huh? Oh, ow! <laughs> <laughs> you just see him like holding his right side, like bleeding profusely. <laughs> and I'm gonna bones actually fucking heal myself with a healing potion. <laughs> that fucking hurt. <laughs> All right, go so, for it. You get, uh, so you get maximum because it's, it's like round eight. eight. Yeah. Is it. dead, so remove combatant. Oh. So abomination, you're up. Owie. Okay, a abomination. He is. Oh, Zarman. Can he just like pick up Zarman and carry him across? Can I pick up Zarman? <laughs> I mean, it's probably What's best to. Can the abomination throw Zarman? Um, it's <laughs> it hasn't it hasn't learned complex tasks like that yet. He hasn't gotten the chance to teach it to him. Okay. Uh, so it really just knows uh move and attack. And, and okay. a basic guard function that it does for just CAC. Just fuck. Okay, it's fine. Alright then, 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 let's become a fucking target then. He's at full health. He can take it. So, he's gonna move here, and then he's gonna dash. Uh, I believe dash was not one of the actions he mentioned. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. So then he has. You only have five feet. more feet. There you so, go. Yep, he's right here. He's like. Blocking All the right, way for you, him. buddy. Out into this freaking thing. People are like, what the hell is that? Dead. Uh, they didn't yell it. <laughs> um, uh, dead. They didn't <laughs> remove combatant. And Babette, you are up. Okay, um, I mean, there's not really anything that she can do. She's just kind of going to get moved so she can see a little bit what's going on. All right. And dodge action again. <laughs> Actually, no, she's going to... 
I'm gonna rescind where I moved, and I'm gonna move her behind this thing, and she's gonna hide. Bonus or She's gonna do the hide. Oh, action. okay, perfect, cool. Uh, give me a stealth and check. And just get ready. Eh, Eighteen. All right, noted. Oh wait, I have the advantage boots. It's 24. oh yeah, twenty-four. Yeah, okay, twenty-four. Yeah, she is hiding. She's gonna have. That was bonus action. She's just gonna be ready to shoot anybody who is not our party uh, with a crossbow. It's gonna be a disadvantage. You can hold your but... action if you can hold your yeah. action. To yeah, take she's care of holding. A mob. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I'd have to be up close to them. Well, they're, it's from mobs or like if they rush us in. Yeah, you can do it from anywhere on the yeah. map. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you then just hold she's, your yeah, she's gonna to hold her action because she's heard the cars and she knows that that is a thing so yeah she'll hold their action to take care of the yeah. mob if she needs to yep so being silly like probably not people are going to come in but the mom might come in so mm -hmm. get ready for them so they don't do damage eliza you are up again most of the people have made it there uh through um everybody seems to be mostly prepping themselves uh and but go ahead and give me another investigation check uh because things still aren't adding up completely there's something really odd about this place and d4. there's a reason these people are fighting over it not just because this happened to be their defense location uh and this room particularly uh you've noticed the gunfire that's going around the walls and the rooms these walls are bulletproof you're not busting yeah. through the walls in this room. Uh, yes. Uh, not without yes. considerable explosive power. Um, so it it would be much more difficult to get through these walls than uh, simply breaking through it with a weapon. Uh, yes. This was a secure location. Uh, but other than that, you don't really pick out any new details. Uh, anything else on your action? Uh, she's just holding for uh, holding it. Tell, shout out what you've. Oh yeah, um, yeah, guys. These walls are bulletproof, so they can't get in, but we can't get out. <laughs> God, that's a a dour perspective. <laughs> yeah. Very, very, wow. <laughs> but, but very what? true. No way. Says, yeah, no, that no, that no. under her breath just says, "There's my Eliza." <laughs> <laughs> well, that one certainly like... all about the facts, isn't she? <sighs> and Kelly is going to uh, deploy uh, with her bonus action. Uh, she's gonna take a step back before she does it, and give me this. Fuck that guy with the sniper, by the way. Fuck him. Yeah. Hope I find him. <laughs> I may have been a different one. Nah, I'm just taking sniper around. I know what it feels like. I got shot before by him. <laughs> it's not like it was manufactured or anything. Who would have known? Nah, I know this guy. Motherfucker. There's a, a slight vicious mockery to it. They said, like, oh, you, oh, you bitch. Okay. <laughs> There was a turnaround. There was a turnaround that Zelda did to fuck in that direction. <laughs> so you're like, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> All right. And she is going to uh, hold her action to shoot something. Uh, Sunera is going to uh, give 12 points of healing to uh, Zael. And. This one is uh, going to tentatively poke out from cover. They haven't heard any gunfire from the machine gun since the grenade went off, so they're going to peek out and book it uh, to try and get to cover over here. And Cac. Cac is up. What's he doing? Please tell me he has the darkness spell. Zell, Machado, are you there? I'm here, I'm here. Sorry. Cack. 
okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so Kirk. Hmm. The darkness smell. Darkness. Tax the darkness. He doesn't have darkness. That's I know. The thing. That's I don't know. the thing he, I wish. He off or something else, I remember. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I hope he has the darkness spell. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not gonna hunt, you know, the hunger for a dark, because that's just like wasting a spell slot that far. It's like, I don't want to waste it just yet. No, uh, I mean, how many spell slots does he have? He has. Or how many points well, he, do he have? He has that. So he is the. No, he's, the, he's at 34. And how much would it be for a. Uh... Hunger of Pedar? Um, it would be a third level. It'd be five, so I mean, I could do it. I would do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know if you'd want to do it sniper side or the other side, but, you know. You'd I mean, he, he, his held action was used, so he <laughs> can't fire again. Uh, assuming that it's not Henry. Because uh, Henry got another turn recently, and he hasn't done... He didn't do anything from what we could tell. <laughs> I've been paying attention to initiative. I'm about to get sniped. <laughs> yeah, so then, in that case... Can... So, from this angle, can Cax see out there? Uh, from out, from that angle, give me a perception check. Still gonna do what I'm gonna do, but I just wanna make sure of something. Nope. Okay. You're standing nope. in light and looking out into darkness. You have no idea what's out there. Alright. Hunger of Hadar again, and I'll put it. Yeah, that'll fit. Put it all across this fucking corridor. <laughs> all right. Do the AOE tool. Yeah, if you hit the if you hit the the button for it, it'll just uh. Let me do it real quick. Hunger of Hadar. Area of effect. Okay, Area effect. I love this tool. <laughs> yeah, it's super useful. So I'll put it right. Oh, perfect. Right there. All right. Blocks out. Ooh, Fire away. They can't see the They're ice. Not even too. ice. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, okay. Double difficult terrain. <laughs> oh man, this is... if Babette gets to beat up these mooks that come running through this door, does she get advantage on that dex check now? <laughs> do they even make it? Because they do take damage. Yeah. <laughs> It, You're um, just on the outskirts slicing well, them. <laughs> um, it, those things would contribute to. Um, so you just spent a third level spell. She spent a second, so that would be a yeah. fifth, and so it would negate five of the die off of the damage that they're doing for their severity. And my bed's um, holding action too, so they're flying. Yeah, and my bed's looking to fuck up whatever's left. Yep, yep. Yeah, she's basically just cleaning up shop. <laughs> right, it, like five billies are gonna walk through, and she's gonna slit their throat. It'll be fine. Oops. Uh, Zarman, you are up. Uh, There's that flag right in the middle of the ground, too. Uh, Zarman, uh, during the first wave Oh, action, that's right, you dropped it. Picked yeah. it up. It's in his hand, and Zarman's other hand's empty right now, because he has an unsheathed his uh, war pick. Zarman will get up to there. Uh, action. I, it would dash. take 20 feet to even get to here, so 30, 40. I could only, or 30. I could only make it to here even with a dash, because uh, he's in the way. He, okay. Yeah. Every tile that's an ally is difficult terrain, so that's yep. 20, 30. Mm -hmm. And I've already spent 20 to get up to here, so 30. Then I would get another 30 after that. Just hide behind him. Yeah. So I could get there with a dash. Uh, that sounds worth it to me. Someone yeah, I mean, I'm moving there, so mm -hmm. um, yeah. or I could just wait another D turn. That uh, darkness isn't going to despair. No. We yeah. we don't also don't know what else is going to be happening. Maya yeah. can pull you, um, because you know she's got extra movement, so it doesn't really fuck her up too badly. I mean, she has haste because action as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't monk shit. She so. can she can get to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then Abe. When's Abe's next turn? Abe is 19, so... Abe is yeah. fine. Abe is fine. If mm -hmm. you just move to get in there, just get in there. Uh, Zarman will uh, bonus action to use Sanctuary on himself. Nice! Yeah. Yep, and then dash. Hell yeah! Now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Go for it. And 
Uh, anybody who had a held action will have to make the wisdom 14. Or wisdom um, save, DC 14. So, give me a second. Um, it's just this one at the moment. With line of sight because of that. So, wisdom. Yep. Oh, DC, they got a natural 18. Um, they would get the shot off. For that was so smart, a 15, though. Uh, for eight points of damage. Eight. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, because you got 12 AC right now. Damn it. Uh, I would have of or would have needed to start my turn in your thing to even get the AC bonus for me. No, that's right. Yep. yep. I didn't start my turn in it, so. Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, Right. If that's uh, all the held actions that could be taken, that'll be it. Cal is going to uh, give me a second. I need. For ha, the last. Pa 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 shoots a little burst of bullets out at this person uh, with a gun from one of the dead bodies he just walked over and the guy that's chasing after him that got blasted by his friend's grenade uh, takes a couple of rounds in the chest and uh, Cal drops the gun as the last few rounds come out and he will use his uh, movement to get there and That'll be that. And Jack's corpse will continue to bleed into the fountain. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, Jack. And B is gonna be like, ah, we're almost there. And Lib is, uh, you know, being lib. This well, one, she's probably looting the bodies at this point. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, by the way, I can confirm Sarman can see Jack bleeding out into the fountain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, that's. Babat would one, be doing that, two, but she is still on the job. So, <laughs> no, uh, Libby don't and care. And this time she got uh, two frag grenades. Uh, so. Oh. oh. She do what you want. <laughs> All right. Babette kind of enviously looks over at Lib. <laughs> uh, and this one is going to finish there. Dashing. And Maya is going to monk shit vault over this thing and hate. grab this Let's thing go. and pull you in and as she steps back and pulls you across um uh she's is she's, he gonna wait for Abe? she's gonna say uh pull it pull it now and fee is just gonna be like ah, but me looking at abe uh and not pull it uh okay. and Tirana. Uh, how much more movement can Maya just pull Zarman? <laughs> uh, she could pull you to... Because uh, that'd be 20 at that point. Yeah, she could pull you all the way across this thing, even with the difficult terrain of it. Um, okay. So you're on the other side oh, of that shit. barrier right now. Uh, that was a lot of movement. God yeah. Damn. Fucking monk shit. Dope monk shit. <laughs> Um, monk shit plus haste, man. Fucking yep. monks. <laughs> she can move probably 80 feet right now. <laughs> or Tarana 90. Tarana is going to take a, an arrow shot off at that one person down there who shot at Zarman. Uh, and that'll do it. Uh, and not enough to take them all the way out, but it hurt. And She's going to take a step this way. Um, 
Actually, it, oh, as a free action, I'll like look at Lib. Oh, get their armor! <laughs> so I go back to shifting in my heat loose well, kit. It's your actual turn now. Uh, so. Oh, snap! Hmm. Okay. Uh, she's gonna glance over at who's wor more uh, damaged. Uh, kind of looks like it's Zarman. Zarman, yep. Yeah, she'll be like, sorry, bro. Looking over to over her shoulder to Zael and just. Give the Zarman a 1d8 of healing. Yeah, one plus one. Eight. Healing's going so around. nine. So yeah. Yeah, it's still going. Yeah, nine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's nine. Two more rounds. Okay. Yeah. If you got any healing, now would be the time. And then she's going to move out of the way. And then uh, that would have been my action to heal another person. And, uh, yep. With the healer's kit? Yep. Yeah. Oh well, and, you have a haste action, so you use a oh. so you still have your regular action. To do yeah, something. you can do an object interaction with your haste. So yeah, that's why she's gonna you, be. You still have your full turn really at this point. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be looking around to uh, grab uh, what where the the body was over here. She would be just trying to grab that armor off. So, if that's the case, uh, wherever they they move that body. Oh. Oh, she's watching. trying to pull okay. like the armor off the body. That would take. Uh, that would take. Uh, uh, yeah, that depends on the armor type, it. but it would count as starting to doff it. Yeah, so it would count. Yeah, as yeah, that's to fine. She'll, it. Yeah, she'll just start doing like. Oh, okay. Yeah, if it's considered light armor, it still takes a whole minute to doff yeah, that. Exactly, and it is considered light armor. I should be like somebody help me. <laughs> so, somebody help. Uh. That'll be it. Uh, All right. For at least right now, if if something changes, then she'll stop that uh, of course. that attempt. Yeah. But for right now, that's what she'll be doing. All right, yeah, you would be done with that at round uh, twenty six. Um, and they spent their movement stuff and are being sneaky, sneaky. Zale, you're up. Looks like to same fucking careful with that fucking door. Okay, I can see that guy. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna fire on this guy. If you're standing there when this ends, Abe will not be able to fit in. He will I won't be... be standing there. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm fine. I got the movement. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, first one, 20. That'll hit. For eight. That's exactly it. Both of you guys did eight, and he had 16. So. Uh, <laughs> pop pop. Alright. Alright. And so. Fuck it. <laughs> he's gonna move out the He's gonna move in this direction now. He's just like, I'm gonna just move. Let's go investigate whatever this high tech shit with the lights I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright. And. Then. Abe Abomination is up. Hell yeah, Abe. He can almost make it, Abe. <laughs> almost. Almost. Nobody, can and make... nobody can drag Abe in here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So... How much does Abe weigh? <laughs> if, dude, too he much. weighs fucking like a ton. two tons, I think. Yeah, yeah I think it's two tons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah nobody has enough okay. strength to drag that. <laughs> He's Wait a, a second, boy. Oh, oh shit! If somebody I, I gets enhanced. Do. If Zarman gets enhanced ability, he could drag Abe. Nice. If they win enhanced ability, you can. Get some to there, Babette. Almost, Abe will hold his almost <laughs> everybody is here. There's Fee is just hesitating so that she can wait until Cax Abomination has made it in. Um, still taking the dodge action. Um, I assume you guys have been kind of in discussion about the details that she's discovering as she discovers it. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, so there's like, yeah, she's just like ready to fucking go if something goes wrong, but she's not, she doesn't feel like she could be useful up there. So, no, no worries. Um, Henry, okay, and then. A 
Eliza, still doing the same thing, right? But go ahead and give me uh, one last investigation check for this room. Uh, looking around, uh, you feel like you've figured out as much as you can about this. Um, but that ladder leads somewhere. And that's the only thing that's left as like the loose end. Um, but not that la not the ladder in front of you, by the way, my bad. Uh, that's just a ladder underneath a, a broken light. The, there's a okay. ladder that goes down into that pit. Yeah. Um, in terms of that liquid, is there any one in the group that I would think might have any idea what it is? It would either That's be Zale. It would either be Zale or Cac. Those are the only two that mm -hmm. come to mind as the ones that would know about that type of stuff. Zale. Are they, like, what are you walking guys? over? I'm walking yeah. over. Yeah, Zale. Yeah, I heard what you did right there. Yeah. Okay, you would hear Zell doing it. You would hear the pitter patter of his feet as he's dashing at your ass in haste. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's just walking. He's just walking really fast. Okay. <laughs> right. It looks like he's doing like a grand, or like a typical like uh, middle yeah, age he's power walking, walking, over. He's walking really quickly. It's like a full sprint to normal people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd be like Zale. You should totally go see what that weird red shit is, and let us know. <laughs> okay. If you have healing, that'd be appreciated. Nope. <laughs> uh, you, you probably have a, a, um, a potion. She gave everybody a potion that everybody has. At least 10 people have one good berry. I yeah, will it's see not that. in our character sheet. So I think it was probably yeah. used or just not forgotten. Yeah, so, maybe. yeah. Uh, Did you use all of my mom's pies? <laughs> uh, not here, unfortunately. Yeah, we wouldn't have brought them. <laughs> yeah. They didn't. I mean, we were doing a sleepover, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the pie made it through. Yeah. Yeah, the pie would have had a week. Yeah, Eliza just looks at you with the saddest, like. Oh, stupid! You see Zell like tough it up. You see, you see Zell like, like tough it up. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> she just nods like, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I've seen Babette do this before. <laughs> everybody Eliza still does have. <laughs> Everybody still has one HP of healing, just in case, but ten people, so that would have been awesome than one of the NPCs. Good baby. Twelve yeah, points of healing to Zael. Good, cool. Woohoo! I'm feeling so much better. Thank you, Zanera. I know you're uh, invisible. You sir, how many turns of uh, Beacon of Hope do you have left, Honor? Uh, I think this is uh, the round after turn. this will be the round. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, her aura of vitality wears off after this turn. Yep. It was that was good. I mean, it got me back to half yeah, health yeah. from that fucking crit. <laughs> Aura vitality, like one of the greatest healing spells ever. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. you know that that and like teamed up with Beacon of Hope. It's like the best shit ever. You healed probably about like 160 HP. <laughs> yeah, gone through a dumb amount of healing. Um, yeah, uh, Norman's gone through two health bars at this point. <laughs> okay, and now just imagine if we had a grave cleric too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that crit would have been nothing. <laughs> the crit would be like, nah, no crit. Well, nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they are gonna game back. Health, okay. <laughs> she's under waiver for like a puny eight damage, and she just books it. Um, <laughs> oh, she did. She did get oh, yeah, hit she by did. nine. Yeah, she so did get seventeen. Hit seventeen total. Yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Smart enough to know that could have been worse, and uh, yeah, and they were especially on both right there. sides. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It was about the fucking smacker. The there. You don't you don't go as a single individual against multiple opponents because you're planning to actually kill them. Uh, yeah, she did exactly yeah, what was... she wanted, which was prolong several people being there after the rest of the group. It turned into three waves instead of two. Um. I mean, it was bad to be three waves. Sorry, Zarman, you're up. Okay. Uh... Do you have cure wounds you could do? Uh, I don't know if someone prepped that today. Hmm. Did not prep that today. Damn. Be 
You still have a healing potion if you want to take that as bonus action. Uh, where's Hanu? Uh, yeah, I had two healing potions. Yeah, right she's right here. Yeah, Zarman will use his action to drink the potion. All right. And since uh, I'm within the Beacon of Hope, that's another 10 points, right? Yep, yep. 2d4. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Zarman is out of healing potions now. How <laughs> so am I? Okay. Uh, I get rid of it. I, mean, I just deleted it off. Just make sure I don't. Yeah, well, it was just easier to click that button to go into the set. Turn it off. Okay. So that was Sarman's action. Cal is doing some cow and stuff. Move over there. Because going through that hell of an ally took five, so. Mm -hmm. That'll be Sarman's turn. Cal is off somewhere doing cow stuff. Jack's corpse continues to bleed out into the fountain. Uh, Fuck you, Jack. <laughs> and B is nervously waiting. Holding her action. <laughs> waiting. This is the worst. Uh, <laughs> Liv is uh, gonna uh, move her way over here. Uh, loot another body. And take another grenade. Three grenades. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> it's time to return the favor. Okay. And then... This one is going to continue doing its movement and stuff. And then Maya is like, I... Do not believe that I can drop that one in. And um, with that, we're going to come Don't worry about it. <laughs> to the top of another round. Um, as a bunch of people go sliding through this darkness. <laughs> Um, and <laughs> it is just terrain. waves and waves and waves of these people. <laughs> Several of them fall over them. You hear some screaming sounds from going into it. Some panic, right? Um, it is definitely an obstacle of it. Um, it leaves, however, um, still Did some I take damage. the dodge action, or did I take the hold to deal with Mook? I think you're holding. Uh, round you did. I don't know if you did this round. <laughs> I can't remember either. I think you said you're holding. Yeah. I think you, say, you said you do the same action, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so the same action, so to... holding the picker picks. I yeah, need you to give is. me a deck save. You have advantage because it's else with you. <laughs> hey. Uh, and she goes into the background. She and that that'll means do it. 23. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't yeah, yeah she's much. running around, and just yeah. as Abe comes back, she slides underneath. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, the 18, um, and it was still perfect for it because it was a final 2d8 on this uh, <laughs> as the last several people slide across to the other side uh, Babette just cleans up stragglers like almost in a, using the sliding motion herself right she's just mm -hmm. ice skating practically past enemies uh, and tripping them up over the each other in the spot. Um, Fucking Beyblades, she has two daggers. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. She's just... Yeah, she's on her knees just Beyblading with daggers. Yeah. <laughs> like a rock and roll slide. Uh, oh my god. Is staring at you with awe. She's like... <laughs> and mild disgust. <laughs> no, no. At this point, she's just like majestic. Like... <laughs> Scrunch face. Yeah, that majestic. <laughs> That was legitness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh I gotta skip through these ones. That brings us now to Tarana, um, who is going to take this time to move further back in. Uh and uh she will Go right behind here, 
body. And post up behind cover. Post up, boys. All right. So at the end of my turn, uh, Beacon of Hope would go down, right? Yep. And That's same thing with her. Uh, um, hers just went off, so she's done. Um, yeah. Okay. So after the end of this turn, your Beacon of Hope falls. All right. Uh, she wants to get as much uh, out of it as possible, but also she knows that there's a lot of people injured, so she'll just use Cure Wounds level uh, level three. So she's on gonna here. Get, on here. She's gonna get uh definitely Kelly because she went down again. Uh, my uh, you uh, two and then. Uh, I believe cure wounds is one. Wounds? Or no, when you ma 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 mass healing word. I don't mass have cure wounds on me. I was like, yeah. I'm. She's still munch. She's still trying to fiddle around with this thing. So as she's trying to figure out how Velcro works and all that <laughs> other stuff. How Velcro works. <laughs> okay, so how much <laughs> she's are getting gonna... back in healing? Uh, so it will nine. be uh, yeah nine. Okay. Nine to all targets that she chose. All right. Yep. Nice. Guys, I'm back to the same HP I started this whole session with. Hell yeah! <laughs> Your brother's bleeding out. I'm kidding. Yeah. But she's like, what the heck is this? She's mumbling to herself as she's doing this stuff. But that'll be her. Uh, and then she'll move the she'll move her cover underneath. Uh, so she's a little bit further right over here. Okay. Uh... Then just yet yeah, working, still working on this. All right. And Zale. Making your way back to investigate. The... Yeah, moving to this room. Uh <laughs> that liquid is most oh. certainly magical. Um you yeah. know that it's got transmutation properties. You have no idea what the hell it's for. It is a large massive amount of it. Um go ahead and give me an arcana check. All right. 19. Oh, um, you can determine that uh, that volatility of it, and based off of the types of piping that was used for it and the lining around it, uh, that stuff is actually um, not supposed to be spilling out like that. And not only that, <laughs> but with that oh. high enough check, you know that that is an extremely explosive material. Um, that uh, is steadily rising towards a spark that is about to blow that whole thing up. Okay. Um, can I do a tink? Can I do a tinker's check? Um. To... Give me. Oh, well, give me a second. Let me look at that check you had. Uh, um. Let me look at our timing on this. Um, you know that this is probably going to take you, um, that this is going to be difficult. It might take you more than one check. Um, mm -hmm. and so you can go ahead and start if you would like. Go ahead and give me a Tinker's Tools check. Yeah, definitely start that because I don't want this thing Uh, do keep in mind if you're using your actions for it, you have yep. two actions that you can do. Yeah, so would go ahead I? and give oh, me yeah, yeah. another one. Okay. If 25. Two... Okay. Um, and if you're getting there, you've almost gotten the wire out that will allow you to be able to do it. You've stripped the casing from it, and now there's a lot of extra sparks going around, so it's even more dangerous at the moment. If you were to let this thing go now that you've started working on it, uh, it is going to blow up on you. Um, and you, mm -hmm. would, you would maybe be able to get out of the room in time because you have enough speed. Um, if you dropped it and ran, uh, but it would explode if you did drop it. So you can't let this go right now. Yeah. Until you finish the job. Uh, okay. Nope. And nope. That finishing is it for the job. This turn. Uh, Abomination moves its way in through the door. Fee closes the thing. It slams down and it locks. And just before it slams <gasps> down, Babette 
Slides. Zooms underneath yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Like Indiana Jones style, you know, if she was wearing a hat, she would grab it out from uh, underneath yeah. just before. There was a it there was a hat for uh, <laughs> the Hawaiian dudes, remember, right? That's true. It's a fishing but... hat, but you know, not as grand. <laughs> it goes through, you slide under, just at the same moment, the thing's going down. Alright. You're like, oh dope, you wanna help me take this off? Sure. She slide past her, just <laughs> Yeah, that that will right. go and help the Hanu. Um, so the so, dive bomb in the other room. The thing is closed. <laughs> it is now locked. Um, there is uh, checking on this. Three rounds left on this initiative, um, and so we are going to keep the initiative thing going on for the moment. But you are sort of mm. soft out of combat all right okay. so you can rp amongst yourselves uh you don't need to stay in initiative to discuss things for the time being you are safe um all right uh what I, since you said it's liquid would i be able to use shape water to get some of that it water is not water? Hasn't said it is not it so hasn't said shit by the way he is okay. super focused right okay, now, now I'm, yeah. so, I'm so minding my own business um, yeah. that, uh best off i mean you guys can go back there and check now um, this yeah. thing is... <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, go grab the grenade first. <laughs> yeah, if oh, we yeah. Really, then first Eliza would have gone up to Babette and been like, you're amazing. But then she would have walked back to check on Zale. She would have if... booped your nose before you left, and then when Hanu pointed out grenades, uh, she would start looting bodies with Lib. There's... <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, there's guns too, isn't there? Yeah, there are guns, mm -hmm. um... Whether you know how to use that. You, yeah, well, she would later, sure grab one and just kind of like strap it onto herself so that way, if she needs to, she can turn into Hawaiian shirt guy again and have a gun this time. Even if she doesn't know how to use it, at least she can hold it and look more legit. Pose. Yeah, you got it. Um... <laughs> she's a poser with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Do all the guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah she's got four strapped to herself. <laughs> There are five bodies in here. Uh, each one of them had one gun um, and 30 uh, ammunition, uh, so a single extra cartridge other than the one that's in it. Um, and they all had one grenade. So three of the grenades uh, got looted by Lib. That leaves two of them left. There's still two more. And, and Babette's the grabbing those. All right. And then she'll distribute them to whoever she thinks will actually be able to throw them effectively. Yeah, probably also the ammunition, too. Yeah, could I have a gun? Eliza's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, I want a gun. Like, yeah. Little tongue, tongue is poking out the side, and she's like, I don't know what these are, kind of zipping. Whoa, it got stuck! <laughs> <laughs> Mashad, Zale, I mm -hmm. need you to give me uh, another one of those checks. Yeah, he could do two <laughs> right at that moment, too, because mm -hmm. haste action, regular action. All right. 22. 22, and then the Enough. next one. Nat 20. Natural 30. Oh, All right. That'll do it. Natural actually. 30. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> one, like, it's literally inches away from it, right? <laughs> and not only that, but after you rip the thing out, one of the other cords drops right down into it, but it's dead at that moment. So, the dead wire hits this liquid, and you're like, oh. Oh shit, that was oh. fucking nerve wracking. Oh, oh, oh! It's all just kind of sits down on his butt. It's like, did, uh, oh. did Eliza see any of that? Uh, yeah, you guys would have had time to go in and out of that room and see him working on that in that moment. Just sweating profusely. <laughs> okay. Oh, that could have been really bad. Okay. Yeah, if we're out of it, Darwin would just go near Zale. Not say anything, just be near Zale. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just like lean back. So, good find, by the way, Eliza. Good telling me. Um, I was the one you. who found it first. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. Bobette, because this is extremely explosive. And there was a spark. So if it went off, kaboom. Really big oh. kaboom. 
I was alone in that room at one point. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, I yeah. also want to make sure you guys don't get hurt any further, so if you can get these this armor off, don it as quickly as possible. That would take a minute to put at on. At least take, and you'll, have it, you'll have it in the car. Just take it off. Just put it in the... Um, Cac would, as he's doing that, would start putting in the bag of holding. All the stuff. All the extra stuff. So any armor and stuff like that, he'd be putting in the bag of holding. Suddenly, a few him. lights in the corner of the room that you're in there turn red. And you hear Zale. Containment mode deactivated. Containment mode deactivated. Containment mode deactivated. Containment mode de. Uh, of course. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> there's, there's a subtle crowd in cell. Uh, a few gunshots, and then there's this... And the song cuts out, and there's just this, like, sudden scraping sound across the intercoms through the whole place. And you oh. all... Uh, uh, Zale, you see as several of the lights inside of that thing, the whole liquid itself actually takes on a slightly uh, greenish shade to it as green lights inside of that area net around the ladder that descends into it uh, light up. And uh, this circular hatch opens up and the liquid spills down into it and then the, as the hatch twists, it undoes, and you see as uh, it spins out of the way, and climbing up through the ladder, you see somebody, a person, going up, and they look up, and uh, they're like, you've got Maybe. to be kidding me. Is that the fucking girl? <laughs> you see, you hear a girl. Um, you can't really make them out very well. They're covered. Uh, and they seem to be in some sort of mechanical suit of some kind. Um, that reminds you similar to the one that your original CAC, the CAC that you grew up with, um, had in those ruins. Um, this sort of arcano mechanical suit that they're wearing. Uh, you see past them a couple of lights, and there's somebody on the rung below them, uh, and another person on the rungs below them. Uh, seems to be three people trying to climb up through this ladder. The one at the top's covered in a lot of blood, uh, and in wow. this arcano mechanical suit. Uh, the ones behind them, it looks to be a person in a lab coat of some kind. Hello there. Are you part of Vox or no? Vox? What's Vox? Is she lying? Insight check. Uh, Liza, you uh, Zarma well. would also be looking into yes. it. Yeah. Uh, so Zarma can help somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think a little bit of advantage. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. 17 then for me, and then Liza with 26. All right. Um, and Babette, I can't move her over there, but yeah, she I'll, was I'll over there. Drag. Uh, yeah, his armor would be in there too. And also twenty six for Babette. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, Seventeen and then twenty six, twenty six. Hanu hmm? and Zarman. Okay, there we go. Um, so, based off of this, Eliza and Babette, uh, uh, Zale, she seems to be truthful. She seems to have no clue. They look tired, exhausted, um, and looking, there's a spark of, like, indignation in their eyes. Like, they've just been like, like an animal that's just had to fight through one too many fights up to this point. And they look like they've just seen a situation that looks like, oh, fuck, I'm now staring down the barrel of a gun because I'm climbing up a ladder towards somebody that probably wants to kill me. 
but the look oh, in their shit. eye, but the look in their again. eye, the look in their eye says, uh, "Fuck that ship. One more is going down." Uh, hey, don't uh, get yeah. Yeah. Just reach his hand hands up. up. Yeah, yeah, hands up. We're no threats. I'm not here to fight you. Honey, we'll pull out a good berry. You look hungry. You want? You want this? <laughs> We're kind of tired too. Like he would, he would sheave his stuff, and he would put like hands up still, but kind of like. We're not here to fight. It looks like we might be in the same situation. Oh, yes, then it's even worse than I thought. I told you that it was very possible that we were having a full-scale cascade event. Mm. The other one kind of sighs and climbs up the ladder, just shaking their head, and you watch as... Uh, Three figures climb out. The last one to come out is a, uh, um, uh, security guard looking kind of person. Uh, they've got like a bulletproof vest on. You can see a handgun tucked into a holster on their side, which they seem to be very nervously have their hand over, right? But aren't drawing it or anything. Uh, as they all climb up out of this, they all look really dusty, worse for wear. Um, but it's the girl who spoke, uh, that is, uh, the one that looks the most bloodied. Um, and they like, and this is injured bloodied or like, I have no looking at them. They don't actually look like they're hurt. Uh, their suit seems to be, you know, fairly well made. Um, here, oh, let's Who are back you? Get you? How did you get here? Are you employees? No. We just got caught in the crossfire. We were waiting for somebody at the front. Literally. The building yes. blew. Right. I know we'll motion for others to leave, so there's not too many people crowding around. It Let's looks like you've all been fighting as well. So we'll stay in the room. Yeah. The Zarma would just go over. to reach to pull out a bullet <laughs> that's probably coming out from the uh, healing from the potion that I drank earlier. Whoever attacked this place, um, they didn't discriminate against other people, so we've been fighting up here. And this seems to be what they were after, whatever it is. People? What sorts of people? Oh, uh... I bet just changes into one of the Hawaiian shirt guys. These sorts of people. Vacationers? Are they led by Varak? And think? then she... Yeah, and then she holds up the gun. Definitely Barak not vacationers. as in... Thunderbolt Varak. That's what yes. I heard. What would Thunderbolt Varak and some vacationers with tacky style want with the Epsilon Research Facility? Hmm. Epsilon research. You're not employees. I'm sorry, but I'm held under no. the strict confidentiality agreement. I think well, that's I personally don't care about that. I, there's just a lot of terrible things happening out there. I don't think that's important to need to discuss anyway. Fine. Whatever it was, was important enough for them to do this terrible thing. Yeah, there it's fully fortified out there. There's like snipers running about. It's not safe for anybody walking. Maybe they're simply trying to contain the issue. Well, they disabled the containment. Okay, they disabled yeah. the containment. Yes. No, that was only temporary. I had to disable it in order to be able to get through. Mm. Oh, I think they were like, wait, they were shooting at something and then the light went out, so I, I don't think they know what they're doing. Something that was glowing red. Yeah, so there are this... unknown assailants here. Mm -hmm. And they may know about or may not know about the Epsilon Research Facility, but you do not know about the Epsilon Research Facility. Am I correct? No. We were here for no. unrelated matters. Yeah. But uh, then we yeah. got dragged into this place. Well, I won't pretend yeah. to not find that a bit convenient, but since convenience is on my side at the moment, I've learned to not look a gift horse in the mouth. In the mouth. 
Luck is the only reason I think I've gotten this far. And I'm going to need more of it if I'm going to go back down there. Mm. I only mm. came up here to get my allies out of here, my friends. She looks back at uh, the other two. And uh, you hear as uh, she goes, Barney, you'll look after the doctor, won't you? He's like, you can count on me. She goes, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, well, I need a moment to be able to wait for the systems to reactivate. That will be about a minute before I can go back so, down there again. And this is just me. You don't have to explain it to me, but what it sounds like is that you're finding something that wasn't the same enemies we were fighting. You don't have to answer. Let's just say I have some things we weren't fighting. People. Looks at you. Well, it's like, not a, like a weak that's... little half smile, but it barely works. And it's exactly the... what we needed. Do you? Let's just say that if I don't go back down there, then you'll have a lot more things to worry about than people in tacky t-shirts. Here's the question. Especially so another way if out. They've deactivated the containment orb. I'm assuming that's what you're saying. They fired upon me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Then that Is there another way out of here, here if you go down? Compromised. Another way out of here if you go down? No. Mm-hmm. Well, perhaps, but there are miles of a facility beneath here. It could take you days in order to find another exit. It just took me the better part of the last 16 hours to get here. Hmm. Hmm. What do you mean we're compromised? Well, let's just say that you may not be where you think you are, or at least not in the version of the place that you think you are. I really don't have much time to be able to explain this to a layman, but... I bet just starts, like, I mean, giggling. <laughs> yeah, you see Zell kind of, like, like, like kind of laugh. Yeah, it's like an I unhinged mean, As absurd that it sounds, trust me, things get dangerous. Ugh. If I don't go back down there and reactivate it, then a lot of people are going to find their lives drastically changed for the worse. Okay, lady, it's fine if you need to go back down there, but we're trying to get out. We had no idea what's going on. So if you could enlighten us just a little bit on how we can either help you or get out of here, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Zale Wolford! Someone shouts from the other side out across the gate. As those of you that are out there see a figure approaching the gate. Who the fuck is calling my name? Do any of us recognize the voice? No. Uh, As this bet, bet. figure of a human, probably late 30s, early 40s, goatee, you know, <laughs> shortcut crew black hair, or this brown hair. Be this fucker. <laughs> this is fair enough. And he's gonna walk <laughs> right up to the gate. He's flanked on either side by, uh, if I can freaking make them show up. There we go. It's your boy. And... Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, fuck this. Alright, alright. <laughs> He's here. Hint. Uh, uh, I was worried uh, it was going to be Gustav. <laughs> I mean, I was about to fucking throw hands, but he's calling my <laughs> name. So. I want to talk to Zale Wolford. Babette <sighs> looks over at Zale and turns into him and just is like, hmm? <laughs> No, let's let's see what he wants. Enzo, Enzo will start walking. Kind of sidesteps out of the way and looks to her. Uh, I don't know if we've gotten your name, but we're quantum anomalies right now. Okay, bye. <laughs> <She'll> just... <laughs> 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 she 
<laughs> so Armin will just stand in the room with that awkward silence of whatever that would probably make. <laughs> Blinks. Eliza, Tired, staring. fatigue, and confusion is all that's on their faces. Uh, <sighs> they don't seem capable of being able to register what that meant. Uh, <laughs> Zarman would drop his head just so they can get a clearer look at his face. Neither one of them seem to register who you guys are. Um, or none of there. them do. Nah, that's fair. So would, so would right, Zarman will back. just attend to these people as Zale does this thing. Yeah, then that's going to go up with uh, Zale if uh, Eliza comes with her. Well, she will actually just toss a good berry over to this, this lady and then boop, boop, walk up. Like, eh, you need this. Seem tired and hungry. Yeah, get, if you can move me into the room right here. <laughs> yeah, it's paused right there. Yes, yeah, give me a second. Yeah. yeah, um, I'll go out there, but she's still like <laughs> staring at that lady, like. That uh, Zarman would have stayed in that room. <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't trying to drag you. Uh, okay, and then. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. So kind of walk up, looking at him. You calm? You don't have the beard. Never mind. No. Oh. I'm here to negotiate. No. Well, if we're on negotiation terms, I think I should get your name. Just you know mine. Henry. Alright, Henry. What are your terms? We'll let you leave, and we won't open fire on you or any of your allies. Kind of... Crosses his arms, stone face. Hmm. And can, is there any guarantee of that? Yeah. I said so. And... You're the ones backed in a corner right now. You don't really have another choice, do you? What is it exactly that you want? Well, you've been in there long enough to see that those tubes lead somewhere. Somewhere dangerous. We're here to check it out. You don't... strike me as being the types of people that are loyalist dogs, no matter what the movies say. I don't kind of like looks at him your people did shoot at us without provocation just FOI by the way this we had orders been to keep this dogs. place secure how are we supposed and to know that the paradoxes were going to stumble in and I don't know. is this stumbling why are you here <laughs> So your terms is to let us leave, correct? You want to shoot us? Let walk right out the door. I give you my and word. And then you're going to go... As the son around. of an ex-Griffin's Guard member, maybe that'll mean something. No. I'm going to insight check him. When he said he wouldn't give us his word. <laughs> and he said that he was the son of an ex Griffins guard member. Yep. All right. Yeah, just inside that whole conversation right there. Yeah. Did the Vebek get in on that? Yep. Yep. You were right by me. You're my assistant in this. Am I anywhere yep. close enough? To yeah, you're right there. Okay. Yeah, Eliza walked up too. So. Yeah. Okay. You guys I'm are my inside guys. Human influence. <laughs> Uh, Babette rolled the highest even with your influence. Yeah. So you can give the D4 to her. 
So Puppet, roll d4. Okay. Um, yeah, he's telling the truth. Right. He seems more concerned about the fact that you guys now have the thing that they were there for, and with mm -hmm. you guys out of their hair. Well, well, here's the thing. You hurt us pretty badly. We're gonna need some medical supplies to heal ourselves. Especially since we're in a war tone city right now. Go to a hospital. You think I'm gonna and patch war. you up so that you can be better fit to take out my men? Think again. If that you let us leave, if you're going to give. If we're going to trust you. <laughs> Jackhammering sound coming from the floor, um, right above your heads. Yeah, you got about a minute to decide, and then we're gonna mm. drop every bit of explosives that we've got right on top of your heads. Uh, Shout that's... when you're ready to talk. And he walks okay. away. That seems highly volatile right now, especially with this, like, liquid. But okay. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know what it, what, what it is that they are so, I don't know, trying to protect so much. They're not trying to protect, they're trying to find something. What would this eclipse this? Well... There's Gosh, only one person here's, who here's would know, thing. but they're sworn to secrecy. Maybe you can convince them. Uh, that is going to stomp yeah. into that room, walk yeah. up to the woman, and she's just going to say, you tell us what the fuck these people would want with this, all of this, or we're not getting out of here alive. And that Eliza is where we will pick up next week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, Eliza is, like, literally right behind you, arms crossed. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. The duo team. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That bet like she she's not like full on aggressive, but classic she like grabs pose. the collar. The yeah, she grabs the woman's that. collar a little bit and it's just like you tell me everything that we need to know to get us out of here alive. Uh, Alright. So yeah. what what round would it be technically now? Um, right now you guys are um as far as rounds 20. go, you are um, are, give me a second, yeah, about 24, 25. I'd say that so, was a lot uh, of Honey would be able to get the vest off the body yes. by this point? Yes, 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 mm -hmm. you would be stripping the vest off of the body, I'll say at this moment. Um, Donnie. Sticking that shit yeah. on Zarman? <laughs> well, she's giving us no. some take a minute. Out. Yeah, she it's gonna take who? another minute to put it back, to put it on, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it, she well, just took it off, took off one vest from one guy. Yeah. yeah. She's just like, it'll be great if everybody could do this. Nobody's doing it, okay? <laughs> yeah. You want Zarman to touch a dead body? <sighs> so <laughs> she's not doing it. <laughs> she's like, yeah, to me, to me. Uh, yeah. And by the way, this is, this is FYI out of character. This is not me trying to not gift us in getting out of here without a fight. There's something else going on, and we don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't trust they might these guys are gonna They're do jackhammering anything. literally right above the middle of this thing right mm -hmm. here. Just, yeah. You just see dust falling from the concrete above your heads. Uh, yeah, they're literally just gonna throw every grenade they've got left into this room with you guys if you don't get out of there. They know the walls won't blow from the blast, so they know that they can actually blow up this room, and that room in the back will be fine. <laughs> Do they know about how? I know it'd like, suck if we all went we'll back there. Yes, well, yeah, yeah, yeah right. if we all went that's back the down thing. the ladder. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, it'd suck if we went in there. You know, that's guys. that's what I was thinking in my head. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, haven't we determined that Arthur doesn't have a phone? Uh, yeah. Arthur doesn't, oh, Willem but, does. but Willem does, and Willem ran to go, uh... Yeah. yeah, so, Yo, yeah. yeah so we can call Willem and then say we're gonna be underground in the mall, and then he can figure out what the fuck he wants to do from there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, he's... I mean, that's the thing, I mean, guys, at this point. We don't have to point. retreat fully underground, we would just be safe back here. Yeah, and just in the back I mean, that's itself. true. If you retreat underground, yeah. that ladder goes down, by the way, um, for about half a mile. Um, it's just a ladder. It just goes it's off just into a ladder. oblivion. It's just a ladder yeah. for half a mile. <laughs> That's why they <laughs> look so defeated. They got at the top of that, 
and then it was and the just, hearing they may need to go back down yeah and there's there's a well she was already planning on going back down uh, she she was bringing yeah, her allies up the dismayed look was the light, <laughs> the light at the end of the tunnel had enemies with weapons standing at the bar and she's yeah, like, still, weapons, yeah. still after all it's like going through a dungeon crawl and when you walk out the end portion of it there's like a whole nother dungeon and you're like oh, yeah shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. like there's enough I, I mean, all the pile in here and then wait that out. Uh, I mean it is. It's just the question the question I have is that do we want to accept their deals? Or do we want to figure out what's going on? Will here? Not want to. Yeah. It, well yeah. that bet because this woman has said like there is something that's going to fuck up all of these people's lives, which means that it's probably gonna be some dimension timeline yeah. hopping nobody, shit so yeah like, nobody i'm not in this, this with us. so everybody in this entire building actually heard that song which is why it stopped working um oh fuck okay everybody in this building is currently in a shutter space um oh you guys so they took my shutter space yeah so motherfuckers <laughs> uh, they didn't take your shutter space. No, they did not. Oh, they recopied uh, it. This is this is not the same type of thing. It works completely different, actually. Um, it's just okay. similar to shutter space. This is a state-sanctioned shutter space from <laughs> Germany. You could take that for what you want. Maiko's power as a demigod is that she can uh, see across dimensions. Uh, so Mayuko's eyes are bridges between realities. Uh, oh, they have oh, one fuck. of Mayuko's dead eyes down there that they're using. That's why they're fighting the aberrations. Yeah, they're down there. They're oh. not even fighting aberrations. They're fighting monstrosities. Um, oh fuck. Uh, things are gonna get. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, the, so this is this is this is the kind of like there is that option for us to leave, but I feel like because. Most of us are like, oh, there fuck is the this option guy. to leave. Uh, yeah, there is the option to leave. Uh, and if you if mm. you left, then everybody here would die. Um, mm. uh, I it's it's really funny too because the situation is worse because you guys killed more Vox members. Um, if you had killed less Vox members, the next stage of this battle would actually be less difficult. Um, mm. I, I wanted to design encounters that you know reward you for pacifism uh and not killing people and stealth no, and this it was not a situation that would have worked anyway it, it, i mean it it could have it was i mean it would have been really difficult but it's not like you know you if we all kind of just came in here right away yeah. Yeah. in yeah. like two waves yeah, it, it, zarman couldn't it zarman wasn't gonna be able to take the shot from the sniper yeah no no it, i mean again i mean he couldn't the dice and everything kind of played. So, I mean, we're just at where we're at. During the you know? first wave, uh, he wasn't in position. Uh, and he wasn't even in position for the first half of the second wave. Yeah, and Zarman would have volunteered to be second wave anyway to pick up the flag because Honey was sticking it down. We weren't leaving your flag. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that if we all went there in, like, two waves. No, I mean, without killing just, people. Just, just to say overall... That whole session went so much better than the last one, guys. We did a fucking well in this. Yep. <laughs> Told you guys, you guys would improve drastically. Yeah, we did really good. I mean, even even you, Sapphire, you did some good shit. Yeah, that beacon <laughs> of hope was clutch. <laughs> yeah, and positions, you positioned yourself really well. I know, you, but you positioned yourself really well, so you didn't take any more damage or anything like that. Mm -hmm. you kept it so people were keeping in the beacon of hope. You're using the create a freaking create water spell to freaking trip those guys up. I mean, that was fantastic. It was good. Oh, guys, she's been tripping people since like 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I'm just Jesus saying. You people improved. in the middle of fucking hunger of Hadar. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fine. But I'm just saying, you improved Sapphire. Mm -hmm. Everybody. I just is. want you to be proud of yourself. Did fucking brilliant. All right. did Everybody well. improved. Um, I'm, not, I'm just not saying this stuff. Like, you know the one thing Zarman doesn't need to see to do? <laughs> I, that quote of code was funny. <laughs> you fucking iced that, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, no, I, the, the funny thing mm -hmm. is that actually the HP he started to look like session <laughs> That's the funny thing to me. He has one HP more. But 
Hey, that's cool. Uh, at this point, Zarman had a tw has 20 less HP than he started last session with. That bet's okay. still sitting at four under her max. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. But her max oh. is 58, so... <laughs> Eliza's pretty solid. All right. Oh. We're, okay, we're, that was. We're at like halfway through, guys. Round twenty six. Hey. One and a half away. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, twenty five. Yeah. I mean, the question is, is like, most likely we're gonna go out the ground <laughs> if we want to do yeah. that. And he's giving us till round thirty five before he's blowing in apparently. Yeah. Yeah. In, so I mean, that's, in, that's uh, the... the the access panel, um, because it does a, like a, a window for the decontamination thing that's there. Um, will not. Mm. She has. She can't go. She, otherwise, she would have went down immediately after coming up with her allies. She has to wait, and it takes a minute for it to do. So it won't be accessible to go down that hatch until after the uh, thing yeah, jackhammers sure. through. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can sneak Yeah, so it's one of those things of uh, we just hold our actions to run down the ladder as it's running down. Are we mm -hmm. able to come back up, though? Is it like a one-way? Once that thing closes, yeah, we're it's one. It's go. one. It's like it's a one-person ladder thing, too. So, like, you know... Uh, right, if we order ourselves, we can get over half the people on the ladder starting to go I down mean, the like, before the, the first round Once happens. We start going down, we, we'd have to wait another minute to come back Climbing, up. Climbing is um, half of your movement speed um, because it's like climbing on things, so it's difficult terrain unless you're a... Uh, uh, um, tabaxi uh, yeah, or tabaxi anything or with climbing speed. speed. You know, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And the ladder goes straight down, right? Yes. Yeah. Sky Strike exists for uh, Hanuman's armor. Oh, I have a prep. <laughs> and you know, also has feather fall. Mile down to the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the under ground. I mean, yeah. do you then, need the then, thing down I'm there just, to be okay I'm or just, not, lady? I'm just, I'm just pointing out that that would take you a really long time to climb back up out of, and by then, uh, Arthur will have arrived. <laughs> Arthur is going to have heard that you guys were here. Willem will have said that there was an attack. He knows he's coming towards an attack. He will see a cordon thing. He's not stopping. He is going to ram his vehicle straight through every vehicle in there and drive yeah. it into the mall. Uh, if you guys aren't here when that happens, then uh, you will have... They're in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be I a mean, lot harder for him Arthur. to get. It'll be a lot harder for him to get out without some of your guys' spell capability to help clear the way. Um, yeah. Getting in I is mean, one thing, barreling back out. I is would another. say, I mean, we can avoid the grenades and everything going off. If they're gonna unload everything, we're not gonna be in the room to take that damage and fuck them. That's all their explosives, motherfuckers. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> you really just have to not be in the main room whenever they do that. Yeah. Um, it, it was basically when Zell was like in his head internally. He's like, "You're stupid. You, you should not warn us about that. You should you not have said anything." It going on above your head. I know. <laughs> that was and, just funny. And, and it's not. It's it's like that's how negotiation tactics work. Oh yeah, really. I know. I mean, I know, you need I know. to give them a time clock so that they're not, you know, just debating on it forever, trying to come up with a plan. And he sure as hell was not going to heal you guys to capability uh, after you killed most of his No, people. that was just... Like, like, that like, was just a stall. Pretty much everybody <laughs> that, that he came here cheeky with cheeky is dead. Comment. There is literally only two people remaining from the original crew. Everybody else is reinforcements. Yeah. Um, right, and uh, how many of them are named? Because there's Henry and then that one chick. Uh, that's Henry, it, that's, that's those it, two. The one chick. That's just those two. Um, we killed the other named enemy, <laughs> Jack. I don't know yeah, if we killed Jack. The, uh, two named enemies or not. Nope, just the no, one. not yet. <laughs> just the one you guys. And have. they just and he just saw us take down Jack fucking instantly too. Yes, we have yeah. five he, grenades, that's why, guys. That's also yeah. why he he from their timelines experience. The one that came up with battle plans was uh, Zale. Um, so mm. that's why I call Zale to be the one to negotiate for this stuff. That's also why he held his action to shoot Zale and not Tirana. Shoot me, yeah. Um, I mean, he's not technically wrong. This version is just... Trying to go after has... what, he's trying to go after what he perceives to be yeah. tactical leadership in the group to cripple you guys' decision-making and then make it easier. Hey, to I mean, he, he ain't wrong, because this, this is just a Zell with less experience, but Zell gets to the point where he has more experience, and yeah. So he made the right decision. 
<laughs> that's what I was like. Shot. You almost got. You. I know. No, I know. I was like, oh yeah, he's fucking Another aiming for me. Another person needed to be drugged in. <laughs> yeah. You still would have been healed Thanks and brought back up. Uh, yeah. They just. Uh, more yeah. fucking movies, no, I mean, more inconvenience, more time. Well, we got up. approximately a minute for somebody to down this armor. Who is it gonna be? Uh, <laughs> you could hazard a guess. I mean, I just, yeah, it's so all the way over here. Room, just, oh. uh, yeah, you could do it in the back room. No, she's just she's just fainting. Oh, I have this armor. Who's gonna wear it? Oh, Honey, it's just being back. dramatic. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. I'm like, guys, who wants she's to pulling about that. Right I mean, now? I know. Just, just to calculate in my head for how many people we have killed so far, and this is out of character, what count me, Cape Cape Cape, we have killed over another 10 to 11 people. So we killed another 24 in total of the main elite guys. Yeah. Yep. Well, I have uh, to kill all. Man. Uh, just because I want to know how many people got eight who just ate shit to the breath, uh, cold breath. Oh, and one of those bodies was incinerated um, by mm. Hanu's uh, spell. Um, this is very important to remember. It's the only one that doesn't have a corpse in this room right now. Okay. What shit. Oh. Oh. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> and Jack continues it's the to only one that doesn't have a corpse. That's why I'm like, this could probably be some kind of uh, average thing that's going to jump into his mind, and then we got that. I'm like, this is why. I mean, guys. if they want to blaze, uh, waste a bunch of third levels for that. Oh, man. Uh, no, it, oh, God. Uh, it's, oh, it's, man. The containment zone has been deactivated, guys. <laughs> oh, by the uh, way, by the enemies. way, was that a Half Life reference you did with these fucking, like, she has the fucking suit on from, yes, like, Half Life? Of course. I knew they it! Just, I... <laughs> they even made a resonance cascade. The guy, the security yeah. guy's name is Barney Calhoun. Barney, yes, yeah, <laughs> I was like, not even, I was like, not even I was like suit, <laughs> suit, suit coming up. And the freaking suit looks like she's done a battle, but it looks like it had that a scratch on her, but it looks like she killed a lot of people. <sighs> fucking half life. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna spend my time taking off another vest. <laughs> it's like I got a minute. Nobody's helping me. Well, I'll take a full minute now. <laughs> Doctor Grace. Uh, just Mason. for uh, prosperity's sake, uh, what is the property of those armors? <laughs> uh, that vest. <laughs> so the light armor. They, they, <laughs> they are. Light armor, as far as things like encumbrance or stealth checks work on things, but mm -hmm. they are heavy armor, um, like plate mail, um, oh, for their, okay. for their AC. Um, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> so I mean, it's 18 and nothing else. Like, okay. I have no yeah. idea what you guys are talking about. I've just been my minute just taking off this armor, nobody's been helping me. Uh, off. <laughs> wow. Um, you will notice that these people were not wearing their body armor properly, actually. Um, they are not, um, proficient, uh, in these, uh, armor, so they weren't actually gaining the yeah. full benefit. That's why they weren't getting that 18 AC, that's yeah. why. Okay. Yeah. They were wearing, so that was... they, they, they look like people that aren't used to wearing military equipment, um, that had been given military equipment for this, um. Okay. So just a, just a <laughs> question. So they're considered light armor, so if Zell was to put this on, he would get that, he would get the AC? Uh, you would have 18 flat, yes. because that's plate mail. Yes, you would have 18 flat. It doesn't let you add your decks or anything to it, because it still acts as if it's plate mail. It just doesn't... I mean, it's still giving you another work with your style. So Goodness. that would actually be good for Bebet, if, if she... Right, wanted... if it's considered light armor for proficiency, yes, or is it, it is. considered heavy It's, it's considered okay. light armor for proficiency. Yeah. I mean, I, I improved my AC by two. I mean, that would make me at... 25 ac well all my stuff yeah, yeah i would say all the leather armor people would enjoy it but they're still wearing leather armor right now yeah you, you guys yeah. can you talk about that take things on that, that i mean specifically but, but, is that she wouldn't be able to i'm just taking it. it yeah you could i'm take just it taking with, it at that uh, point take it with you and possibly put it on on your car ride out of here if you don't have time to do yeah. it here it'll take you a full minute to like, they obviously didn't take the full minute to put it on properly, all right? They were pretty much just threw yeah. these things on over their chests and shit. So right, and of course, uh, Sarmon's in there with a bag of holding. You can just throw all their guns inside one of her bags, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. I'm spending another minute taking off another one. So we got two of these armors, but I'm like, you guys, okay. No, I mean, and that's the case. Zell would help 
take one of yeah. our, uh, take off the armor then now too. Now that we so know there we have be... a full minute to just like you yes. know hold our dicks. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, right. be back she there, like, being safe. By herself, mm -hmm. alone, some that whole minute, like <laughs> guys. Yeah, because I mean that's that AC is fucking will actually be amazing, especially this light armor. I mean. I go from yeah. a 16 base to an 18 base. That's pretty freaking good, especially with my bonuses. So I go from I 23 AC probably... to 25. Probably... She was just gonna go, like, cushion up Kelly, because she got hit two twice. She's like, Kelly, no! <laughs> so unless yeah. somebody claims it, she's gonna give it to Kelly. Uh, I mean, Cells, are you sure armor? was that right there? Kelly's not gonna take the armor. Kelly already. Oh yeah. Has... Oh yeah. You're right. Because yeah. she has her special thing. Yeah, right her, now. Her, her special light armor helps her. Do she's so gonna better. put it on Fee. Yeah, <laughs> if yeah. She's like, gonna save my she little bird. She still has fancy right? capabilities of what she could do with that armor. She hasn't used yet. Um, and mm, she's been saving it, which yeah. is good. She only gets to be able to do it a couple of times. Yeah. So. If nobody claims this, I'm giving it to Fee. Then. Oh. I'm sorry, I mean, want to wear it. Just because you know, yeah. You, you know, that's... Zarman's the melee slugger. If he doesn't have armor, he can't do that. Yeah, yeah. so we'll take one. So I mean, that's that's all three. That's all four of them, anyways. Yeah. So there was yeah, five it... bodies in there. One got incinerated. I'd imagine the gear is fine. Oh wait, no, yeah, it's not gear... magical gear. Yeah. It would have burned, no, wouldn't it? The gear yeah. is actually fine. Um... Okay, cool, cool, cool. So there's five. So this... Okay, so we're all good. Yeah, so we can get like five grenades, five guns, five vests. She's just sighing. Guys, I have this empty set of armor, and I'm taking this other armor off. Hell, yeah. If yeah, he, yeah. If it, if it he would been, take precedent over Bad Bat, but if there is a spare not, piece of armor, she'll take one. If it had been something like an actual fire, not Sacred Flame, then I would say that it burnt up the gear. But burn, yeah. Yeah, Sacred Flame. I, it, sacred Flame doesn't really burn. Yeah, it, it just it just it burns. It's it serious. Yeah, exactly. I also it's not damaged burns. it too, so things were flying. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, only reason so why he died was due to the force. Yeah, so. Force softened I mean, him up, and then it just. Yeah, I mean, it definitely take that armor. I mean, that's gonna be. I awesome. mean, that's the only way Zarman's gonna have 18 AC during this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, because I doubt Zarman's Zarman gonna get 10 minutes to put on, on his good armor, because goddammit. Yeah. Zarman's gonna just. Yeah. I would have like, liked it. Like a good cop, you know, with his little bullshit <laughs> badge on and stuff. <laughs> The best security. Oh, the, the no disadvantage on stealth will be nice too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we uh, have it's not like it helped much anyway. <laughs> so who's taking it? Uh, am I. Uh... Zell, Zarman, will Bet, Zarman yeah. and then Fee, if you're giving the Fee. So four. And then you. So five. Yeah. So in terms of people taking it off during the next minute, the four that are still there. Actually, would you need to doff the one with the guy who got incinerated? No, you oh, wouldn't. It's just there. Yeah. It's just there. So, uh, Zarman so. will wear the one Hanu took off. So you could take the one in the dust pile if she really wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to make her do that. I'll take the one for the dust pile. <laughs> well, I'm talking about spending the next minute donning it. Yeah, she'll just put it on. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It doesn't have blood stains on it like the other Yeah, exactly. Did, so. It's clean. Yeah. Good, yeah, good. I wasn't going to give one of the blood stains. Don't think about what it was. Don't think about the person. But yeah, that's that's honestly <laughs> honestly that's super good. I mean, that gives me such a good AC. Like me and Bobette get really good AC from that. Yeah, actually. Yeah, like, well, it'll give her a plus two AC. The only and like I can't. <laughs> the only <laughs> downside to that is that she like she's limited with her shape changing if she does that. Yeah. But if she, I mean, they were body armor get it anyway. Enchanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, mean, yeah, in, you can enchant any armor. Would be perfect. Yeah, she could get it enchanted, and then would it be able to shape shift with her? Well, guys, here's the thing: you need It'd to survive with thing, it. On. It would take up, like, yeah. you know, you'd have to have it sent with someone for probably like a week or two, and it would cost money. But you guys have a lot of that, yeah. so yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Guys, have we have to on. first survive to bring it back. Yeah, <laughs> or somebody oh, yeah. has to survive to bring it back. Okay. Right. I mean, I, uh, you're only getting enough time to doff the armor off the three corpses. Just eat those things in the bag of holding. As long as somebody's holding the bag of holding, we're good. You know, once mm. you guys get out of this stuff, you guys get, like, a long rest during, like, and then, like, a chase scene. Uh, and, uh, not a long rest, a short rest. Um, mm. And then it's into, a, like, a whole nother set of scenarios like this. So you guys really aren't getting a long rest for a minute, and you guys have a whole nother set of 
problems after you yeah, get away from this mod. Yeah, but I feel so much more confident now, honestly, because I feel like we're, <laughs> yeah. we improved so no, much gameplay-wise. And you've gotten some gear and shit out of that stuff as well? Uh, yeah. Yep. I mean, if we get a rest at any point, Sarman can put on his fucking good-ass fucking splint mill. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I mean, we're getting, and we're already getting short rest. I mean, we're able, we'll be fully kitted and ready for the next one, yeah. plus with extra gear and stuff. So I mean, and pretty much, yep. pretty gilly healed pretty much by that point too. So I'm just saying, like, <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm pretty confident, and we're still pretty good at resources. Like, Cax still fucking stacked <laughs> yeah, with spells. This is why I was like, man, yeah, this is gonna be an extensive one, guys, because it takes that in order to get. You guys, yeah, it takes it a takes lot. a bit. I was like yeah. thinking in my head, and I'm like, man, it takes a bit for like yep. our group you, to actually like start really being the danger zone. Encounters for this fucking group with a with a big group with mm -hmm. high DPS, like making encounters is fucking yeah. Uh, also, on that short rest, Sarman gets his channel divinity and cold breath back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so does Anu. So. <laughs> We and still... still has two first, two seconds, and a third. Yeah, I still have all. I still have all of most of my stuff. I only spent one first level. That was it. I still have all the rest of mine. Thank you. Babette so. still hasn't used her compulsion yet, so. Mm -hmm. I'm By still the way, waiting for Babette, time to that. nice distraction. Hell yeah! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. That was what I had to play in. I mean, you know, Henry was Henry was right. Henry was right. Take out the tactics guy. Take out Zell. <laughs> I was like, that's why. That's why I said you fucker. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Cause I know why you target me. I'm like, oh fuck, this guy's pissed. I back up. <laughs> I knock her into a room with fucking Abe in it. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, I wish they had a little bit higher initiative, just, man. Just... Like, that's why I was like, yeah, she may have only taken like a small amount of damage, but it was the scenario. But the amount if she would have stood there. Yeah, if she had oh, stayed yeah. there, that would have been a bad scenario for her. She might not have survived <laughs> into another round. And so, like, yeah. Because yeah, eight, that... eight crits on 19s, by the way, just a reminder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Zarman blindly just fucking sent her flying through a wall into a room. No, I sent her through a wall then she blinded me and then I fucking froze in another room. <laughs> oh, God. No, I mean, like, blindly because you didn't know where she was. Um, yeah, and, sir. And so, uh, so not I mean, even knowing my thing. Was, I just turned the desk into the other room. Yeah, the whole fucking thing just <laughs> threw it and as she's landing in there, it's just this giant hulking abomination <laughs> to her left side. Of course she dropped a flash grenade and dipped. She's like gone. Cause she's got she's got cybernetic stuff, so fucking flashbangs and things like that don't affect her. She can't be blinded, uh, or deafened, so and she still has a thing up her sleeve, but the enemies that were the stragglers on the back, right? Um, were all people that are uh like physically imposing enemies which means that they all probably had good strength from her perspective. And she has her nanobot ability that she can only do once per day, which lets her uh, um, <laughs> force a strength saving throw and have somebody's uh, speed reduced to zero and unable to take reactions. And that's like her yeah. good way. Of uh... So if a, if a burst strong, if like a roguey person comes to hit her, that's how she gets away from rogues, right? Uh, and it's also yeah, how she, she can fuck that up. This is how she can get in close to a rogue and also get away from them after it happens. Uh, oh, so she has the know. same exact thing that Zell can do. That's still be yeah. funny if we go, uh, you're yeah. and Zell go against each really, other. Just because it's also really funny. Uh, since she's uh, cybernetically enhanced, would she be considered wearing metal? Yes, yes, she is. Yep. Uh, yeah. If she would have stood near them one more turn, she would have been in trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oof, yeah. So she, yeah, that was she, been... she left with a scratch, and you know, her only goal was. So basically, to... she's wearing metal, so it's time to break the Geneva Convention. Oh god. Uh, no. <laughs> it's but metal magma war pick. It does another two yeah. d eight off a uh, charge, so I can double yeah. metal. Yeah, but... Keck. Keck would have fun though, because he's all like, "I like my shock and grasp." But... Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, between the two people, the the weird thing of her being cybernetically enhanced was actually a good thing for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. She's. Oh, that she was. 
So she was lucky. Because so. she was lucky. Because if they know what was going to do to her next, because she was in range and Kak was go first and she didn't, if she just stood there, I was going to whole person her ass. And I was just going <laughs> to let Abe and Zarvid fucking have at, not, her. have at her with automatic crits. I was yeah. I was aiming to kill her. I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> then you dipped. Lucky. <laughs> Yeah, no, if she was somewhere easily in range, uh, she would have been fucked. Yeah, also, by the way, I'm sorry, like, super early on, guys, I couldn't, like, get my freaking shit working. I would have moved Kak a lot more and stuff like that, but, I mean, it worked out in the end. Uh, Kak yeah. needed to hover as far as he did anyway, just because he needs to be within 60 to move him. Yeah, so, that's what I was trying to maintain, I just couldn't see the map, so I was trying to maintain that. I think he did pretty good, he's at 36 HP. He doesn't take that much damage. Literally is something more familiar to you guys though as the enemy she's the only one here who is actually kind of like much closer to your guys's familiarity with how people fight um i mean she uses the... a sword she uses a sword with one hand and a desert eagle in the other <laughs> yeah uh yeah. that, that Definitely. mean that so she'll when she's staying at distance she just fires twice right but she can uh, fire once, hit once with the sword, or she could hit twice with the sword. Right? She could do any of her mm -hmm. weapon attacks twice. Yeah, she's very, she's very Zell-like in that manner of how to mm -hmm. be interchangeable she's a, like yeah, that. She's a mechanical. She's pretty much. She is a reflavored version of the Blood Hunter. Um, yeah, she just yeah. kind of admitted that I do the blood stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so he uses, she uses nanobites that end up uh, affecting uh, people's blood. Um, she is actually, um, uh, like, trained through what was somebody that was part of the Order of Saints Blood. Um, mm. So she actually uh, is kind of one of the last remaining blood hunters. Uh, but, she, <laughs> but, she, but she updated it for the modern times with nanobots instead. Oh, it'd be a so shame she, if we kill her. Because the difference <laughs> is, is that she can actually, with her nanobots, affect um, constructs, not just constructs. So, yeah, uh, she's not limited to things that have blood. She can even affect the undead. Um, mm. Mm hmm. That's kind of like the weird reflavor of the uh, ghost slayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well. Sh Good thing she's going to 1v3 everything. <laughs> yeah, no, she's going to just harass things. Right now, actually, she's um, in a sort of stealth stalking match with uh, Cal. They're kind of both yeah. stalking each other at the moment. <laughs> it's It's been pretty funny, actually. Like, uh... Because they, they both get like like a couple because they've been doing nothing but the swords thing. She has been using guns against him because she's trying to remain stealthy, uh, and like so just pops out every once in a while a couple little hits. But he's just impossible to hit. <laughs> like, uh, but she's very tact. Like she doesn't stay in the fight and she's sneaky. So she'll dip out mm -hmm. and she can uh, bonus action hide. So. Yeah, dip out kind of like age. a rogue, a rogue blood hunter. Right. Yeah, yeah, rogue blood hunter monk type of thing going on. <laughs> yeah, chance that it's triple multi classes. God damn it. Yeah, it's not a class. I mean, He's it's a blog. Like, I, right, it's, it's the monster stat yeah. block type of thing. But you know. yeah, exactly. We're just comparing. Honestly, that's what we're just doing. But very similar. Very similar fighting no, exactly. style. That would make sense. So, <laughs> uh, who would have the grenade? Uh, I want him up and then Babet, I think, grabbed one. Yeah, two. Babette had yeah. probably two and Lib has three. But yeah, Babette Lib... gave them to whoever she thought would be able to throw them the most. Yeah, exactly. like, Lib so is just that like, be? when, I, when, I, when I'm when i having to play Lib, I just know that Lib is the stingiest with her spell slots <laughs> out of everybody. And so, yeah. like, if it comes on to, she will not go out of her way to approach somebody and use a spell slot. Um, I mean, even when Brooklyn came back to play that one time during the Ogre Queen fight, mm -hmm. she could have done so many horrible things, but then she wanted to stab with a dagger instead. Mm -hmm. mm. She would rather die than do spell slots, probably. Yep. So, <laughs> she, she's, she's ready pick, to front And it, it really Never helps needed. with like knowing what to do with her on our turns by giving her grenades so that I can just have her lob a grenade. Right, because if she turn. has like an immediate typical martial way to do something, she'll choose that for sober casting. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> That's so hilarious. So that 
So that means when we need her to cast, she'll be like, you fools. I'm at 100%. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a reason why fucking uh, Brooklyn was considering multi-classing her into a rogue, just yeah. so she could Ooh. do that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she... I mean, it's not honestly a bad decision. This plays it kind of like how I play Zeld. It's just save up your spell slots to when you really, really need them, Ooh. and be able to save up for the yeah, fight. Yeah, but you've gone you down see. almost, almost gone down twice. So when does and you really, haven't used really one. Need it? It's yeah, I... right. At one point, you could probably use one of those spell slots to do like, oh, I don't know, magnify gravity against all the people with you've, you've, decks. You've gotten lucky and drawn like the thin line there, right? Gotten really close where like it's a good thing. It's a calculated risk, you know. The benefit is, mm. you know. Right, yeah, if you I got survived. away with it, you're good. Yeah, and you did get yeah. away with it, so you're good. But it is a, it's a, mm. it is a risk. Uh, um, oh yeah, I know, I know. It, it turned out I would have magnified this time. gravity at least once. Yes, I, 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 yeah. Um, if he would have done it once, the sniper wouldn't have done as much as he did. Mm. Uh, oh no! I, don't worry, don't worry. There's... Don't worry. But there was fucking dies if the arms of Hadar or point. another hunger of Hadar was wasted. You yeah. could have used the first level slot, and Cat could have saved a third. <laughs> If it wouldn't have covered that much, he still would have hit you. Remember, it's small. It still would have hit. He mm. still would have got you in the corners. It's only ten feet. So that's why I was like, mm. I'm not. I can't cover that with that. And it only lasts one turn. So by the time you got over to your turn mm. again, it, I mean, yeah, there's this. It's more limited use that I have for it. It's not like, mm. and it's also where the case where it's, I'm not like not using them. It's some. There's certain like ways my stuff works that's just better than <laughs> certain situations, and mm. these situations it hasn't you know really come up. When it comes up, probably like like later on, probably come up a lot more. And then yeah, you're just oh, all used to the can do. It's yeah. just magnified gravity would have worked on all those people with guns. Just saying. <sighs> I know. I just wasn't in range. What's the range on it? It's only it's only um sixty feet. Hmm. So, yeah, I, I, it's not a far range. It's still only a first level spell. So, I can't yeah. necessarily. I mean, again, I, I will. It's just really kind of picking, but I mean, I'm good doing mm -hmm. it. It'll work out in the end. Yeah. Nope. I mean, overall, but Zarmin on short rest is actually pretty good now that he's got durable anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so so on short rest would be fine. So she said he's got healed back to half. Oh yeah. Yeah. Heal Aren't you a, a half caster now? I think. You should have four first and two seconds. I think so. Oh, I only spend one spell slot, so. Three first and two seconds. Mm -hmm. Uh. Gonna be fun. Yeah. yeah, we get to open up with a little bit more RP stuff next time, so it's a nice little, like, short little refresher out of the grind for a moment for uh, the last several, the last, like, minutes of this, a lot of stuff happens, like, so, like, the, your guys are discussing during this one, so this whole minute goes by, right? And that yeah. will be uh, the end of uh the third minute um and... yeah i mean i'd be halfway through the fourth minute too <clears throat> so i mean yeah because we're at like round 25 we get till round 35 until he blows or goes to do the mm. thing yeah so, i mean we're we're getting through then we have 15 rounds until arthur shows up mm -hmm. yeah i mean we're 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 doing actually really well. I honestly like I'm probably like, really proud of you guys. <laughs> honestly, do really well. That's yeah. I mean, as soon as uh, Zarman got shot by their just two shots, he wasn't making it across the sniper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. That's why I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not part of the second wave. I'm just gonna get fucking shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I waited too. I mean, it was just like, yeah, Cat could get targeted and the Cat could go really. That, and of down. course, I don't think Cat would leave Abe because if he would have went there, uh, Abe would have been out of control range. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's what that's what I had to keep maintaining. I was like, I can't really dash because the ape's there. So that's what I was like, let's help Zarmin with this fucking chick in the back. So, yeah. It and was then being flashbang made it to where you know Zarmin had to do something. 
Because, mm-hmm. you know, that Zarman didn't quite memorize where things were in the room, which is why I decided he would just go towards the threat while he was blind. Yeah. Because Zarman would try to remember where the danger is coming from, not necessarily the surrounding around him after that. He peeped his snoot mm-hmm. a lot at that, that kind of investigation. Mm-hmm. Just, ah! Ow, ow, ow! Oh, here we go. Hmm. Alrighty then. No, it was I mean we did honestly you guys really really awesome job. Oh <laughs> yes. Negated a lot of them. I mean even the damage we took, we negated a lot of it too. Probably we actually gained <laughs> a little bit more. Alright. So we're gonna be opening up next session with Babette's intimidation check though. <laughs> yeah. mm. Make your talk. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sitting there in there I mean, awkwardly with her like nerves, a good day. She's got pretty pretty good nerves of steel, you know. It'd be a pretty high DC yeah. on this one. Well, she's the I'll... she's the female Gordon Freeman, yeah. okay? Like you, you yeah. gotta, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> I'm just gonna take away that good bear. There goes her food. <laughs> she probably already ate it. She probably but... yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> already, yeah, she ate it immediately. Oh, this is this is not gonna work. She's all I spent the net last sixteen hours doing something. Oh, food. <laughs> All right. Eat it like popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but food that you pop sorry. in, you feel, you feel uh, instantly rigid. <laughs> like, you feel instantly full. She's probably like, oh my god, this is yeah. like the best berry ever. I just ate one, I feel full. <laughs> but ben, yeah, no, but I, I mean, once the intimidation anymore. check probably fails, unless she gets like a nat mm-hmm. one on whatever you roll to respond to that. <laughs> Libby's intimidation um, tech. Uh, when it comes to persuading, one. intimidating, and all that, it's a set DC. You have to beat a DC for her. Yes. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want, Libby can be there and you can help Libby out or something. Um, yeah. Or Libby could help you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoever's better. Considering I mean, Libby's just going from grenades and then hearing some asshole doing this shit. The fuck's going on? And then I mentioned yeah. around the corner. Yeah, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, bitch, bad, tell man. us what you know because we're all probably gonna get fixed. as as she's <laughs> like like tossing a grenade up and down. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, like, like explosive chemical thing right there. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's gonna. Yeah. Oh man, that's gonna still be still in the back. Tra- or Han is probably helping people put on arm, but she pipes in. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this check gets harder be because Hani spoke. <laughs> no. Yeah, doing a doing a if the intimidation fails, it's like I'm gonna have to somehow switch to persuasion. Uh, I mean, I mean uh, that's that. when you use leverage of we won't get your friends out of here unless you tell yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it's up to us at this yeah. point to get them out. That'll uh, be that'll be it. It'll be once yeah, the and intimidation then, uh, Eliza, fails yeah. of you know we're all gonna die. It's like okay, well. If you're not worried about dying, you seem to be worried about these uh, companions of yours. And yeah, if you want Eliza us to do anything to help them, yeah. If you Eliza want us to do the, anything uh, to help them, mm-hmm. has the what? Eliza has the information that they were looking for people of import through the employee information. Uh, so Eliza yes. can tell that they're hunting for people who knows what's going on down there. Exactly. And your two friends here would be that. For us to get your friends out of here, you need to tell us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eli- did Eliza for them. tell us? what it is that they were looking for like did she kind of give us the rundown on that i can't remember not yet, not yet. she's probably gonna do it yeah. eliza could do it defo- yeah eliza right. could do yeah, that exactly. as well, she could just it. basically assist with my whatever check i make mm-hmm. exactly that's we're all just all nestled up in here and yeah that's there's the moment for that just up oh, sorry mm-hmm. so still in the other room freaking try to disarm a bomb pretty <laughs> much <laughs> that was hilarious <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, guys, we made it. Oh, thank God. We all made it in the room and everything. Zell sweaty <laughs> profusely in the back room. Like, don't, don't blow up, this, don't is, blow up. this is where your Just haste action came in. Yeah. yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, because that, yeah. uh, that thing was going to blow up um, on um, the, uh, the end of that minute. So yeah. Uh, yeah. you had three rounds and that thing was going to go. And yeah. I, I, so the fact yeah. that you got four checks means that if you did not have haste, you would have died. Yeah. No. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was like, that's why I looked at your, your initial check on that was not high enough to determine exactly that you didn't have enough time. 
Um, that's what I, that's why I hesitated there. It's like if you had gotten, you know, like a 20, Shit. 25, if you had like an 18, um, a 19, yeah, uh, then it was, uh, then you would have been able to identify that you didn't have enough time and you should get out of that room. With the fact, coupled with the fact that Eliza knew that these walls were pretty much blast proof, um, you could have just waited for it to blow. You could have just waited for it to blow. Mm -hmm. um, but the people coming up the ladder probably would have known that. Too. It would have blown yeah. up. They were underneath a um, uh, protective pretty, thing. Yeah, there was. Yeah. A, oh, it would have looked bad for us if they saw yeah. us blow into it instead yeah. of. Uh -huh. you know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it would have made everything else that sucked afterwards. Yeah, they would have entered yeah. into that scenario thinking they were going into another aggressive, hostile situation. hostile situation, and they would have, like, they've gone doing hostile situation for 16 hours now, so they're just going to... In a routine. Yeah. yeah they're... They're, 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 I, I will say this. this. This was just in Zell's head, but there is a moment of the flash of the bomb in Griffin's Peak, and he's like, I am going to disarm <laughs> this fucking this time. <laughs> so, and it was like yeah, he was disarming it out of spite, not out of any yeah, necessity. Yeah. <laughs> this is not going to be the one that gets away. No. Yeah, exactly. This is one that thinks of I'm glad object interaction is a thing you can do with haste. Yeah. Yep, it's uh, great. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, no, it, no, it was it really was that like deep down spite. It's like nah, nah, uh, uh, not only this thing to happen the fuck again. I got haste on this time. I am ready. Yeah, I think, <laughs> that thing would have blown up in that last freaking round right before you would have had one last check if you hadn't had the uh, ability to do it hasted. And yeah. Like, that's fucking nuts. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I was like, I was like. And then the nat, the clutch nat 20 on the last roll. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yep. Nat for 30. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, it is great. See, like I said before, the game rewards me when I'm like in difficult situations. It just unrewards me. It gets me double nat ones when it's like in a funny situation. Yeah. It's always like that. Or if it's for a dramatic effect, effect like the natural twenty, like the sniper shot. I mean, that's just for dramatic effect. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I gotta show this one. Guys. Um, <laughs> Hey, I mean, hey, it paid off. I mean, dramatic effect. It made the whole scene even Especially more. Especially <laughs> since I was specifically targeting a particular character, right? Yeah. Um, I, I'm like, I can't just say that I natted against somebody when I clearly didn't fire against the other NPC that stepped out just moments before to shoot at two mm -hmm. people. And I was like, that'll look way too much like I'm, like, going after a particular person. Uh, <laughs> like. He was I mean, like, it's one of those things of uh, the way how you would have had to word the triggers to that is I'm going to shoot the first person who goes out. I'm going to shoot the second person who goes out. I'm going to shoot the third person who goes out. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. That's the way how you set the triggers to that. Because, yeah. you know, an asshole DM would just say all of them to the first person that shit steps his yeah. butt out. Yeah. No. Mm. Uh, yeah. Because the idea is that you're all actually doing it at the same time. I'm doing it mm -hmm. one at a time so that we can resolve the issues in a way that isn't hectic and confusing. Yeah, yeah no, that, that was actually really went really well. You're running pretty much at the same moment. It's just some of y'all started a couple of feet ahead, so you were a couple of feet ahead. And since everybody mm -hmm. out there was holding their actions, they mm -hmm. all just go in a line as well against uh, if we really wanted to be technical toronto would be the first one out there because she had the highest initiative and was up front oh yes yes so toronto would have just been front loaded anyway and everybody would have wasted their reaction after that just coup de her. Mm -hmm. i don't think you want to do that nope i mean honest honestly speaking i was fine taking the crit i mean just honestly it was fine how <laughs> Yeah, because just imagine if that was the way that was ruled, though. Like, one yeah. around, and then just... On the <laughs> yeah, on the downside, somebody probably could have died. On the upside, when you're unconscious, you're prone, so ranged attacks are at disadvantage. Yes, mm. yes. Oh, God. The downside, when you're unconscious, you have zero movement speeds. So, you auto-fail dex saves, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I don't conscious. know if that's a thing, though. I, you're incapacitated, too. I, I mean, if you're incapacitated, yeah. you fell yeah. deck saves automatically, anyways. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, I mean, again, I was... It it went for a more narrative thing. Even though it took damage, it went for a more narrative thing. It fit just right. I mean, yeah. it was I mean, you get like, 20, do you get a 20 on a track? It's the yeah. Evan Foil, man. 
Yeah. Ebb and flow. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, it's totally fine. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Honestly, I, it felt cool. You know, it took a lot of damage. It felt cool because it made semantical sense. It's like, yeah, I am the tactician, and yeah, he would target me. I, that makes sense. That's why in that moment, Zell had that quick, like, look around being like, fuck you. <laughs> and he <it> ran <laughs> back inside. Yeah, it's not incapacitated that makes you auto fail deck saves. It's being unconscious makes you auto fail deck saves. Unco- well, yeah, unconscious, sorry. That's what I meant. Yeah, incapacitated just only means you cannot take actions or reactions. Gotcha. When you go unconscious, you become incapacitated, cannot move, cannot speak, and unaware of your surroundings. You drop prone, autofail strength and deck saves. Attack rolls against a creature have advantage, but you know, since you're prone, range attacks are at disadvantage, so Mm -hmm. it's even. Yeah. Any attacks that hits a creature that is critical hit if the attacker is within 5 feet. So if you are meleeing somebody who's unconscious, it's an auto crit. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And it crits when you're unconscious is two fails. Yeah, you get two you get two fails left. Yeah, I remember. So as soon as somebody would have fell unconscious there, and then they would have sprayed her three times anybody who's sprayed unconscious three times uh, they just die. <laughs> They're fucked. <laughs> yeah. The the, the and then also the thing is that Zelga actually got pretty he got healed up almost to where exactly he got he was before he got that sniper round too. <laughs> He's at 49. He was at 52 yeah. before. So, I mean, he's only missing 3 HP. Yeah, see, that... Bebeth's almost at full health. That sniper shot would have put her at, like, 7 hit points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, put me in the 6, but I was at half, so... I was oh, thinking yeah. of Zarman to delay one turn, but then, you know... That's when I'm like, please just throw up a darkness. <laughs> He can't. Uh, <laughs> I doubt he would have had a more specific trigger to be all like, uh, I'm going to just shoot at this specific yeah. time. I'm pretty sure trigger for the Just a question, real shoot. quick, because this, yeah. this is a question I have. You said it's half the damage, right? Of my health? Did I get a wound? What was that? For getting a wound, it's um, half my oh, max. the damage shock. Oh, um. It's. Actually, yeah, hold up a second. Uh, if you are damaged up to half ma- half of your max HP, I believe. Yes. So what is half of your max HP? No, that did it, didn't it? Because I was at 45 as my uh, max. Give me a second, yeah. I thought they 45 or 46. No, uh, so I mean, uh, I mean uh, what is your max HP? Not the HP you were at during 91. the situation. Yeah, 45. Yeah. 45 is your uh, pain or uh, shock threshold. Mm. Okay. All right. So you could have chosen to take a wound, and something happens due to shock. Also, you could. You could. uh, Well, you're gonna have system. You would have had system shock when you had it. Um. So Mm. I should have rolled a D10 to determine you might have been like knocked prone or actually been knocked to zero HP, but be stable or fall unconscious for a certain number of rounds. I didn't do it on it. Um, Mm. I I think I'm going to retcon this in that, you know, the adrenaline just made it not happen right away. The adrenaline combined with you being hasted made it to where it happened Mm. like a flick fucking half a minute later right and we'll just so you could just it. say the lethargy when your haste wears off that's when it hits you yes. yeah i mean yeah, that could even be a fun double, thing to say that haste delays the, haste, the wound yeah. or shock yeah it delays yeah, delays the shock yeah that's nice that's neat so um, goes yeah. i like that flavor table. what the fuck <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and roll that um i mean it had to be truthful because i was like out of yeah yeah no, I, think honestly about, forgot I haven't, I haven't used it because we haven't done anything that does that damage i mean this is it, pretty so. hectic combat in the first place so yeah mm-hmm. i'll know the key but i also just oh. like the flavor of haste doing that you know okay yeah that's um, uh well this is this uh would make you incapacitated until the end of your next turn uh, okay so it's the same thing yeah. as like yeah the trillion yeah, hits you, you would have been the lethargic you would have gotten from haste anyway you didn't yeah. lose anything yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I could take yeah. a grievous one, right? <laughs> um, uh, if you want. I, I, I'd say that you were incapacitated for uh, that it stacks onto it. So you're incapacitated okay, so two for rounds. two rounds. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's okay, one so the, the lethargy just lasts a little bit longer than you expect because you just got fucking sniped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that, that fits. Then, uh, 
Yeah, if you're hit with a critical was, oh, Grievous hit, wound on top of it. Uh, if you're hit with a critical hit, uh, uh, they can choose to suffer a lingering injury, specifying the location of the injury themselves and describing it as they see fit. Uh, the more devastating the description, the more severe the injury, and the more likely it is that they might gain an inspiration point, which lasts until the end of the arc or until spent. Um, and you can heal it with regeneration. Um, Does Zell have a DM inspiration already? I think I do already. Yeah, so. you, you do, so uh, you there's no point for you to take a... Yeah, no, not I'll keep the, it. Yeah, but, but keep in mind, because there's uh, a lot more opportunities after this mall for uh, critical hits. Uh, <laughs> like, these guys were the training, all right? They get you guys whipped into shape. And then you guys go against pros where you go next. But the difference is you're not stumbling into the next situations. Yeah, um, we're going prepared. You're going in prepared. Uh, so it's pro versus pro. And yeah. Armin actually has AC. Holy yeah, shit. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I throw you through rough boot camp, right? And the worst kind of scenario to see how you guys pull together. And you'll learn a lot in that shit. I mean, probably got it really well, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't think it went fucking... Yeah, I mean, even in the first one, Zarman, even with the bad positioning during the sad wander, did pretty alright. <laughs> Put two people to sleep and fucking prevented regeneration from Jack. <laughs> yeah, the f- fact Zarman that you put those two, two people to sleep was fucking yeah. great. <laughs> put yeah. two people to sleep so they couldn't use their grenades, and then uh, fucking... The cantrip did, like, 14, 15 damage, I don't remember. It and then prevented how much healing? Yeah. Oh, 18 damage, and then how much healing would he have gotten that turn? 36. Yeah, Zarman did like an effect of 54 damage on that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. With yeah. a hand trip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it was really To be good. fair, it was Bardic Inspiration on top of that, but you know, it was more about preventing yep. region that did the most there. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. With the cantrip, Zarman did 50 damage. No, though, that guy might, I mean, honestly, um, that guy might still be in the fight if you guys hadn't stopped his healing. Like, like, mm-hmm. like, it really. Yeah, and he like, died when he was still being prevented the healing. Also. Yeah, I mean that was. Yeah. That was the thing. Like that's like, if he had. Right, he was prevented... a fucking troll. If he didn't have the chill touch still on him by the time he died, he would have stayed up probably. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fucking started regenerating, man. Rough shit. <laughs> Funny, mm-hmm. funny uh, thing, wanted... Abe's at full health, by the way. Yeah, I He's know. at 120. That's, that's the fucking thing. I wanted, I wanted something that was like, like, like an Abe, right? But you know, mildly smarter. <laughs> mm, mildly. Yeah. Mildly. Put it lightly. <laughs> See how yeah, and then uh, Sarman him. demonstrated the counter to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh mm. God. How about no? He says. Mm-hmm. Right, and then uh, <laughs> Ace is gonna say motherfucker when somebody uses chill touch on Abe. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's all I'm gonna hear. Yep. Yep. That was. What? Yeah. I don't. Think... That's that's. I do like? I actually do like that description. That haste kind of like it makes you such an adrenaline boost. And this that shock doesn't like... hit you until haste. Yeah. Now that, now that I've been reminded cool. of this, and we're like in the groove on this shit, it's a good time for me to implement the targeting limbs thing, so that when you guys score criticals, I just ask you what limb. Right, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. uh, and then they roll. I make them roll a Constitution saving throw DC ten plus the number of injuries. Uh, unless they're bloody, then it's fifteen plus the number of injuries. Uh, and bloody is them being uh, more than injured. Um, e. And if they are near death, e. then they automatically fail. And uh, they suffer a lingering injury on a failed check. Yep. So that'll matter if we have named guys. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Is enough. Those are people probably being rezzed, if anything. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I had a drink in my van for about a minute and a half. It is slush. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I hate when that happens. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's so fucking cold. I hate it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wanted I wanted to be truthful because I I didn't think at that time because everything was so hectic. But I was like, yeah. wait, how much damage did I take? For yeah, that what is my max? Is my half? So I didn't want not say that. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I mean, I I like I like the whole like mm. time dilation 
Zell's around is kind of like stopping the shock from him entering his body. That's kind of pretty cool. Well, it doesn't stop it, just delays it. Yeah, I know, that's what I said. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool yeah, flavor. Shock. Thinking <laughs> about it, wouldn't have uh, Maya and Kelly possibly have gotten into shock when they got fucking destroyed? Uh, <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Um, Did Kelly take enough damage to have health for? Uh, they got took enough damage to almost kill them. One tap them. Yeah, they Oh, they yeah, they yeah. They want that right. jack thing, yeah. So they possibly both would have gotten into shock and possibly also have gotten into uh, an injury yeah. if you so, wanted to do that for yeah, them. Because the, the, the point of system shock is to make it so that that whole healing to bring them up in the middle of a battle over and over and over again doesn't keep happening, right? Right, because yeah. you could get a bad shock. Yes, you could get a bad shock. Yeah. You could, uh, and if people crit you and you've got injuries, those things can make it even like fucking harder. Um, thankfully, enemies can't target limbs. Um, for the yeah. twofold effect that it would be devastating against you guys if they had that many people in an action economy capable of doing that. And second of all, because I don't want to fucking manage that. <laughs> so, <laughs> mm-hmm. Also, Babette's uh, system shock is 29 damage. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. I mean, the funny, the funny thing is the, the sniper, the sniper just regular shots. <laughs> got you system shot. Now, oh, but you get to yep. make it. You get to make a con save, so you don't automatically oh. get it. It's well, and PC we 15. all know how well that goes with Bad Bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah Bad Bad's fucked. Yeah. Zell's actually on a decent side, if I remember right. Yeah. Actually, let me let me roll that. Actually, since we're talking about that. Yeah. Oh, I'm at twenty. Okay, so it didn't even, didn't even matter. I rolled yeah. a twenty. All right, yeah, so you're good. You're only going to have yeah. your normal lethargy after. Lethargy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's a plus four to save his constant save throws. I so. still f- find it funny that Zarman failed a con saving throw when he has a plus ten. I... <laughs> <laughs> I, your your bigger your biggest saves always roll low for yeah, some it, reason. For I'm Zar- like, why? Yeah, I rolled a three, get, so thirteen. For Zarman to get system shock, he has to roll a five or under. You know, so mm. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because if boy. It's the worst case, it's a DC fifteen gone save for shock, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I just literally have to roll five or higher. Yeah. There's a 20% chance of failure, but you know, I would have failed it. <laughs> like with that 13. Yeah. <laughs> with that 13, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is, Why are you. This is what makes, uh, <laughs> like, you know, barbarians and stuff really good for taking, you know, devastating hits, not just a lot of small hits. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they can pass by the console. The resistance. Probably preventing shock entirely yes. if it's a physical thing anyway. Yeah. And if it does get shocked, because ridiculous amount of damage you put, they can still at least like probably make that con save easily. Yeah, they have proficiency and probably pump. Nemo's gonna that, be fun. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was pretty decent in con save. Yes, plus four. I mean, that's decent. Blood hunters are also pretty decent at this. Yeah, I believe blood hunters have proficiency in it, right? Mm-hmm. No. Excellent. Dex intelligence. Really? Damn. Yeah, but they, they do get the, they do get um at tenth level to add their intelligence modifier to Clear their all physical, physical sales. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they make up in the end, at the end like the, by the mid game they make up like their save throws a lot so it's like a half paladin. Kind of kind of do want us to do the little slip and slide thing for next time so you guys could just fucking bolt. <laughs> uh, I mean, Zarman isn't dexterous. It would be more harmful. Than you exactly. No, you just go on your bill and just go. Please. <laughs> uh, I don't think that'd help more than running across anyway. Zarman! Listen, yeah. Yeah, the I don't week, know how they're going in this scenario when fucking the five minutes hits and Arthur <laughs> crashes through. Yeah. With a fucking dump truck for you guys to jump into the <laughs> get in trash. Please, please tell me this garbage truck is the one garbage uh, truck with the new. I already saw, I already saw it. He, yeah. when he was doing the road trip thing or the road scene. Oh yeah, no, no, no. what is the one dump truck that has like the Duke has his horn. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I have I have a horn. Uh, <laughs> don't you worry. Oh god. Uh, yes. It's not the Dukes of Hazard one. Ah. Uh... <laughs> that feels so Arthur Deli. It <laughs> is, but Hazard. unfortunately, a custom-made Arthur dump truck wasn't sitting around for the taking. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what his boat sounds like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I really feel like a yellow occupied hearthvine would not, not have, have no. dump trucks with La Cucaracha as their no. horn. Uh, <laughs> listen, the resistance would. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the resistance <laughs> would. Yeah. I mean, they showed up in the snow in fucking Hawaii shirt and yeah. fishing hat. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would have put it past them. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Is that love it? Uh, I can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> I mean, Ter terrorists it... in Hawaiian t-shirts. <laughs> God, I'm so glad with the how that deception went after I used my inspiration. Oh God. Yeah. Yes. Nobody was able to figure out who you were. You know. Yeah, who and you and were. when you said that only one, I was like, no, 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 no. This is Babette. She's going all or nothing. She needs everyone to be looking at her. Uh, yeah. No. That that was went well because then they had they had hell uh, just to shoot us when we crossed. Exactly. That was amazing. No, that's just that that resigned to run up. Raise your hand, Babette. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was so good. Shit. Then shoot like, yeah. So okay, in uh, the future, um, if we ever have a plan like that, as a free action, once the once the charge happens, would I be able to just like yeah. raise my hand? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yep. I didn't do it. Yeah. Learned. It's now. Yeah. yeah. I I would have done it, but I wasn't sure if I was allowed to. But now I know I'm allowed to. Yeah. So. Now we learned it, so I mean, it makes it a lot easier yeah. to do it on instinct. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, I mean, we also will be able to get like probably like communication devices, like as mm -hmm. we're looking. So we probably, you know, it'd be easier just to talk. You <laughs> probably learn your tells afterwards. Like, there's a little slight flourish that she does. Yeah, though, that which is, though. Like, saying something is something completely different. She had already said things that turn yeah. when she did all mm -hmm. her talking to that group. She was in the mid. Keep in mind, everything happens in the same six seconds. So, yeah, we waited until the end of that six seconds. Yeah, so she just but, uses her yeah, so yeah, like, she was still yeah. putting on the show. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, as soon as as soon as the round restarted, that's when she she would normally have like in any other situation. She I just didn't know if I could make her do that. <laughs> yeah, but yep, uh, exactly. yeah, um, it's good to. The thing, you wouldn't necessarily know her tells because she is so fucking good at lying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. what I'm saying, like later on, but the only reason why is because you have like a little tiny handkerchief that you just <laughs> that's that's the only that you moment. Yeah, she actively <laughs> puts tells into her performances so you guys don't shoot her. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's don't, what I'm saying. Like, eventually you'll learn them because you'll be yeah. like, bitch, stop. A little over exaggerated. <laughs> we just don't AOE still still coming you. together as an elite unit. <laughs> I still cannot believe that I was the only one who saved that strength save. Like, yeah, yeah, that was great. That was great. Right, just you're right that dead upon... in the center too. Like you're right yeah. in the middle, and vines come up around all four of them, and you are just right there in the middle of it. All right, on it starts waving friends, all friendly like at these all people. Right. They must be like, what the fuck? <laughs> You mm -hmm. just freaking raised because Fee knew deep down inside yeah. who you were. <laughs> <laughs> it raised you off. The dice you raised the me off. <laughs> yes, I do. Fee just said, don't hurt my friends, and nature complied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God. I think it's dead. That went really yeah, well. You know, you fucking took out that room barely quickly. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Like... caused enough destruction to finally walk across. Yeah. I mean, this I is mean, why, she... like the the point of the demonstration on this, and this, because this can apply to literally any prolonged engagement, anything that's where it gets an overwhelming force, is secure a location long enough for you guys to be able to hold your actions and act as a single unit. Because mm -hmm. you can devastate when you do that. It changes the mm. entire game when you start thinking as moving as a unit versus moving. Yeah. Because there's this weird thing with, like, because, for example, um, the idea that she was still putting on her performance is correct, but a lot of people have this, like, or because of the way initiative goes, you do your thing and then the turn ends and then and then you have to wait again until it comes back to you. And there's, mm -hmm. like, this <laughs> blank space where you might almost imagine like they went into idle NPC mode until it comes mm -hmm. back to them again, right? 
Uh, and But that, that window doesn't actually exist. You're still doing the thing you were doing at the end of the last turn mm-hmm. up until the very moment your turn comes back mm-hmm. again. It's, the six-second like, frame is in your action. It's in yeah. the, the round. Yes. Yeah. The, the, I feel the like round we're going to use the seconds. tactic of send in the babette while we all prepare to murder like yes. or you yes. know while oh, we all prepare to do it. whatever it is yeah no zell's taking like that's another fucking playbook thing he's thinking about i mean like i said the more combat experience the more experience zell's gonna get zell's gonna turn into the tactician why henry's like <laughs> yeah we gotta take out zell because mm. he's the tactician of the group. <laughs> and i know that's a fucking target on my <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it. that's what it was like. I mean, we're in a situation when we began the whole thing in the mall where we're like, there wasn't a situation to necessarily get our communications. That was the first comment mm-hmm. in a while, too. And a lot of those were inexperienced. A big portion of Henry's thing is that he comes from a military background where the leadership position and hierarchy is how things work. Um, exactly. He's making an error in calculation, actually, um, in the assumption that that would actually cripple your guys's ability to make plans mm-hmm. to do things. Um, I mean, yeah. Zale does offer in strategic points and stuff because of his ability right. to recognize those things. But the but thing we're such a chaotic group for yeah. fucking with our leadership doesn't really do anything. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your guys are. Your guys, that's the whole point of the whole. And even then, the idea of you guys moving as a single unit, it, it kind of helps uh, embody that same concept that you guys are a group more than just a collection of individuals and Mm -hmm. or at least you're more powerful when you're doing that and that's what makes you guys formidable not just your Mm -hmm. individual it's hard to break our morale because we will die to the last man yes Mm -hmm. oh yeah and you see what happened there's a clear difference between this session and the session before the session before was what combat looks like when a collection of individuals do things this session it looks like when a group does something Mm-hmm. And that went really it's well. fucking night and day. It's fucking beautiful. I mean, you took some rough mm-hmm. hits hook on a couple of you guys, but like in points where you were capable of doing it, and it was severely limited in how much that could have happened. Like, yeah, right. Because you moved out the group. Not one person got fucked from opportunity shots. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because it would have been severely you know, injured, but not fucked entirely. Besides, like, uh, who got downed out there? Yeah, because Ellie. if you've been doing Ellie. round like turn by turn on those rounds like normal then those held actions would have fired against a single person uh, yeah in one turn mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just yeah that's really what's having plan move, move together i mean i'm also thinking with eventually with the banner thing with han and what we can do that we're supposed mm-hmm. to bring up is that you can pop it early on so if we're prepared for a fight get everybody a plus three then i activate my, my mm-hmm. haste thing so everybody have an advantage in plus three and if we do charge at the same time that means everybody in a round with and still have their action and their haste action can move and it, or you can use their haste action you want to move further but they can move over like 180 feet 120 yeah. feet and then you stick the two positions. rows just outside of the yeah. banner but just inside the haste mm-hmm. which which then gets really good positioning you can mm-hmm. see people in the position, which position is good. able to act from those types of positions really quickly is going to be very, very important because um, something that's going to be... I, I teased at it with some of the tactics that they did. Um, when, when you have an enemy that knows how to act as a unit, right, you recognize that that's mm-hmm. a formidable thing. Your tactic as somebody else that's, uh, is to break that up. This is why mm. when you have a collected army mm. with strong phalanxes, you try and rout them with a cavalry, right? Mm-hmm. You have to mm. break it, right? Yeah, you um, have to spread them out and then divide and conquer. And mm-hmm. that is kind of what they were trying to do, because Henry ordered a couple of them to do the shoot through the wall and throw some grenades in their thing. And then um, Armin fucked all their disruption. Yes. And, they, they... and of course, Armin was strong enough to take the splinter. Yeah, that's the issue, is that we are strong enough as individuals that we can be separated to a certain extent, and we're still okay. Yes, <laughs> against mm-hmm. people and it, but... like that. But if it had been a better unit, it wouldn't have been two guys that had uh, 
um, had one of them break through the wall and the other one throw a grenade in and then be on an entire another turn where something else happened, it would have been six guys lined up on the other side of that wall. One of yeah. them would have busted it through. One of them would have thrown the grenade in and flashbanged you. The yeah, rest of them would have dispersed into the room and then you would have had firing going on to that and chaos. That mm-hmm. is the tactics you're going to see from what's going to be the peacekeepers. They mm-hmm. they know how to break up like riots, and so they use those types of tactics. Um, and they're still not the most advanced, so they use riot tactics against people that are honestly a little too powerful for riot tactics. But their gear uh, mm-hmm. will uh, and their training know. will will make them go into those scenarios. So they'll they'll mm-hmm. take some heavy losses probably, mm-hmm. uh, but also... Yeah, Sarmin's so the... also really good at that type of tactic just because of how he's built. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But so Sarmin's the, the good mobility at just of a rogue, chaos. though, like having the rogues split off would yeah. not be the worst because they uh, can exactly. very especially easily Sarmin's get out of there. Yeah, especially you yeah. guys can hide you see what Cal shit is like doing, that. Essentially. Um, yeah. In, yeah. in scenarios where you aren't being, you know, because you guys, again, you had to go into that uh, recollecting yourselves and to a defensive position when you got ambushed. That's That takes mm-hmm. a minute. Uh, yeah, but so you, you and Liza could, like, stealth around, scout around, and take mm-hmm. out freaking dudes, like, weakening their defenses but, little by little and take yeah. out positions. Well, and, but you're go- you, guys, you guys did well. Cal's being irresponsible mm-hmm. right now. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, don't, like, if, mm-hmm. if you guys' if job Cal. was to clear out all of the enemies here, then yeah, do some What Cal, Cal was stuff. doing would be all right, but that wasn't our objective. Yeah. Our objective is oh, yeah. drive, so we're oh, surviving. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm the like, hypothetical, yeah. like, scenario, which was scenario was different. Like, we're cleaning out, we're cleaning out mm-hmm. someplace where it comes well, that's really thing, good. Though, and with the two kinds of rogues that we have, like, we literally have the one who can go in there, just walk in there. And yeah, be the face. Blend in, yeah. You know, be the face and just like mm-hmm. pick up information, walk around, you know, maybe drop some cyanide into a guy's drink, stuff like no, that. You and, can, <laughs> you can, you're, you're like a strategic Eliza, missile. Yeah. You're a strategic missile we can fire from the inside the enemy. And yeah. we, you can she's, start she's the person who effects. stands up at the dinner party, clinks the glass, and says, I'd like to make an announcement. And then all of you guys rush in, you know? Yes. Like, yeah. No, yeah, you, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you do the routing technique. For, that we were just talking about them needing to do mm-hmm. against you. You are the, you're the one that does that for your group against other people. Uh, mm-hmm. Like the most effective. Mm-hmm. You have other ways of being able to do this. Yeah, I mean, if we were stuff. trying to do it aggressively, then Zarma would be good at it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but but if we want to, if we want to be completely unaware until the moment that we are ready, that's what Babette is for. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. I was uh, super proud of like what I said when I was doing that deception. No, yeah, it was good. <laughs> no, it was great. It was so awesome. Mm-hmm. And that's an Anzel, and, and I was like, I was like, yeah, I need a bet for this because I need this because <laughs> first definitely for it. But, yeah, because yeah. she yeah, was able to make it across the hallway. Off. Throwing grenades if Babette didn't do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, yeah we she was able to need make it across the hallway, and and they were like, oh, that room must have some of our people in it, you know. So like the people ready mm-hmm. actions would have had and like wouldn't have thought to necessarily ready those actions right away. Yeah, and he did a good performance to get their all their attention, so then they were mm-hmm. double screwed. They couldn't mm-hmm. react. Thank until... you for letting me do that, by the way, Chance. No, I'm that was what yeah. they're fucking built for. You know? Yeah. She has all eyes on me. Uh, yeah. Like little background feed there, but for a different reason. That you're not <laughs> watching, I'm going to make you watch. <laughs> yeah. God, I, I want, uh, honestly, though, I wanted that throw from the Triumph from Hanu, the, the freaking oh, hit that so bad. So that would, like, mm-hmm. to burn the guy with freaking Sacred Flame on the right and throw the freaking Triumph. And I was like, ah, oh, I want that hit. Mm-hmm. And what did happening because they were both restrained. Mm-hmm. One mm-hmm. day I will get to use my swashbuckler thing where I can just get sneak off. One day, but I mean, <laughs> why don't you just team up with me and Flink Fools? Oh yeah, I mean, definitely. <laughs> yeah, no, I was. My plan was had you not like just murderized that first guy because I forgot you had the extra haste attack. Um. Because you were, like, the guy behind her that she was, like, right next to. You were going to kill him. And then Babette, on her turn, was going to walk over to that guy, 
the the other one who was like near death stab him and then just walk back to flank with you <laughs> <laughs> and it was gonna be like super nonchalant like just stab stab right just, just imagine stab. like a fucking uh hawaiian shirt beer belly just <laughs> yeah <laughs> extravagantly just walking <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to flank and fucking check. And once you killed that guy, it was great because I was actually able to change back into myself on that turn, and didn't have to worry about people accidentally hitting me. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to. I was trying to. I was trying I to open up to, you. Yeah, depending on how things it. went, I would have had to bonus action disengage, and if I hadn't, you know, if I missed the first time or missed both times, you know, yeah. uh, there was a That's... potential. Uh, that's kind of why like I gave you a little bit of cushion space because she wasn't there when you revealed yourself. I mean, she would have been like, who the fuck is raising her hand there? But also, <laughs> there's people who are pinned to the ground. They can't move. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to dex this. <laughs> mm -hmm. no, no, I mean, on, that went really well. Guys, again, I... I went really well. I love the hell out of what happened. Oh, wait, no, she would have heard if your babette raised her hand, so she'd be like... Mm -hmm. Fucking nerd. <laughs> she text everything else. Bobette raised her head. Somebody else walks yeah. into the room and it just harpoons her anyway. <laughs> Honey just walks in here. Oh, I wasn't here for the hand raise. Uh, what the it's... fuck, Hanu? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but if we do have a roll of uh, bubble wrap, she's going to wrap Fee up with that and then Kelly up and be like, <laughs> no, stop that. I can't let my big sis and my little sis get hurt. No. I love how yeah. readily we have adopted Fee, poor Fee, into this group. Oh, She's I mean, we adopt. I mean, this is the guy we're talking about who adopted over to her. We're, it, it was already yeah. still there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is this is the this is us we're talking about yeah. who adopted Big B. The minute we, the oh. second we we talked, we were like, yes, <laughs> this is our child. Yeah, this is our child. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you know, you know. Thinking about that too, we literally just took the child into some kind of like Castle Wolfenstein yeah. shit too. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> Her knees are shaking, and she's like, "Don't worry, Zarman, I'm not afraid." Oh, that was so oh. sad. Oh, I also like oh. the walls can't make a deck save. They're not books. <laughs> yeah, that was that was great. <laughs> And also, friggin' Eliza looking sad when <laughs> she was like, <laughs> she was like, no, I'm fine. You know what? Mm -mm, I'm good. I'm good. No, I love was... Eliza going up to Bebet. That was amazing. I'm gonna go check out this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad that I had you guys prepped up with all these healing, because I'm like, eventually we're gonna figure this out later. So I'm gonna spend as much time and resources as needed, because it's gonna pay off. Yeah, no, it really paid off. I mean, and now we're freaking halfway through the first part of this whole mission. So I'm like, eh, yeah. I mean, we'll be more than halfway through. We'll be at thirty-five. Mm -hmm. So we're almost, we're almost actually pretty yep. close. Yeah, to I'm just, to Arthur, uh, after I'm uh, glad, he starts shit again. Yeah, I'm glad we're gonna be getting some stuff from the uh, gardens sooner than later. So I'm like, oh, thank you. Yeah, no, it's yeah. And then you can hire a skill worker to make the cheap potions at the very least. Because mm -hmm. they make a fuck ton of cheap ones. Yeah, I'll be making, I'll be helping make the the greater healing ones. But I'm like, you guys are, you guys do the normal ones. It's okay. Yeah, great healing potions would be great. Two gardens at the Abbey. I'll just say that. So I can teleport right away. No, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really good. Mm -hmm. Later on, get yeah, shit, you know, figure it out. I love it. That's what that's what I said. I mean, we're by the time we get to the Pridwin Manor and we get the more you know, the more hardcore, you know, way more tactical put together group. We're gonna be so put together by that point that except for us being at a disadvantage, it's gonna be just an even playing field. With probably a slight advantage from us because we're more powerful, especially if we work in a group. So. I'm excited. I'm excited. I love just watching us improve, man. That's the exciting shit for me. I love that we're all yeah. improving. That is so fun. Like I'm super excited to 
you know, we, we've all really improved. We are tactically fucking min. And then we split up for the Omido and Urat, and I have to play a character who has, like, no group dynamic and is, like, reckless <laughs> and, sh like, a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have a Harmy. We have a Mina. <laughs> yeah, but, like, <laughs> we have Mina going in the chin and rot. Me, me and Zarmi can have already gone through like our shit, and we've like been able now to be under control. And be like, all right, it's mission mode. I mean, you can have <laughs> the, uh, like a, the present plans in such a way that she can easily grasp it, which would be like you just gotta go <laughs> hug that person, but just wait yeah. a minute. It's gonna do a group hug. Yeah. Honestly, okay. honestly, it. it would be so great for Zell to be a teaching method to make. Very simple plans that are well put together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good practice. It's like, okay, some people not might understand this complicated plan. Simple terms. <laughs> Nina, hit that guy really hard <laughs> and then run to the sun. <laughs> That's the thing though, like she gets she gets combat. Mm. And she like she totally understands that. But, but I can wait. <laughs> but I, I want to go fight. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> A barbarian must smash. <laughs> Nina, 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 Nina. Listen. Nina, we Nina, Nina, honey, Nina. It's going to be great. I love it. Linda, listen. <laughs> Lin Nina, listen. listen. Linda. Nina, listen, Nina. Hey, listen! Hey, listen. <laughs> Sorry to God, I'm selling it to a fucking, like, Navi AI later <laughs> on. <laughs> just, just to be, hey, Every time listen. you run into a dangerous situation, it starts reading off everything about the creature, even though you already know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it happens with every single creature. Yeah. That is a human. <laughs> what you can do to a human to take them down. Bitch, oh, shut the uh, fuck up. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, like, listen, I know. I already know this. That is a human child. To kill the human child. <gasps> Fucking God! <laughs> <laughs> I love when you freaking sarcastic fucking AI, because this is me. <laughs> this is me. I'm gonna get that sarcastic freaking girl AI that's just gonna, like, nah. repeat everything. Dude, I want the AI to be, like, Mouse's book. <laughs> no! Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> You know what? It could be a part of it, all right? I have to have 200 pieces. I guess that would be the... Sh would that be the... Sh no, it would be probably the spark. It probably would be the spark. The shadow would be, like, the one who just reads off information. The fucking spark would be the barbarian. Earlier this week, I was reading the system all about mine's up this story that I was working on. I was, like, you know, a fractured god and all that other stuff. So as they're finding different pieces other parts of the personality would come together so that means for certain stretches of the journey you're gonna get some really bad personality things oh right? yeah like, oh now they don't have they don't have a mental filter with this piece fuck oh, yeah i'm, I'm honestly <laughs> insulting people looking right. for i'm looking forward to and kind of dreading at the same time which piece i'm gonna find first if it's gonna be the spark or the shadow first because <laughs> that would dictate a lot of shit at least the shadow I understand. It's, it's a logical standpoint. I, this makes sense. This is giving me information, even though be sometimes they can shut up, though. <laughs> but the spark is just, like, super overjoyed and very, like, loud, but no one can hear it except for Zell. Because <laughs> it is calling. <laughs> even in his trance, he, it appears in his trance, keeps on talking to him. He's like, please, please, God, leave me alone. <laughs> I would say, even though it probably took, like, uh, they didn't have this armor on correctly, she probably got slightly distracted for, like, a round or two by you, like, playing with the Velcro, like, why does it make this sound? <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, playing with Velcro is fun as hell. I, I mean, I'm, like, I mean, I wouldn't put it past that. <laughs> zippers and shit, like, that's, that's a noise. <laughs> what? You know, you know the funny thing? I'm going to imagine when we get back from this, we're all going to be wearing freaking bulletproof vet, like ballistic vests and shit like that with guns in your name. Which 
And if you think about it, we'll do jack shit for swords, but don't worry, guys. Exactly. I mean, there are guns. There are guns in 19, yeah. you know, World War II, so I mean. Yep, yep. But... It, it's, it, it's gonna be good. So... <laughs> Arthur Tokyo Drift in here. <laughs> uh, but my I'm ice! So <laughs> the Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Just perfect in there. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Get it if you want to live. <laughs> Uh, so much. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be funny as hell. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's the force. It's after the honking when he comes crashing in. <laughs> 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 It's a big old bullhorn, really. Oh, uh, I know, but I can't get the image out of my head. Arthur freaking dr Tokyo drifting into look, the look, mall. Look, crashing. I, the thing is the perfect size just to drift in that angle. Yeah. Right? It is. It's like, like if, if you weren't an expert driver, you wouldn't be able to get it in. And it's just here to showcase the fact that Arthur has driven futuristic vehicles uh in racing competitions because i mean come on he's he's pretty much fucking nightwing so yeah like, uh oh it's gonna be great and the funny thing is we don't know where cab is right now so we don't know what he's doing so you know he's gonna cal, show up <laughs> cal just fucking is uh keeping that cyborg chick on our toes for the moment He's trying to sabotage whoever is trying to drill in from the top up there, um, uh, but he's a little, he's being a little preoccupied by this cyborg chick. I like how they want to give him the, like the suggestion: go steal like one of their weapons, <laughs> either yeah. the uh, uh, kid yeah. or Henry's weapon. She's like, do it, <laughs> do it. Yeah, go after Henry. <laughs> Do it. He's like, it's just a sniper rifle. If you're scared of a sniper rifle, you're not going to get very far. <laughs> There's a lot of those out there. <laughs> However, there is a cyborg chick running around here with metal arms who can, like, you know, know. stealth her way out of situations. And she carries a sword. Most people don't carry swords unless they're really dumb get or it. really deadly. <laughs> yeah. I know. So steal her weapons. Do it. <laughs> He's like, who the fuck carries a sword these days? <laughs> looking at I you. I kind of. Yeah, look at look at <laughs> our group, like, yeah. and we're really efficient with these swords. <laughs> these swords and weapons. Well, that's that's weird. like Anyways. he respects it because he also uses other weapons and stuff. He'll use any weapon he gets his hand on, but he'll prefer to be oh, unarmed if it really comes. He he uses mm. weapons when he's trying to disrespect people. Disrespect. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, you know what? Honestly, like, it would be cool. This, let me just pick up this fucking gun off the ground and spray a couple of burst fire shots at the guy that's chasing me. <laughs> and uh, I'll just drop this thing. It's a waste of time now. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like wanting to have her sword. <laughs> Listen, I need my ninja, I need my katana. I can he use. Wants his, he wants his vi <laughs> he, he wants his fucking vibranium blade. <laughs> His yes. Vibranium katana. Yes. Uh, Hell yeah. <laughs> Go get, it. Oh. Get, get the weapons. Do it. Yeah, I want no, that it. fiber blade. I want that vibro blade. <laughs> I want my high frequency blade, please. <laughs> In her mind, that would be the middle finger to this group of you know. What? Fuck you. <laughs> Taking your weapons, really. Oh man! That's what you get for throwing all this other shit at us. Uh, get they're like, one. I don't care if you guys are, you know, these famous adventurers who haven't been seen in ten years. Yeah, my dad used to talk hot shit about you guys, but uh, you know, <laughs> he's an old man himself now, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, so 
Yeah. Uh, he's an old man who's dead now, so his word doesn't mean shit anymore, yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. Even though he's still talking about it. Yeah. Zarman uses command to have no, him trip a sniper why, rifle right that's there. That's why he like, brings fuck. he brought the thing up. That's why he's also, you know, like targeted uh uh Zale off of this just because he's actually heard uh more accurate stories about your guys' tactics than other people have. Um, but again, he's like and he's just a regular old veteran. He's nothing special. Like, there's nothing yeah. special about this guy. Right. I mean, he's just uh, one of those CR2 things, probably. Mm. Mm -hmm. my, honestly, for, for some reason in my head, when he said that like, my father was the Griffith guard, it turned to, what was, what's that guy's name? The so-called I'm a marksman guy who <laughs> self-proclaims he's a marksman. Uh, oh, Why do I feel oh, like this is his son? Uh, <laughs> I don't you know if it's going to be Buckeye. Son? Oh, I thought it was Buckeye's son. <laughs> no. I don't think so. No. No, he doesn't have that, that wholesomeness to him. No. Who do you think then? Hmm. <laughs> That's what I love about this. I mean, <laughs> so I much. mean... It's gonna suck when kill him, but it means a different time zone. Well, like, here's the one thing. Time you don't zone. ask, hey, time who zone. likes to name me? <laughs> it's not murder if you do it in a different time zone. <laughs> <laughs> we just that's, asked, that's so, uh, who, I'm in, in Illinois. I can kill you since I'm from California. <laughs> uh, God. <laughs> listen, so listen it's proper. It's a different timeline, okay? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Which means we can steal the weapon. It's fine because we're gonna bring it back, and we'll just give it to the other version of them when they grow old. Exactly. Over. Yes, exactly. See, there you go. There's no double meaning behind this. That and like, yeah, we didn't me. kill you in a different timeline, so it'd be okay. <laughs> I'm just saying we can just say, uh, as we're leaving, drop the weapon, and then have somebody grab it with com like command, drop it, and then somebody grab it. <laughs> and fucking I mean, that's what she's man, planning on doing. If like, if you get close enough, I'm gonna take it. Even I mean, if you, put you it man down. drop it, or we just kill him. <laughs> Either or. <laughs> so if you yeah. drop it, he's on the other it, side of the spinning. gate right now, which is why he was like, "I don't mind walking up on this thing." You know, if they do anything, they can't approach me through uh, without raising that gate. If they raise that gate, then we've got them with oppressive force. Uh, they're gonna lob fucking grenade launcher fucking grenades into that bitch from outside like they're they're fucking ready uh they think that they can just wait you guys out all right that you guys are the ones i mean like you're in the defensive position and there doesn't seem like they don't know what your goal is there unless it's to get deeper down and that was kind of what he was trying to suss out when he actually came up was to see if you guys were there for what they were after, or if you just were in this position, uh, his no, I'm, I I wholeheartedly was playing to where we're just in this position because yeah. I didn't want him to know that we had to exit out, out of there. That's why Zell was kind of saying the whole like uh, he, knows the there, he knows there's an exit uh, in mm. there. He just knows that it's not actually an exit. Like that, <laughs> like it, like like going down into there is not getting you out of anything. You're just going oh, yeah. deeper into a into a you're going in a, like, you know, a whole deep underground. The thing underground. that they're meant to fight anyway. Exactly. So yeah. They're like, all you'll end up doing is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with peacekeepers and... Uh, and save us the trouble, basically. Yep, exactly. Mm. Oh, yeah, not Y'all want to y'all y'all want to do a dungeon? I have the whole layers of maps. There's a lot of them. <laughs> nah, I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> Even if we wanted to, we would be gone soon, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. if we you wanted to, would have been time to do, do a long rest for out. So. You wouldn't even make it all the way through. I was yeah, just curious to see how far you would get. <laughs> no, that's okay. On, honestly, it just reminded me of the freaking supposed Mind Flare dungeon underneath Koyako. The freaking, um, that, I forgot what it's called. Shut the up, Koyako. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Lost Laboratory. Like, that was like red freaking skulls above their heads and everything. I was imagining that moment. It's like, yep, yep, we're leaving. We're <laughs> red leaving. skulls. Yeah. yeah. Too yeah. high level. <laughs> uh. I mean, that room that freaking killed him with fucking in, it was like, nah, guys, this is like freaking mid-tier. Yeah, we should have yeah, passed like, that. 
That, oh, that was like you that was like were mid tier more level. Of a chair than anything in this campaign so far. Uh, oh yeah, that, thing that chair was scary. More fear than anything so far. <laughs> uh, to be fair, we sent two people with no proficiency in wisdom saves to deal with the chair. Yes, I mean, <laughs> that is true. That is true. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Hoenn has a decent wisdom, but he if he doesn't have proficiency. Yeah. But you remember that room. I mean, you see that room. That room was scary, man. You went out the wizard. Yeah, I mean, the main thing is that uh, we didn't see what was behind the chair. <laughs> so, you know, the the guy without, you know, any logic in his head right now, do we really want to fuck with an illithid? <laughs> yeah. Those things have a lot of HP, and we were, like, still level 5, Yeah, I think, right? Yep. Yeah, I, I we're level five. Worse level five illithid. and split up. I don't think we should fuck with an illithid. Yeah, yeah. We had just turned sure with that chair five. around. And a lot of us didn't really have a lot of spells, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. Because yeah, okay. by that point, we finished a boss fight going into there. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So yeah, we're level five, was... expended and separated. We weren't. I was. I'm a... Oh my god. You guys will notice that I'm a big fan of uh, dungeons that you get to your boss fight and you realize, oh shit, there's another dungeon inside of my dungeon. <laughs> right. And, and that's when we leave. Yes. No, <laughs> like, it, nope. no, but it's, it's just, a, it's a, it's a humbling reminder of the fact that, you know, you can't solve all of the world's problems and that you have to realize where your mm. priorities are and where your limitations are. And you know, I those, stay are, alive. those are just as important things to succeeding as anything else. So it's good to give, examples of those things mm -hmm. otherwise it looks then like we... unrealistic like you guys just face every problem you always come across and yeah we give information back for the group that's going to eventually go in yes. so it's like it's still yeah. scouting yeah so. or you know us later on the one a lot more powerful to deal with it at least now we have forewarning <laughs> what we're mm -hmm. getting into yeah. cause I have a feeling we're going to go back there I mean I have a feeling we're going to go yeah, back there like, uh, like for example, they had no idea that this had some box thing associated with it, like, at all. Like, things mm. just went really bad down there because of some malfunctions that happened 16 hours ago. And after, like, the initial explosions when they laid siege to this place. And when they blasted that hole right there, that's what caused all of the stuff to start going bad. Because uh, they were trying to mm -hmm. manually enter their way into that. Um... They were using uh, the uh, fountain's uh, engine over there, the pumps on it, to try and pump out that stuff to get down to the um, uh, the same hatch that they rose up through. They came mm. the proper way and cleared the clearances, which is why you heard the deactivated thing and yeah, drained just... the stuff out so that the hatch could open and they could come out. Um, that stuff that drains through is um, part of the decontamination process, um, and what they've, had actually, right? what they've actually been draining out this entire time, uh, trying to get in there, is actually the stuff that keeps this place from being uh, pulled into a shutter space. Uh, so the longer this thing is uh, being drained in that way, this is actually getting pulled into its own separate shutter space. If you guys were to stay in here all the way through to the end of this thing doing it, you would actually end up another shutter space over so that when your time clock ended, you would just end up trapped here mm -hmm. rather than going back. So you would have to activate, you would then become strangers to your own timeline. Uh, yeah. And then Which going, is, that's why we're getting out here at the five minute mark. Yes. Uh, it, the, uh, I mean, the, the, the things in here is going to uh, culminate before the five minute mark anyways. Uh, you guys will be, hmm. uh, or after the five minute mark. Uh, things will be getting yeah. so bad before the five minute mark that it'll be very clear that you need to get out of here. Um, yep. It's not our fight. Yes. Uh, Sorry, place to no, it. This person is like, the solution to this is, you know, hundreds of miles deeper underground in the opposite direction. And now that I've got my allies back, I got to trek back across the ground I just came from and go even further to go deal with this. Where they're going Listen. is directly underneath Lake Avail, actually. Um, uh -huh. Oh, this, this, I don't like the sound of that. This <laughs> this facility actually connects to multiple facilities um, all across the globe. 
uh, through an intricate network um, uh, that is partially so like te kinda... partially teleportation and partially physical tracks. Um, huh. Probably, and... probably what like Koi Coast like ruins probably had so when it's a it was futuristic still... underdark. Got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But it was also probably what the ruins had. Um, when they were fully operational too, the Rones and Kyoiko, they probably had they probably system to get between them too. Maybe they were separate, sure, but they're probably one star connected. Interesting. Shit. Very interesting. I mean that gives a really good I mean for at least like for Zelda gives a really good like glimpse into like how certain things were. Yeah, and you can also suss out from this that the Griffin Scarred stuff happened in this timeline exactly the same um which mm. hanu would know because she you know went over that stuff a little bit more um mm -hmm. but um yeah th so they um that whole thing with the explosion actually happened so if the, if the yeah. fact that there's a facility underneath like underneath Aave, it where it happened yeah yeah, yeah that's not yeah that's what that. i was thinking that's what i was thinking too i was like yeah this is they had totally set this up on purpose. And they're like, all right, well, I've got to go off to, you know, kill Maiko's eye. Um, yeah. And you guys have your own thing that you have to worry about. And Listen, let female Gordon Freeman deal with it, okay? She'd be fine. She got her crowbar. She's going to find her crowbar in there. She's going to be a fucking god. Uh, <laughs> if we had a fighter, she would have dropped a plus three uh, club. That's actually her crowbar. Yeah, her, I mean, if she ever dropped it, I feel like she'd yeah, kick her ass. Yeah. I'm not going to say it. It's, Freeman, it's female Gordon Freeman, all right? She is just a fighter <laughs> class, by the way. Like, <laughs> uh, she's... Um, as far as subclass, what would you guess? Huh? You know, considering hmm. the state of how things are going right now, I'll give that as being the hint. The subclass is based off of the weird shit that's currently going on. They are a scientist. They're a lab tech down there. So, um. so other Psy warrior, I'm thinking, or. Not Rune Knight. Well, Rune Knight is Echo Knight. Yeah, that's what I was Rune thinking. Rune Knight is uh, now. Um, Echo Knight. Yeah. Echo Knight. Yeah, Echo Rune Knight. Knight would probably not be good in confined spaces. Yeah. Uh, you still get yeah. the bonus to damage, but you know, in confined yeah. spaces, uh, you just don't go big. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Echo Knight. Sounds like all, all I'm hearing is Gordon Freeman has a double duplicate he can put out. Fima Gordon Freeman got this shit, guys. She about to save the world. <laughs> she, well, yeah, just sends a projection of herself forward out of her suit, and uh, um, and it just like runs and does things, and it's good for distractions. And she can also go, hey, guess what? My distraction can also hit you. No, um, am I the <laughs> only one that wants to just find out how Fima Gordon Freeman's gonna do through this whole adventure? I mean, I'm a little excited. I kind of want to know what happened. After we leave, even it's like, did female Gordon Freeman did it? Did she do it? Did she say? It? <laughs> <laughs> did and, she and, have like? And, and <laughs> even if she did it in this timeline, there are a million other timelines in which she did not. So yeah. it's irrelevant to your guys's story in the mm. end, you know. Oh, I know. Starts making something called a video game. And this, is, yes. this is how I think it yes. will have happened. I create Half Life. Perfect. Oh my god, and you'll make the third one. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I'll make the third one. I will. No, not, no, you're no, going to get no. tired of developing after the second, honestly. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the third one uh, will release, but that's when the apocalypse actually happens. That's what so nobody gets to play it. Damn it! You release the third half life when the dream cycle ends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that would be perfect. <laughs> and then, yeah, the I next cycle will end. My favorite as soon as the first person gets it off the counter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what you get for pushing me, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for someone to live in extra long, so he actually, like, thousands of years later, yeah, like, Half Life 3. I finally finished it! Epsilon <laughs> Plaza Project. They're Epsilon. specifically uh, that that's what they call it uh, as the Epsilon Plaza Project. So they often call it the Epsilon Facility uh, for short. But its technical name is mm. the Dark Seneschal Research Facility Six Sector C One. Um, oh, of course, <laughs> fucking 
Uh, and uh, of course, the German Nazi SSS will be working on some. Dark Seneschal is way beyond German Nazi. They're like <laughs> they're older than nations. So, uh, like, so we're talking like Hydra level of like the dark, been around the forever. Dark Seneschal, the Seneschal is um, the name of the Church of Saints. So back when. The um, Avalonian Empire was around. I, there was okay, an, I mean, bye. Um, there was the Empire thing, but then there was also um, the Church, and the Church kind of had a lot of power, like the Catholic Church during you know its heyday, um, mm. and it pretty much was, in many people's eyes, the Empire. So there was the Empress, uh, and there would be various you know local nobility like kings and queens of nations but over the entire empire the great leadership was seen to be the seneschal which uh mm -hmm. means servant um and uh <laughs> the uh but with of course the death of all the saints and the dissolution of the Avalonian empire afterwards they lost pretty much all of their influence most of their critics lost their powers and stuff for a long time the church lost, you know, pretty much any sway over the people after that, which was the beginning of the decline of the empire as well. Um, I just realized I didn't roll Russell's health. Russell's health health was, uh, I just took the average. Yay! You rolled it. You rolled it. You rolled the Yeah, two. no, because I for, no, I forgot that I had taken the average. Oh, you did take the remember average. I, so I did take the average. So oh, that's good. Have to deal with that too. Yeah, I was about to say. That's, what's your con for Russell? Uh, plus two. Oh, yeah, I'm only good plus four. Yeah, that's pretty rough. What's your HP at now, with average? With average, it's at 38. 38? Because I'm, because I'm going into a class with the same hit die, so. Hell yeah, mm. we, we the same, girl. Let's go. 38. What's mouse at? Uh, I don't no. remember. I don't remember. It's uh, gonna go all over the place soon, so yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. even mom with the barbarian that. Yeah. stuff, he's gonna get swole. So yeah, oh, I, yeah, because I respect his character. Um, uh, I'll get. Oh God, I'll, I'll, I gotta uh, find that one clip where it's just uh, Matt uh, just looking over to Grog and saying, "I would like to read." Yeah, <laughs> intense voice. Uh, when Grog was trying to like hard, work really Sector hard on reading. C. Sorry, I'm finding my notes on this. Finally, there. Cause I'm gonna need this next session now, because since yeah. you're intimidating them to get information. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, can I know the DC? Um. Uh, <laughs> the, it's a gradient on it. Depending on what you get, depends on how much of information they give. Yeah. Um, I also, know based off of just your uh, stats alone that you'll get a basic amount of information just because of the dire... It's the, the fact that that stuff has been drained out means that everybody here is at risk of no longer being a part of this universe anymore. And uh, as such, uh, they're like, okay, you guys need to get out of here, including my, my friends need to get out of here. Because if they stay long, you're going to, they're going to reveal the information that they, uh, Sector C um, actually has three subsectors. Um, so there's C1, C2, and C3. Um, this mm. is Sector C1. Uh, and, um, and uh, it was, this particular research facility um, that's underneath uh, Hearthvine for Sector C1 is uh, responsible as being a research facility, um, partially, but its primary thing is as a processing facility for something called Compound Fae-M, as an F-A-E-M. Um, Compound oh, okay. Fae-M, um, which uh, uh, reports uh, indicate is harvested at another location uh, in uh, Omido. Uh, though the particular place of that location, its name is redacted in all the files, so they don't even know that. Mm. Um, uh, mm. Well, they're not supposed to know that, which means they won't admit to knowing that. 
Um, and <laughs> if I can somehow get a good persuasion roll on, <laughs> like, we're gonna need was... to find a way to lower the DC somehow through like I don't know, but it's... well, Mike had, good, Mike had a good good one of just say we're not gonna do anything to help your friends if you don't yeah. give so... all of the information so we can actually be effective. Exactly. So it's more of how you present it can make the yeah, piece well. But from their perspective, fun. the only things you need to worry about is killing a bunch of Hawaiian shirt wearing terrorists so that you can get her friends Ooh. out of here. And that has mm -hmm. nothing to do with uh with monsters. It's gonna be a combination and with and government secrets. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a combination of what Eliza's figured out. Yeah, like exactly. Explaining what she's figured out. And what mm -hmm. explaining why the people are here in the first place? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's as reveal. long as Eliza chimes in with what she's figured out, then I think it'll lower the DC. Mm -hmm. Like if there's a way to yeah. say, like, listen, we know some weird time shit. At least we can ensure that this shit won't have to happen. At this yeah, it's, well, it's gonna be. I know you don't know us, but we are experienced with all of this shutter space relating to time kind of thing. Uh, and like, she's going to, everything that she does know, she's going to say, <laughs> so she sounds more knowledgeable. Guys. Yeah. yeah. So she sounds more knowledgeable so that this woman will then actually spill more beans because it's like, okay, they actually do know. I don't have to waste time explaining things to plebs. <laughs> Mm, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why it was so funny when we just see like, I, I, would make this, I would make this the simple terms. It was like, and they're just all of us collectively yeah. just. I, I don't like, have the time to try and explain this to layman. <laughs> yeah, and that, that like, even though she is a layman, she was still like, I'm literally in it right now, and yeah, we're literally yeah. 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 and yeah. is dressed <laughs> and is just. I would like, I would like, like this Arkham's version of this, it. please, bitch. Can you give me something to work off of? Oh god, that was that was the funniest shit. That all, all, every single one of us had a slight like chuckle. It's like really, we're really not knowing what we're talking about. We were literally not even part of this timeline at all. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it was it was funny as shit. I, I just loved it when everybody had that fucking chuckle. <laughs> that was like that knowing chuckle. It's like, oh, she doesn't know. <laughs> All right. I got uh, bad guys. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye night. Bye -night.